somebody in these intercessory prayers. You pray for that person and that person will pray for you. Say, so, my friend! The devil will not harvest your life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for your friend. The devil will not harvest your life. In the name of Jesus. Masekaposhente rabokola basante yaba. Dakaribo sotonde ke yabo shente ya. In Jesus name we pray. Turn to another friend and prophesy upon the life of the person like this. Say, my friend, this year you shall mount up with wings as eagle. In the name of Jesus, you shall mount up with wings as eagle. This particular year, Baseka Tondeke Yaboshenderaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Turn to a third person and say this to the person loud and clear. Every serpent and scorpion are signed against your daily bread. In the name of Jesus, deal with the serpents and scorpion. In the name of Jesus, every serpent and scorpion are signed against your daily bread. Let them be destroyed, let them be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this morning. And we praise your only name for bringing us here. Thank you for preserving our lives. Thank you for this particular Sunday. We give you praise. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, today open our understanding. Speak to us by yourself. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. This morning we are looking at what I call the secret of complete deliverance. And I think you should listen very, very carefully. The secret of complete deliverance. Over and over again people come to ask us, is it possible to be 100% delivered? Is it possible to be completely free from every attachment of darkness? Is it possible for somebody to be completely free from every influence of the enemy? The correct answer is yes. Complete deliverance is possible. It is possible as a result of the work that Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. The moment Jesus opened his mouth that day and said, It is finished. That was it. Complete deliverance is guaranteed. But there is this. There are secrets to it. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18, Luke chapter 4, verse 18, is a declaration by the Lord Jesus Christ. He was reading a prophecy concerning himself. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me, number one, to preach the gospel to the poor. Number two, he has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Number three, to preach deliverance to the captives. Four, to preach recovery of sight to the blind. Five, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And six, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That's the agenda of the Lord Jesus Christ. This agenda was going to be possible by the first sentence in verse 18, by the spirit of the Lord and by the anointing. So complete deliverance is possible. When your deliverance is complete, it is then the glory of God can fill the whole of the temple of your life. But if there are still traders in that temple, you need for Jesus to come into the temple with a whip and chase them out. It is after he has chased them out that his glory can fill the temple of your life. If there are still strangers in the temple of your life that are buying and selling, the glory of God will not fill the temple of that life. Many of us run to prayer city and we go for deliverance constantly and regularly. Which is good. This ministry is a ministry of uh, deliverance, a ministry of prayer, it's a ministry of holiness, it's a ministry of brokenness. But you need to understand the secret of complete deliverance. 
complete deliverance is when God totally delivers you from the powers oppressing you. Complete deliverance is when your destiny is now completely detached from satanic influence. Complete deliverance is when all the doors that have been opened to the enemy is now closed. I said all the doors, not leaving one behind. Because one single door you still leave open, they will still come inside. Complete deliverance is when you completely dismantle the evil platform prepared for you by your ancestors. Complete deliverance is when you experience a complete damage of the works of Satan in your life. That's what the Bible says. For this cause was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. So Jesus too is a destroyer. But what he destroys is the works of the devil. So you find somebody destroying the destroyer. When your deliverance is complete, it's when you allow the power of God to undo your heavy burdens. Complete deliverance is when every yoke upon your life, every evil yoke is now broken. Complete deliverance is when you can wholeheartedly sing that I am free indeed. Or you can sing all out there, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I am free indeed. That's what called complete deliverance. Complete deliverance is when you are now you are now well positioned to possess all your possessions. Complete deliverance is when you are now when you escape completely from every satanic cage and prison, and you completely capture back everything that has been stolen from you, including those of your ancestors. Complete deliverance is when you kill every internal serpent and scorpion, and you forcefully throw out any trader, any bad spirit in the temple of your life. Complete deliverance is when you are completely broken free from every form of enchantment and spells and curses. And when the evil power of your father's house no longer has power against you in any area. Complete deliverance is when you now finally deal a death blow on the idols of your family life. Complete deliverance is possible through the atoning work of the Lord Jesus Christ that was done on Calvary. Jesus came to save, to heal, and to deliver. A three-point agenda. A, a perfect deliverance takes place in six stages. Number one, diagnosis. That is detecting the problem. When you finally come to the realization that there is a problem, and you now begin to search for the origin of that problem, the diagnosis. Number two is tearing down strongholds. Because strong goals are fortified places that defend the enemy. And once your enemy is hidden inside a strong goal, you can't get him out. Strong goals begin with our thought patterns in our hearts. You tear down those hidden structures. That's why the Bible says the strangers have been afraid and they shall, the strangers have, have been afraid and they shall, tear, they shall go away from their closed places. Those closed places are the strong goal. Tear them down so you expose them. The third stage is to remove their legal right. Because for the enemy to come against you and to succeed, there must be an open door. Evil spirits are legal experts. When they have a right to be in a place, they know they are right and they will stand their ground. So sometimes when people go to deliverance and say, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. They say, ah, well, before I come out, let me telephone our headquarters. This is Demon 001 calling headquarters. Over. He said, yes, come with your message. He said, they want me to live the life of social person. Can you check his file? Can I go? He said, demon zero zero one, don't go. Remain in place. This one is one of us. There is still our property in his life. So don't go. Stay, stay, stay. They will stay when the legal rights are not taken away. The first stage is to cast out the wicked powers. As if you don't cast them out, they will continue their evil work. The fifth stage is to remove their deposits. This is what they were putting in the person's life when they were present in the person's life. You remove it. It's like somebody who receives deliverance from the hand of a spirit husband. You stop seeing the spirit husband. We thank God. But when that spirit husband was coming, he was depositing certain things in your life. Those deposits have to go. It's a separate process. Sometimes when the enemy is removed, the deposits are still in place, it will smell as if they are still around. And the sixth process is to barricade your life. So that this powers do not come back. Now listen very, very carefully. This is where the problem comes. Every human being has a measure of negative and positive character charges. 
Those of us who read science, who have negative charge, positive charge, you hear all those charges. Every human being has a measure of negative and positive character charges. The ratio and proportion of one charge to the other may differ from person to person. In one individual, the positive character charge may be stronger than the negative character charge. In some people's life, the negative character may be stronger than the, the positive character. The eternal principle which does not change is this. You will attract a measure of the same charge you emit to others. If all that is coming out of your life is anger, problems, abusive language, all those terrible things, that's what you will be attracting to yourself too. A person may possess 80% goodness and 20% badness. But the trouble, the trouble is this. As a child of God, born again, the agenda of God for your life, the reason Jesus saved you, is to make you to conform to the image of Christ. The image of Christ does not change. It is you that you will have to conform. It's like somebody has sold a particular size of clothing. Let's say size 8. Standard. Now, if you are fatter than the size 8, you will have to slim down to get inside. If you are slimmer than it, you have to put on weight to fill it. That's what we call the image of Christ. Whether we like it or not, no matter what any preacher is telling us, beloved, you are either like Christ or like the devil. If a person is 30% like Christ, it means the person is 70% like the devil. That is, if a person has 30% of the fruit of the spirit, joy, love, meekness in his heart, then it means you have 70% works of the flesh in your life. What am I trying to explain to you now? So, in terms of deliverance now, no matter how many sessions you attend, if you are 30% like Christ, and 70% like the devil, no matter how many sessions of deliverance you go to, you are only 30% delivered. Maybe you are 50% like Christ, 50% like the devil. No matter how many deliverance you do, your deliverance is just that 50%. That unyielded area of your life you have not given to God, the enemy will sit on it and it will not live. Christ rules in our life only where the fruit exists. But the Bible makes us to understand, according to Ephesians chapter 4, from 13 to 16, that we can actually operate 100% Christ-likeness. Herein lies the problem. Herein lies the secret of complete deliverance. Once the works of the flesh is in position, no matter how low the percentage is, deliverance can never be complete. Beloved, as we go into another year, it will be useful for you to go to God in prayer. And ask him to reveal all the negative character charges in your life. This prayer for revelation is necessary. Because these things will ensure whether you are completely delivered or not. Knowing well that the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. So you shouldn't be trusting that heart that is deceitful. You need to sit down and begin to carry out a self-analysis. So that those areas where the works of the flesh are operating. You will ask God to remove them. And to replace them with virtues of Christ and godly character. This is where the problem comes. It is good for somebody to go for deliverance and reap 100% of the benefit of the program you went for. This is why in any good deliverance session, the false message on the deliverance grant is the message of repentance. I knew somebody went for deliverance somewhere. The first message the man was preaching there was prosperity. I said, you didn't go for deliverance. I was saying that. The first message on deliverance is repentance. You must repent from every known and unknown sin. I'd like you to look deeply into your life this morning before we go into some prayers now. Is pride there? Hidden pride? Pride of position? Pride of anointing? Pride of I went to that school, I went to this school? Pride of I'm holier than you? Pride of I'm richer than you? Is it still there? Pride of I'm more talented than you are? We went to the best university... Is that still inside? Then deliverance cannot be complete. Arrogance, is that in you? Bitterness, is that in you? Resentment, is that still inside there? Anger, is it still there? Jealousy and envy, are they still there? Mumbling and complaining, are they still there? Rebellion, stubbornness and disobedience to God, is it still there? 
All this self-will and self-centeredness. Is this it there? It's just me, 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 me. Is this it there? All the domineering spirit. Anywhere you are, you like to take charge. Is this it there? This, the, all this unbrokenness of the heart. Is this it there? When your husband says, look, shut up this woman. Idiot. The man that says idiot too, he's, a, he's in trouble. But the woman answers, your, your, your father is an idiot. Your father, your father is an idiot. So the woman is still of the devil. The man still is still of the devil. Are those things still there? Disrespect to considered authority. Are they still there? Self-justification. Is it still there? The unrepentant heart. Untrustworthy, unteachable. Are they still there? This having this high opinion and high thought about yourself. Is that still there? The unthankfulness. The Bible says in the last days. Many shall depart from the faith. Giving it to seducing doctrines. And part of the signs he mentioned as part of the sign of the last day is unthankfulness. It says Ingrid. Fault finding is it still there? Seeing nothing good in others and always criticizing them is it still there? Backbiting is it still there? Talking ill of people at their back is it still there, beloved? You are smiling to people while wickedness is in your heart is it still there? You are wishing evil unto others is that still there? Unforgiveness, malice, and bearing grudges are they still there? If those things are still there, no matter how many deliverance grind you visit. These areas are areas that the enemy is already in charge. Unless that, those areas, you throw them out of your life. is then deliverance can be complete. If you go to deliverance, and it's 80% works of the flesh in your life and 20% work of the spirit, you can only receive 20% deliverance from that place. Just partial deliverance. And because your negative charge is much, very soon even the temporary relief you got from the deliverance, you will lose it. Do you remember details of evils done to you and you keep rehearsing them? Is that one too still there? Do you keep a diary of people on March 5, March 6, this person said this, that person said that, this person said this, this person said that, and you have their names in your diary? Do you still have that kind of diary? Do you rejoice at other people's problems? Are you very judgmental and revengeful? Are you highly suspicious of people? Do you despise others? Are these things still there? Presently, beloved, it will appear as if the whole of human race have been put in a cage of sexual sins. All kinds of terrible, unwholesome, and wicked sexual sins go on. And it's very, very, very sad. Very, very sad. When you see primary school children now engaging in sexual intercourse, you know that it's a problem. Are there thoughts of fornication, sexual sins in your heart? Do you go to deliverance Ghana? You are still living in fornication. You just went there to waste time. The fornication and the adultery and the lust of the heart, are they still there? Masturbation, lesbianism, homosexualism, are they still there? All this tantalizing dressing and behavior in order to seduce people, do you still do it? Do you dress in a way to expose yourself in order to seduce? As I'm standing there talking to you now, I never could understand why some married women would dress in certain clothes. I just, it, it, it beats my imagination. Sometimes I say, why are you dressing like this? Ah, this is London. This is America. Those things are sitting there. And when you want to come for deliverance, you put the trousers aside, put the naked dresses aside, dress like a normal person now, and now deliver. Only to go back to those dresses again. You just went there to waste time. All the indecent exposure of the body. Are they still there? This spirit of suspicion. Trust nobody, suspect everybody. Are they still there? Misuse of the tongue. 100 words per minute, 200 words per minute. Abusive and acidic words. Harsh words that are completely unnecessary. Sharp tongues and intimidating words. Are they still there? Are you rushing to deliverance, girl? You are going there to waste time. All those things should be sorted out. The shouting and screaming and talking loudly to frighten and intimidate people. Are they still there? The corrupt, dirty words and cracking evil jokes. Are they still there? Boastful words and speaking lies in all forms. Are they still there? Listen, beloved. As far as I see any form of falsehood in any part of your life. When you say, release me, release me. You dark powers, release me in the name of Jesus. I said, no, we can't go because part of us is still here. We can't go out like that. Do you carry rumors and evil saying? Are you very talkative? You just talk and talk and talk and talk. Are you the kind of person you just chat away your very useful time? You love to argue and the argument has no leg for ground. Are you the one who sows seeds of discord amongst brethren? Say, so have you heard what he's saying about you? Have you heard? Have you heard? Are those things still there? All these things will block complete deliverance. 
Are you too much involved in religious activities? You don't even have time for God himself. You do things without approval of God. You do things without inquiring from the Lord. Are those things still there? Are you in the house of God? You are actually a worker of iniquity. You are doing God's work when God is not happy with you. Are those things still there? Are you seeking the popularity of men? You are seeking men's approval rather than God's approval. Are you the kind of person you don't, you never desire to be alone with God? Are those things still there? All the doubt, the pretense, fear of public opinion, fear of losing respect, are they still there? Do you have this secret desire to be seen and heard always? Do you seek position and titles? Are you very covetous? If those things are still there, no matter how many deliverance you go to, they will stand against you. We are not moving. Many years ago on this ground, at the back of this place, they packed a sister here. I say packed because it was like a vegetable when they brought her. It was almost practically dead. In fact, they took her to the first hospital, the second hospital, they said no, rejected. Brought her here. Father, in the name of Jesus, you the spirit of death and hell, hear the word of the Lord. Lose your hold and come out. This person who was motionless and almost like vegetable, her mouth opened and the spirit spoke. He said, I'm not going out. I've been sent to kill her. I said, but Jesus died for her. We started arguing. So you have no right to be there. Come out in the name of Jesus. So said, okay, okay. If you want me to go out, I will go out. So but I tell you something. I will be back because this person is a fornicator. In fact, she had just slept with one of her members. It was then the demon left. She came back to herself. And I faced that. When last did you sleep with anybody? This is a, somebody who's not married. It's a single. I, I last week. So who was this person? This is just a friend that I used to know. You see where it has led you now? No wonder the enemy said, don't worry, I'll be back. He's a fornicator. When you are living in secretly concealed sin, men may not see you, but God sees you. The devil also knows that you are a member of his army. Do you overdress in order to get attention? Very loud dressing. Is that what still sit there? Are you in love with this worldly fashion that is going away? It's going away. You have so much in love with it. Anytime you don't have something very new that is in vogue to wear, you don't want to come to the house of God. Is that still there too? Then deliverance will be very difficult. Are you a chronic lover of food? Anytime we say fast, something makes beam in your heart because you are afraid. Are you the kind of person the Bible describes as dull in the spirit? You are the kind of person you are always led to anything spiritual, but anything is a canal, you get there on time. Is that still there too? Do you like self praise and self advertisement? And some are you, and are you the kind of person you are too proud to go and ask for spiritual help? Are you a thief? Are you a crooked person? All these things, beloved, we only keep the enemy in position. So I'm saying this so that you don't just go and start wasting a lot of your time on deliverance grounds this year. The percentage of your life that is surrounded to Christ is where deliverance will take place. Our life is like a large mansion with hundreds of rooms. The rooms you give to Jesus is the one he will take over. And the Holy Spirit is a perfect gentleman. If you say, Holy Spirit, stay in the toilet. I want this to room to myself. He will stay there. I'll be looking at you. The percentage to which you give to God is the percentage of the deliverance you will receive. You may not say, man of God, uh-uh. I want to ask you a question. How close can I be to God? As close as you want to be. As close as you want to be. You can be as close to God as you want to be. He said, if you move near to me, he said, I will move nigh unto you. But if you move far away from me, I will move farther away. And since his legs are longer than yours, if he takes a step backward from you, he will have gone away from you miles. And the story will be like Samson. Who said, I will arise as at other times. I will shake myself. I will defeat the Philistine. The Bible says, he wished not. He did not know that the Spirit of God had departed. When the Spirit comes, there's always plenty of noise. Woo, like rushing wind in the day of that Pentecost. But when he leaves, he leaves quietly. And you will know that he's gone. The person will be an empty vessel. 
still carrying out religious functions. Preaching, teaching, singing, dancing. Walking in the house of God. But the spirit is out. You need to pray into your life. The fruit of the spirit. To replace those ones. The peace of God. Love. Joy. Hope. Trust. Fear of God. Faith. Thankfulness. Humility. Meekness. Self-control. Patience. Discipline. Mercy. Obedience. Truthfulness. You need to pray this into your life. Don't be like, what is going on now? We have plenty of people who have gifts without the giver. Charismatic manifestation without Christ-like maturity. Power without purity. Worship without consecration. Looking for the blessing instead of the blesser. You need to sit down very early this year. Carry out analysis of your life. Identify those negative characters. Don't deceive yourself. The time is so short. Last year is gone now. Time goes very quickly these days. You need to sit down. Don't say, I don't have time. I don't have time. I will do it after some time. I will do it. You better sit down. Today, take a Bible. Analyze your life. These are the negative characters I still have. And begin to work on them until they depart from your life. After that, when you go for any form of deliverance, you will witness the kind of freedom you have never witnessed before in your life. What makes the work of deliverance difficult are those who have their pet sins they don't want to leave. And those who want to use deliverance as a means of bribing God when they have already committed atrocious sins. You fall into fornication, you say, I'm going for deliverance. You tell us, I'm going for deliverance. You still think, I'm going for deliverance. Those things, they don't bribe God. The secret of complete deliverance, beloved, is for you to be Christ-like. 100% Christ-like. And to conform to the image of Christ. As you are sitting down there today, which image are you conforming to? This is the image of your father. Image of your former girlfriend. Image of your former boyfriend. Is it the image of your pastor? No. You are supposed to conform to the image of Christ. As many people as are serious with their destiny this morning. I'd like you to close your eyes on your seat now. Ask you to close your eyes on your seat and bow down your head. Begin to talk to the Lord yourself. But Father... I don't want to engage in vain deliverance this year. I don't want prayers that will work only for 10%. 20% prayer. 30% prayer. Say, Father! Look into my life. Those dark gray areas. The areas where there is negative charge. Expose them to me this morning. So that I can repent from them. You have an opportunity to sort yourself out with the Lord. Before we start our prayers now. You need to do this one, and it's a serious matter. It has to come from the heart. It has to come from the heart. And those of you who are here this morning, and the whole of last year, you battle with one sin throughout, and you still have not conquered it. You can't continue like this. What will happen is that the enemy will just be reinforcing. Talk to the Lord yourself now. Talk to him. You will need for Jesus to get a good nail and nail you complete to his cross. So that every organ of your body is under his control. Your hand is under his control. We need to pray the crucifixion prayers. So that we too can declare like Paul. It is no longer I that live it. But Christ live it in me. No wonder some of us command evil spirits. They don't listen to us. No wonder some run elder scatter in their dreams. No wonder the harder some people pray the stronger the spirit husband becomes. There are negative characters, negative things that need to go. There are vices in our life that need to come out. Talk to the Lord about your own now, your own. Don't sit there and say, I think they are talking about somebody. No, it's you, you, you. Amen. Rise up on your feet now. And I want you to pray from your heart. Say, my father. Wherever the enemy has knocked me down. Repair me. My father, wherever the enemy has knocked me down, repair me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to talk to him now. Wherever the enemy has knocked me down, repair me, O Lord, repair me. Repair me, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.
Say, my father. Wherever I've trampled upon the blood of Jesus, repair me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord too. Wherever I've trampled upon the blood of Jesus, let that be repaired this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, evil birds are signed to steal the good seed from my heart. Clear the way. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare that you. The evil birds are signed to see the good seed from the heart. Command you to clear the way. Maseka pontende ke ya boshende raba. Da karibo so pontende ya. In Jesus name we pray. I want you to pray these seven prayers for yourself. Before we close and go. And the seriousness of these prayers. And the accuracy of the prayers will be determined by how you do it from your heart. The first prayer I want you to pray is this. My life reject wastage. Lot's wife was wasted. Samson was wasted. Saul was wasted. My life reject wastage. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. The enemy will not waste my life. In Jesus name we pray. Every agenda of the enemy. To capture my spirit man. Fail. In the name of Jesus. The agenda of the enemy to capture my spirit man. Command that agenda to fail. Masikaya bo shendera bakara bosa. In Jesus' name we pray. When we newly got born again, there was a song they used to teach us in those days that we used to sing. They said, I will never, never go back to the wall. Never go back to the wall. I will never, never go. Never go to the wall. Never go to the wall. It's a powerful confession. Paul says, The just shall live by faith. But if he shall turn back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So we are not of them that turn back unto perdition. Spirit of perdition. Spirit of perverseness. Lose your hold for my life. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of perdition and the spirit of perverseness. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Masekaya Boshendera Bokotara Basanda. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number four. Jesus said, If your eye will make you to sin, it is better for you to pluck it out and go into heaven with one eye than to go there with two eyes and you enter into hellfire. Jesus knew surely well that by the time you get to heaven, your eyes will open anyway. What is he trying to tell us? He's trying to tell us that no matter how useful what we are doing is to us, no matter what benefit you are getting from that thing, break free now if it will take you to hellfire. Break free if if it will disturb your deliverance. So every power, tie me down to iniquity. Break away in the name of Jesus. Tie the power to break away. You must not go on this earth. Break away. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. This is number five. 
I'm sure most of us here at one time or another will have taken part in this song. I will carry Jesus up and throw Satan away. Up, up Jesus, down, down Satan. How can it be said that the person who said down, down Satan who is trampling upon the devil now lands in hellfire. And the same power he was saying is trampling down. Say, ah, <laughs> Mr. Holiness, Sister Holiness, you are here. How can it be said? Hellfire shall not harvest my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare that word to It shall not harvest my life. It shall not harvest my life. Masikaya bo shendera bakara bo santa. Hellfire shall not harvest my life. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number six. Say this loud and clear. You know the Bible says? There is a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end thereof is dead. If you are afraid to pray this prayer, don't pray to Say, My father, if I am presently wrongly scheduled, Reschedule me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Wrongly schedule. Reschedule me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. This is the final prayer. The final prayer. The enemy wrote the last chapter of the wife of Lord. The enemy wrote the last chapter in the life of Saul. The enemy wrote the last chapter in the life of Solomon. By the time Solomon died, he was already becoming a poor man. The enemy wrote the last chapter in the life of Judas. The Bible says he went out and hanged himself. It is important to pray that the enemy will not write the last chapter of my life. It's important to pray it before you leave this place this morning. The enemy will not write the last chapter of my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Don't negotiate with this kind of prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that young lady that just went to abort this last week, you are not married, you went to abort this last week. If you love yourself, don't want the enemy to eliminate you. And you still hope to have children. You need some prayers for your life here today before you go. So immediately we close. Just find a way here so that we can pray with you. Because you have done an abominable evil because of the manner of blood of the child that was shed. You are here. You can hear me loud and clear. But if we run home, that will be your own making you have heard. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Let's bring out our confession booklet. This booklet in your hand. We we'll sing from page six. My trust I place now and ever in one my soul can deliver. A refuge strong fully never for his word is sure. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which is which was and which is to come. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. The Almighty, the Almighty said the Lord. Page 6. My trust I place now and ever In one my soul can deliver 
Prophesy into the life of three persons. Look at somebody straight in the heart. Say, my friend, your name is in God's program tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say it to three persons, three persons. Amen. Professor, once again to the life of three persons again. Say, my friend, your opposition shall become your testimony. In the name of Jesus, prophesy to the life of three persons. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you will prophesy into the life of seven persons. Say, my friend, any power that wants you to die shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus. Seven persons. Seven persons prophesy by the Spirit of the Living God shout it loud, hallelujah. All eyes closed. Let there be silence now, and everyone should remain standing before the Almighty God. 
there are some songs I want you to sing now. I want you to sing them without any accompaniment. The louder you sing this song, the faster your miracles here tonight. In fact, as you begin to sing that song, the Lord said, there are some people who came here with burning feet. It seems as if somebody is setting fire under their feet. The evil fire shall be quenched immediately. There are some who have come here with swollen ankles, swollen part of their bodies. As you are singing this song, the hour of infirmity shall go back to the senders. There are so many that the doctors have told they have a heart problem. What will happen is that as you are singing this song, there shall be a replacement therapy. The Almighty shall give you a new heart. As we are singing this song too, the Lord said that some people are with abnormal blood pressure. All of a sudden, you will feel as if somebody plugged your body to electricity. And that will be the end of that problem. As we sing this song too, there are some people here. The kind of wealth God will usher them to before this year runs to an end. We shock their friends and surprise their enemies. Can you sing this song loud and clear? The name, the name of Jesus. Is and is full of Sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah is greater His name is His name is Jesus. Sing it loud and clear. His name is Lord. His name. Call his name, call his name, call his name. That's wonderful name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, that wonderful name. Hallelujah, Jesus. There is no Hallelujah. Something is happening over there. Look at the power of God uh, moving from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. That wonderful. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. That wonderful. Hallelujah. Jesus. There is no wonder. Emmanuel, 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 my love, Emmanuel. Sing it.
not unclaim one loud and clear louder than anyone here do something new in my life something new in my life do something new tonight 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 hallelujah do something new in my life, something new in my life, do something new in my life, to do something great, do something great in my life, something great in my life, do something great in my life. Tonight, Hallelujah, do something great in my life. Something great in my life. Do something great in my life. Do that God that answered by fire. You will answer me by fire. You will answer me tonight, tonight, tonight. Hallelujah. Man. God not answer by fire. You will answer me by fire. You will answer me by fire to Silence now. Why the power of God is moving from person to person. Yokes have been broken. Limitations have been erased. Backwardness has been buried. Power of God is moving from person to person. Masekapondaya Bushandia. Ribo sonde ketenda kaya bushanta. Baribo soponde kaya bushanta. Amen. Silence, beloved. As some people in this meeting tonight, technically dark powers have swallowed them. But one by one, where they are standing now, they are being vomited. The evil powers have swallowed them. Is vomiting them completely. I see a woman here presently. 
Doctors have been telling you they come find out whether you have a womb or not. Something is happening to you right there where you are. A creative miracle is happening in your life. And not will only that happen to you. The menstruation you've never seen will start immediately. The power of God is moving in an awesome manner. The arrow fired into the brain has been taken out by the power of God. There's one man here. Almost 20 groups of people have conspired against you. The Lord said I should tell you that the conspiracy is scattered tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be silence. Something is taking place. There is someone here now. The enemy is trying to make you fall asleep. Knowing fully well that your deliverance is close. You better shake yourself out of that evil slumber. So that the enemy will not steal from you. Now you will shout this loud and clear. Everybody will shout this louder than anyone around them. Don't negotiate with this point at all. Shout it with a heart of enough is enough. Say this loud and clear. Every agenda of darkness for my life. In the name of Jesus, deal with the agenda of darkness. There must be no negotiation. Open your mouth and begin to destroy this agenda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. It's glorious in holiness. It's fearful in praises. And it doeth wonders. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Power of God will cause great deliverance for you tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this night. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I pray, O oh Lord, that as many of your people as are gathered into this deliverance and anointing service, that none shall go home the same. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Let's take our Bibles. We have three things ahead of us now. We want to look at the word of God very briefly. Then we pray and go into the ministration after the message. Then we go into the anointing service. I want to believe God that you brought your anointing oil here. If you brought your anointing oil here, shout hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Now listen to this short message. Listen very, very attentively. This is the message so many destinies have been waiting for. I speak for a few minutes just scratching the surface of a deep topic called deliverance of the blood. Sisters, what did I say? Can the sisters shout it loud and clear? Brothers, what did I say? Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. If you are feeling, feeling sleepy, I recommend you stand up. When we are talking about things like this, don't sleep. Leviticus 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've given it to you upon the altar. To make an atonement for your soul. There is a power inside blood 
that can even make an atonement for a man's soul. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Verse 14. Say, for it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Your life is your blood. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. That's mystery number one. Genesis chapter 4 now. Genesis chapter 4 verse 10. We see another mystery. Okay, Genesis 4 10. And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. The blood has a voice. This particular blood cried unto God for vengeance. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12, which is the final scripture we want to read for now. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. Hebrews 12, 24. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than of Abel. The blood of Abel was saying something. The blood of Jesus was saying something. The blood is the source of life. And the human life is trapped in the blood. When God created man and breathed his breath into his nostril, that breath of God that entered into man was trapped, kept in the blood. The blood is a living liquid. The blood is alive. Scientists will tell you that it is blood that will carry oxygen from your lungs to other parts of your body. They will tell you it's your blood that convey your digested food to various parts of your body. They will tell you it's your blood that helps you to maintain your body temperature. They will tell you it's your blood that helps you in excreting waste from your body. That is, that blood is an agent of purification. They will tell you that your blood is like a, is acts as a security patrol in your body, killing sicknesses, killing diseases. And they will tell you it's your blood that constantly supplies your body with strength that keeps you going. Therefore, if anything goes wrong with that blood, if that blood is polluted or defiled, life is polluted, life is defiled. The life of everything is inside the blood. That your blood is the real liquid housing you. The trouble now comes. Everyone inherits his or her ancestor's blood. And everyone is related to the past through the blood. You are what your ancestors are by your blood. Plenty of human battles in life that are, and afflictions are inside the blood. The initiator of trouble or battle in a past generation, current generation are sharing their blood. So what I'm trying to explain to you this night is that inside that blood that is so important and the enemy knows it's so important, there is a lot of attack. There could actually be evil spirit, demons in a person's blood. When there are ancestral spirits troubling people, the ancestral spirits inhabit the blood, making the offspring to acquire the problems that the ancestors had. This is why some of these problems are sometimes very difficult to solve by people who are interested in deliverance. So if you notice that your life is going the pattern of your ancestors, they have, there are things in your blood that need to depart from there. But that's not all. The mystery of it is that your blood can be your enemy. Because the only blood that speaks good things for anybody is the blood of Jesus. So your blood, the blood that is running your vein may be speaking things that are not in your favor. It may be speaking completely against your life. Because the only blood that speaks for us is the blood of Jesus. And the blood that is inside the veins of those whose life have the fire of God, whose spirits have been regenerated by the power of Jesus. Every blood has a voice, it has a message. You need the Holy Spirit to open your spiritual ears to hear what your own blood is saying. 
And because your life is inside the blood, you inherited it. Every problem that is in the ancestry can flow into the person's life and the person will be struggling with it. Even scientists will tell you that things like blood groups, blood types are inherited from both parents. When somebody's blood is polluted, when there is an enemy fighting you from your blood, you begin to notice horrible dreams, particularly dreams of death. Sometimes there will be unexplainable emotions, bad health, confusion, arrows of problems, arrows of miscarriage, arrows of multiple operations. The person may be having the smell of death. There will be all round disappointments. There will be chains of death in particular families. The problem is inside the blood. Blocked breakthroughs. All these are blood demons, blood problems. Circulating evil powers in the body. All these are problems in the blood. Anti-harvest forces. You work hard when you're about to repeat something, sweeps it away. Constant sickness, constant sickness. And sometimes the doctors cannot tell where the problem is coming from. Horrible dreams, demonic dreams. The people go for deliverance, they go and pray. It seems as if the thing doubles in power. Constant attack of blood diseases. Constantly being attacked by malaria, constantly being attacked by whatever happens to the blood that goes wrong. There are blood demons, beloved. There are blood problems. There are negative things speaking against people in the blood. Inside that blood, there are ancestral spirits. Inside that blood, there are infirmity spirits. Inside that blood, there is a spirit of death and hell. Inside that blood, there is stubborn sicknesses, stubborn situations confronting so many people. Inside that blood, you could have spirits that will make you to go into the wrong marriage. You love children that are against you. You expect that because the thing is your blood, it will relate with you well, but it's completely opposite to now. This is why we have prayers to pray here today. We need deliverance of the blood. What do you need to do? We want to be free from these forces that creeps into people's lives and causes a lot of destruction. You need to completely surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. Two, you need to wage war against these ancestral powers present inside the blood. You need to withdraw your blood, number three, from every evil altar. You need to replace that blood with the blood that Jesus has sanctified. You need to use the blood of Jesus to destroy any satanic investment in your blood. And therefore, the majority of our prayers tonight shall concentrate on this. How is it about how do they get how do they get my into my blood? I can tell you a few ways they can get in. Virgin covenant, they can get in. So, lady, you need to think very well who this virgin you and what happened. It could be through incisions. You cause incisions in your body, you pollute your blood. Any kind of spirit can enter into your blood. It could be through sex outside marriage. It could be true abortions. It could be this tattooing of the body that is caused that makes the enemy to have access to your blood. It may be women or, or true women or men's circumcision. It may even be true satanic agents operating in hospitals. But the major blood demons come through sinful practices of our past generation and they destroy lives. But Jesus is here to set the captives free. Rise up on your feet now, beloved. Rise up on your feet. This is a very important thing. And you will see what will begin to happen now. Immediately we begin to address these things that are hiding there. To which many of us have never addressed. Many don't even understand it. But I'm sure the Lord has opened a little bit of your understanding tonight. All eyes closed. But if you will receive any form of deliverance here tonight the first key is that you must make God your friend. So if you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. You cannot be delivered from these problems. But if you are here, you say, man of God, I want my deliverance tonight. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. 
wherever you are, while all eyes are closed now, run quickly to the altar here. Because we have little time. We want to go and pray. Just find your way very quickly to the altar here. And as you surrender your life to Jesus, find that your life will completely change. Jesus is waiting for you here. Find a way very quickly to the altar here. Just a few who have come to surrender your life to Jesus, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Right that way you are, close your eyes, bow down your head, wherever you are, and say what I'm going to say now after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. I know that you brought me here. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that you brought me here to bless me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from tonight, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children here. I pray, O oh Lord, that as they have taken the most important decision in life today, you make it permanent in their lives. Uphold them by your power. Write their names, O oh Lord, in the book of life. Let the decision they've taken today be a decision that will prosper them through their lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus, any problem in any life, let the problems be buried. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah, Lord. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, 
Andalando, Aninda, si, Aleluya, On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Alleluia. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. I'm worthy to be glorified. I'm worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be glorified. There is power, there is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power, power is power. Power, there is power. Power is power. There is power. There is power. Power there is power. There is power. Power there is power. Power there is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of power there is power. Power is power is power is power is power on the mountain in the valley on the land and in the sea on the mountain in the valley on the land and in the sea. Alleluia. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Alleluia. You are the mighty God. The great I am, Alleluia, Alleluia, you are the uh, uh, great. Rise up on your feet, beloved, rise up on your feet. Uh, the great I am, Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. At the mention of that name, every knee shall bow. At the mention of that name, every tongue of earth. Shout a loud hallelujah. Now this prayers I want you to pray. They may sound very strange. I recommend that you pray them anyway. Don't worry about the wordings. But pray the prayers. And get the benefit and the results. Every problem. That came into my life. Through the blood of my parents. Can you say this loud and clear? Sisters, can I hear you today shouting this loud and clear? Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Deal with that problem now. Masopoko tenda kaya bo shende raba kantia. Bo ribo sopende kende aba. In Jesus name we pray. Say evil voices from my blood. Something is happening over there. I see someone who came here with a big stony object in the body. The stone has just been melted away. I see someone here too. Your children were initiated into witchcraft. One by one, the power of God has removed them from that evil association. Evil voices from my blood. Shut up in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Command the evil voices to shut up. Aha, aha. Something is happening now. I told you what will happen. Yes, all the blood demons. I bind you and I cast you out. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. It's the blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document in my blood. Blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to check your body now. There are some who came here with certain conditions. And that condition has just disappeared. Just find a way to the altar very quickly. And those of you who have received the touch earlier on, and you have been interviewed. Also find a way to the altar now. The power of God is moving here in an awesome manner. There are 40 persons. Right now there is poison of death in your blood. The agenda of that poison is to kill you. 
Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of the enemy inside the blood is broken completely. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. That's right. The serpent in the blood is being taken out. That's right. That's right. Aha. The heaviness in the head. The problem that started as a result of the concussion you drank. All these things are being taken out now. That's right. Shout this loud and clear. Every evil power of my father's house. In my blood. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rebo soponde ke yabo shende raba santa. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, anointing that breaks the yoke. Enter my blood. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Enter my blood. Enter my blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, if you brought any sickness here, this is the time to lay your hands on that place. As you lay your hands on the place of infirmity, you will shout this loud and clear. I fire back. Every arrow of untimely death. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Fire it back. Maseka poya boshende rabo contenda raba sande. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I decree at every infirmity represented here, the one in the head that is causing the migraine, the one in the eyes that is causing cloudiness in the eye, the one in the kidney and the liver, the witchcraft sponsored infirmities. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written by the stripes of Jesus, your children are healed. Therefore, right there where you are, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. You, the spirit of infirmity, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Every power that says you will not have peace, let those powers be buried now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. That's the end of the cancer. That's the end of the fibroid. That's the end of the cough. That's the end of the stroke. That's the end of the heart trouble. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body now. Begin to do what you cannot do before. That's the power of God. That's right. Yes, don't be afraid. The miracle has happened. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body now. Immediately you discover you have been healed. Don't allow the enemy to put the problem back into your body. Quickly run to the altar here so that we can pray and put a seal on that testimony. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Strong man! In my family blood! In the name of Jesus!
Poseka tenda ya bushende rabo kompondia. Ribo soponde ke ya bushente laba. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus is here. His power is moving from person to person. His power is going from person to person. His power is flowing from person to person. Let the chain of darkness be broken. Let it 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 be broken. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has done something powerful for somebody over there. Check your body. That evil flow of blood has stopped. Check your body. That lump in the body has disappeared. You can see it. Just find a way to this altar very quickly. Don't allow the devil to put the problem back. That's why Jesus brought you here. To do great and marvelous things in your life. That's right. You dead organs in the body. Come alive by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree it. Come alive by the blood of Jesus. Come alive by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Don't say anything again. There are ten persons here. The enemy has introduced into your life this spirit of failure at the edge of success. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of failure at the edge of breakthrough is broken to pieces. That's right. Uh, there are 37 persons here. Anytime you pray strong prayers about your problem, you always see your mother. Right there where you are. The power of God is setting you free. From the yoke that has held you in bondage for years. Yes, that is the power of God coming upon you. That is the first person. Number two, number three, number four, number five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So every power using my blood against me. You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word of prophecy for somebody here. Something bothered you so much, you have been crying. The Lord said, this morning, that crying shall become testimony. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here, that the sorrow the enemy has introduced into your family has been wiped away by the blood of Jesus. Uh-huh. Thank you, Jesus. Pick a song of praises in your mouth and begin to sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. What a mighty God we serve. A glorious in holiness, a fearful in praises, and you do wonders. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' 
name we pray. If you believe the Lord has touched you, shout three, Golah, destroy, and hallelujah. Amen. We now go straight into the anointing service. Please bring out your bottle of olive oil. If you brought many bottles, just bring up one and don't bother to open the cover. The cover cannot prevent the power of God from getting inside. This anointing that we are praying on today is a very, very special one which will rewrite the history of so many people. A very special one which will even have impact on the nation. Because wherever this oil is dropped on the ground, the activities of the enemy will be disgraced. The anointing service is not a ritual. Neither is it magic or fetish power. The oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Oil, handkerchief, apron, materials like that, they can carry the anointing. After prayer now, you carry a powerful weapon in your hand. Hold it in your right hand and let your amen be super dynamic. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. And as the Spirit of God moved upon the waters, there was the voice, let there be light. Father, let the Holy Spirit move into this oil now in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of deliverance. The oil of power. The oil of strength. The oil of breakthrough. And as far as you have this oil in your hand, every wall of sorrow shall crumble. In the name of Jesus, the doors of tragedy will be shut down. In the name of Jesus, let this oil become drugs, antibiotics, and vitamins of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Father, in those days, you used to send an angel to trouble the water of Bethesda. And whoever got in first, got in. Let the same angel trouble this oil now. So that it can become the oil of breakthrough. The oil of power. The oil of strength. The oil of deliverance. The oil of glory. The oil of healing. The oil of uncommon breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. And let his oil be sanctified. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, carefully open this bot- your bottle and put a little bit in your mouth. Swallow it. Be careful with your fingers. Be careful with the oil. And say this after me. Say, my mouth. You have encountered the anointing oil. Beginning from today, you will bring me progress. My mouth shall not kill me. My mouth shall speak words of prosperity and blessings. Beginning from today, any eating sickness in my body is dead. In the name of Jesus, shout a loud amen. Then pour a little bit of the oil on your head. The Bible says, Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Say, My head, you are the symbol of my destiny. Beginning from now, my head shall be lifted up above the enemies round about me. Insanity shall not be my lot. Any curse issued against my head shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now apply a little bit of the oil on your hands and rub them together. Say, my hands, you are the symbol of my walking, beginning from now. Every good thing that I touch shall prosper in the name of Jesus. My hand shall magnetize good things to my life. My hand shall bring me powerful breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. 
Shout it loud, amen. Now apply the oil on your legs. You may need to sit down to do it properly. Make sure the oil touches your two legs. Basse kapontende yaboshandia. Ribosende kepe yaboshente. Look at what is happening over there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My legs. You are the symbol of my walking. Beginning from now. You will not take me into tragedy. If there is going to be tragedy. You will not go there. My legs. Shall take me to my place of breakthroughs. Shall take me to my place of blessings. In the name of Jesus. Shout it loud. Amen. Now if you have any sickness on any part of your body. Put this oil on your hand. And apply it to that place. Don't worry whether anyone is looking at you. Don't bother whether anyone is looking at you. If you need to put your hand inside your clothes, do so. Massage it in. That's right. The healing power of God is flowing from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at what is happening over there. That's right. Yes. The serpent moving about in the body. Dried up. Rise up on your feet now. Carefully put the oil away. Don't allow it to pour away. Immediately you get home from this meeting. The first place to anoint is your doorpost. After the order of the Passover. Once you anoint your doorpost. If any power of darkness wants to enter into your habitation. It will stay outside. It will not gain entrance to your habitation. If somebody has bad spirits, if he wants to enter into your habitation, his demon will come out and wait for him outside. Glory be to the name of the Lord. If you have a friend who did not come to this program but wants this oil, let your friend buy a fresh bottle of oil and put a few drops in it and it becomes the same thing. Now that you have anointed yourself, you are in a position to pray one powerful prayer. Say, anointing and praise the earth. Come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. The anointing that breaks the yoke. Come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ribo se katonda kaya bo shandaraba. De piali katonda kaya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Now, right there where you are, the Lord is showing me somebody who is pregnant. And the doctors, doctors have been telling you stories about that baby. Their pronouncements have been cancelled. And you have nothing to fear. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody who has come for this program today, very, very soon, very, very soon, you shall become a celebrity. The Lord shall promote you. Right now, not many people know you. Very soon you are going to be very, very popular. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want you to pick three things in your mind. Three things you want the Lord to do for you before the next convention. Begin to talk to the Lord now. Three things. Amen. Let your amen be dynamic now. As I make these prophetic pronouncements upon your life. Beginning from now. I decree by the decree of heavens that you will march upon every serpent and scorpion in the name of Jesus. Whether the devil likes it or not, you will cross to the arena of victory in the name of Jesus. Every power that has padlocked the success of anyone here, they shall release your key by force by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that has disgraced you in the past. All those powers shall be completely disgraced now. In the name of Jesus. All those who have mocked you in the past. They shall gather around to share your testimony. 
In the name of Jesus. For it is written that you to the hills shall raise up your head. From there comes your help. Your help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and earth. You will not suffer your feet to be moved. For it that keepeth you will not slumber. That keepeth you will not slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you going and you are coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. No weapon form against you shall prosper. And if Jesus tarries in his coming, you will shout happy new year to the next year. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let us share the glory. Right there where you are. Raise your voice as you sing this loud and clear. Believe in the love for his great church upon your life here today. Power must change and be my life. No matter what the may Power must change us. Hallelujah, no matter what that day in Jesus' name. yourself here this morning whether you are here or you are watching us God has a program for your life and there are things he will want to do in your life therefore in the next few minutes I want you to sing like David sang and dance like David danced so that you too can have the miracle of David miracle of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob let nobody's wife be louder than yours as you praise the Lord His glorious holiness fearful in praise we give glory to the Lord he reigns we give glory to the Lord he reigns he reigns he reigns he reigns we give glory to the Lord he reigns hallelujah we give glory to the Lord he reigns we give glory to the Lord he reigns he reigns he reigns he reigns
Just remain standing where you are. With your eyes closed. I'm going to sing a song. Don't sing with me. Just focus your attention on Jesus. Who is the author and finisher of your faith? As I sing from here, the mysterious power of God will begin to move. Everywhere the voice is hard, the voice of the great physician too will flow into your ears and situations that have resisted you shall begin to bow. Thank you, Jesus. He has broken all the fetal. He has broken all the fetal. He has broken all the feathers he has set me free he has broken all the feathers he has broken all the feathers he has broken all the feathers he has set me free. I will sing Hallelujah. I will sing Hallelujah. I will sing Hallelujah. He has set be free. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has set me free. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. Victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. That's the power of God moving. That's the second wave of the power of God moving. Just silence. I'm going to count seven from here. And when I eat the number seven, all those who are in this gathering connected to us who have been harassed by the spirit of death and hell and you are having suicidal thoughts the power of 
God will fall upon you. And that yoke will be broken instantly. You may not be able to stand on your feet, it does not matter. But right there where you are, the heavenly surgeon will complete work in your life. I'm going to count seven from here too. There are people who have come out with a very bad medical report. At the count of seven, the earthquake of deliverance will fall upon you. And that report shall be cancelled. As I count seven from here too, there are sisters here in the family you come from. Marriages never work. But on that count of seven, the mysterious power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke shall be broken instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The yoke must be broken. I just got on board of four. I'm going to count another seven from here. What to count? Kadekej. As I eat the number seven. If you have come here with problems in your womb, you have come here because you have been constantly attacked by witchcraft spirits. You are here. And anytime you wake up, it's as if your strength is gone. And you have been seeing these strange serpents in your dream. As I eat the number seven, the hand of the great physician shall come upon you, and that yoke shall be broken forever. Also, there are some people here. All roads seem blocked. The power of God will fall upon you. You will definitely not be able to stand on your feet. Because of the earthquake of that power. But then all your roads that are blocked shall open. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Yes. Ben. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The poison of darkness that you have swallowed that has been working against your body is coming out. Aha. Ben. That egg that you swallowed, and you told me. the satanic egg, and you satanic. is coming out. Oh, daddy. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, show Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards his altar now. No, what? Let's see what you're Stretch your right hand towards his altar. No, what? Let's see what you're 
Father, these hands that are stretched forward here. Baba, what do you want us? Why you eat? Let these hands carry the fire and power of God. Let these hands carry the anointing that breaketh yokes. You hand that are stretched forward here. Receive the touch of fire. Receive the touch of fire. Receive the touch of power. Receive the touch of deliverance. Receive the touch of power. Every infirmity you shall smite here today. You shall not find them anymore in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready now. Anywhere you have infirmity in your body, smite it 21 hot times. Shouting, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Let's go. To check your body now. Do everything you could not do before you got here. Look at that swelling, it has vanished. Look at the paralysis, it has gone. Look at the migraine, it has disappeared. That pursuit by the spirit of death and hell has vanished completely. Check your body now. Once you find that the hand of God has touched you, don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to the altar here. Run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put it back. Father, I'm praying for all those who are in this gathering right now and they are suffering from like father like some problem like mother like daughter problem wherever such people are now in this program now let your power your power your power overshadow them in the name of Jesus receive the touch of the power of God now in the name of Jesus receive the touch of his power in the name Receive the touch of his power in the name of Jesus. Aha. Ben. Yes. Ben. That man over there. Everything swallowed your body by witchcraft spirits. The Lord has forced them to return them. So what you could not do before, jump up and begin to do so. And begin to find a way to the altar very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Pray this prayer with violence and with power. Without any apology to any power. Anything can happen now. Pray the way you have never prayed before. Surprise! that handed me over to the strong man. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus.
out of the strong man. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to count seven again from here. There are some sisters here this morning. The enemy has written you off. But as I count the seven, the earthquake power of God will fall upon you. And what they said is not possible for you. Shall be made possible. Not only that, before this time next year. Jesus starts in his coming. Your life will embarrass and disgrace your enemies. One, two, AG. Let her go. Three, Five. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Raise your two hands to the heaven as you pray this prayer. The louder you pray, it's the faster. My blessings. Held up in the covens. Is that the loudest sister say I can shout this? There is a sister who needs to shout this louder. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody shouting it loud. Come out my fire. In the name of Jesus. Command it to come out. If you are that person that you know that your body is decaying internally, nobody needs to tell you you can smell it. Right there where you are, just open your mouth wide. Don't say anything. Just open that mouth wide. Right there where you are, begin to drink the blood. Of Jesus. Jesus. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink. 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 Drink the blood of Jesus. Aha. I command you to recover yourself now. In the name of Jesus. Now check your body. And run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the devil put the problems back. There are some people here. You have never worked with your certificate. Because the enemy collected the certificate before you collected it. Again, I'm going to count seven from here. And the powers that have held on to your career. Shall release you instantly. One, two, three, four, 
two, AG. three, four, five, six, seven, AG. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, show Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, show Jesus. With a military voice, by law, or logo, shout this. Keep going by. I shall laugh last. You are not shouting it yet. I will keep going now. You are still not shouting it yet. Over my enemies. Lord, you are what By the power. In the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decrease. Name we pray. Lord, now from inside your belly. Not just from the mouth alone. If you believe that prayer you just prayed. With a loud voice. Begin to laugh your enemies to scorn. <laughs> yes, love them to scorn. Love them to scorn. <laughs> make it louder, make it louder. Go, so go, go, so go. <laughs> Aha. Then. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Let's have a seat. God bless you. And listen to me very carefully. Yes, that's it. Very good. It is important. Oh, she got a key. That the next two palm was changes. It's something you must not miss and something you must take seriously. As we go on on this our deep deliverance sessions, please listen carefully to what we are going to be dealing with so that you know what to do when the time comes. For the next few minutes, I want to explain to you what we mean by candidates of deep deliverance. Candidates of deep deliverance. Sisters, what did I say? And brothers, what did I say? In Psalm 38, only David Kajidini Ogoji was four. 
Psalm 38 verse 4. Only David for my iniquities are gone over my head as an heavy burden they are too heavy for me there could be a burden that is too heavy for a man to carry when that kind of burden is in place then an enemy has done this I'm praying for somebody here any every burden the enemy has placed upon you before you depart from this holy ground today shall backfire in the name of Jesus Hey, seven fold Now in Psalm 18, Ori David Ikeji Dinogun, verse 17. Esa Iketa Dinogun, 1817. Ori Ikeji Dinogun, Esa Iketa Dinogun. He delivered me from my strong enemy. Oba milawa ta mi alagbara. From them which hated me. Atilawa watoko ni ami. For they were too strong for me so there could be a situation where a burden could be too heavy and an enemy can be too strong those are the Goliath kind of enemy I decree upon your life whether it is convenient for the enemy or not you shall disgrace your Goliath meaning that there are various levels of oppression there are various levels of affliction there are various levels of being troubled this is a wicked world and the Bible says the whole world lied in wickedness a very wicked world so wicked that some who should remain alive are dead I was explaining last month that there could be surface deliverance there could be temporary deliverance there could be partial deliverance there could be complete deliverance there could be deep deliverance when a problem is in the surface and is lightly rooted it can be uprooted without too much effort but when it's deeply rooted it will require more energy in fact there are some problems in scripture that require the second touch of Jesus. Jesus touched the man the first time. He said, can you see? He said, I see men as trees. He touched him again. Some problems require not one touch, a second touch. I now want to go as time permits into characteristics of those requiring this thing we call deep deliverance deliverance from the roots number one there are some people who suffer from spiritual blockage they cannot connect to heaven they cannot flow during worship 
No divine dream. No divine vision. No prophecy. No hearing of divine voice. Spiritual blankness. If you are like that, no information from heaven, no sight from heaven, no vision from heaven, no dream from heaven, no divine information, that is what we call spiritual blockage. Something has blocked your spiritual man, and that requires deep. Deliverance. I'm praying for anyone here like that today. That you are spiritually blocked. Even dreams, you don't have any divine dreams. Vision, no divine vision. People flow in the Holy Spirit, you don't flow. People worship and they lose themselves into God, you cannot. If you are like that here today, I decree by the decree of the man of Galilee, Jesus, the Son of the living God, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. There are some people they are always constantly sexually aroused. They try this, they try that. No. It's as if the enemy has fired the arrow of sexual looseness into their lives. They pray, they go for deliverance, but they go back again. They say, Father, I won't go there again. I will not visit the prostitutes. But they go back there again. You need deliverance. Three. That is something deliverance called long-term pregnancy. Somebody is supposed to deliver a baby nine months. Three years. Two years. Four years. It's a sign of deep deliverance. Four. There are plenty of cases of disappearing pregnancies. They just disappear. They seen it in the scan before. But now they can't see it anymore. It has disappeared. This is a very serious matter. Very, very serious matter. And I cannot just bypass it like that. Right there where you are. All eyes closed. If you are here and this is happening to you or has happened to you, pregnancy disappears or it has disappeared before. Find a way quickly to this altar and be on your knees now before we bypass that arena. If you are in any place watching us, find a way to the altar of where you are so that the hand of God can deliver you today. Something is about to happen that will change destinies forever. While they are coming out, can you shout this loud and clear where you are? Goliath in my roots. Is that the loudest who can shout this prayer? Die! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree.
Jesus them we pray Lord who call Jesus Those of you at the altar or coming to the altar. You can stand where you are. Stretch your right hand towards me. Father, let this let the fire of God. I'm time to these hands now. Let his cause grace deliverance to happen. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to cancel and just smite your womb area. One. Two. Three. Four. Aha. Five. Six. Seven. But upon my sound, there shall be deliverance. Lord, you can see only need to see like your holiness. I think what we know. Children of Jacob shall possess a possession. Yes, let her go. 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 In the name of Jesus. The serpent in the womb. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. The swallowing serpent in the womb. Get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, those of you at the altar. Begin to shake your head. Shake it vigorously. Shake it vigorously. Shaking it is a sign of no. No. You don't want it anymore. And let the arrow fired into the womb. Go back to the senders. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Check it off. Masika Tanika Abushanda. Amen. Amen. Beginning from today, let your new law the battle you have been seen before. You shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. You may go back to your seat now. Aha. Look at what is happening. The great physician is walking. 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 Yes. Yes. The power of your village witchcraft upon your womb is destroyed now. Aha. Everybody will pray this too. This is a prayer that has delivered many. Pray this deliverance prayer loud and clear. Yokes of my fathers are. I've spoken to you about spiritual blockage. About being constantly sexually aroused. About long-term pregnancy. 
about disappearing pregnancies. Number five is strange voices. A lot of people are hearing voices they should not be hearing. When you hear a voice that is not the voice of God, and he's saying strange things to you you need deep deliverance that person over there that voice that is telling you that you will die I silence that voice now in the name of God six we ask situations I want to share of babies traveling out of the womb and coming back. For deep deliverance. Seven. This may be difficult for you to believe. But there are plenty of people with invisible load on their head. There is load on their head. They will not see it physically. But it's there. Eight. Some people have the arrow of pepper. The body is just peppery. As if pepper is applied. No, it's a case of deep deliverance. They are boiling that person in the cauldron of witchcraft. Is that heat that you are feeling? Nah. There is something called personal rain. The person who feel that rain is falling upon him. Or somebody is pouring sand on him. And he can't see anybody. It calls for deep deliverance. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that the next two palm of kingdoms is to deal with these strange and mysterious afflictions. Then number 10 is the rage of satanic birds. Birds just roaming around the compound screaming and screaming at night. And immediately it is they break, they disappear. It needs deep deliverance. You that you are there, they are coming to. You need that deep deliverance. Some complain. Number 11. About being pursued by the moon, by the stars, by the sun. You can't tell anybody. Because if somebody tells you moon is pursuing him, sun is pursuing him, you will say you are mad. But if you say reality, reality, twelve, there are some people, their money disappears, clothes disappear, hair on the head disappear. They don't know who's taking them. They don't know where they have gone to. It comes for deep deliverance. These are things we are going to be dealing with. Some have strange odors coming from their body. Some have scratches coming up on their body. To some is unexplainable hatred. Unexplainable hatred. It calls for deep deliverance. There is something called spiritual famine. The person will have no desire to do any spiritual discipline. There is total inability to read the Bible. Total inability to pray. Total inability to have communion with God. Any time they attempt to pray or to read the Bible, several things will happen. They may instantly fall 
while they sulok, they may instantly fall asleep. While they sulok, then all manner of thoughts crossing their mind will make it impossible for them to concentrate. Holy shiri shiri, oh God, do you need to erupt? Oh, why did they just come for you? See me come. They may begin to feel sick. Or develop severe headache. Any time they grow spiritually, there is an aggressive counter attack. Deep deliverance is needed. I saw somebody three months back. She has three girls. The first pregnancy was a boy. This was in the hospital. As they say, push. And she pushed the baby. An unseen power standing in that hospital. Cut off the head. The head of the boy just rolled on the floor. The nurse ran away. Everybody was afraid. Because they could not see the forces cutting it off. She cried. She went all over the place. She got pregnant again. Fifth time. Another boy. Another clinic. The same thing happened again. As the head came out, it was cut off. That is not ordinary deliverance again. It's a deep deliverance. Situations like this are things many people cannot discuss. Some suffer from emotional insanity. There is a wound in their heart that nobody can see. And it's making the enemy to be attacking them regularly. All these kind of feelings they are signs of deep deliverance. Excessive tiredness. Just tired. You wake up you are tired as if you have not never slept. Those are signs I mean, that a deep deliverance is called for. When there are strange occurrences in environment, flying objects, shadowy objects, bush babies, crying on your windows, then a deep deliverance is called for. The question is, why are they looking for you? Sleep walking. He's sleeping. Also, but he's walking about. Deep deliverance is called for. Demonic look alike. You always see somebody looking like you. All this call for very deep deliverance. These are the things we need to address. But before that time comes, we have some dangerous prayers to pray against them. What do you do when the enemy is stronger? and the burden is heavier. What do you do when you arrive by your Red Sea? The first is to surrender your life to Jesus. The next thing is to report them to God. And the third thing is to declare war. Is that what we are declaring now? Meaning that the next two power changes. You are still going to be bringing your anointing on here until total victory. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here today and you are not born again, you've not to surrender your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly before we start these prayers. You can come to this altar at the front here or any of the two altars at the back. You say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I too want deliverance 
to the roots to happen in my life. Run quickly to this altar at the front or any of the two altars at the back or wherever you are watching us go to the altar of that church over there Jesus is waiting for you do it very quickly we have, we have to go and pray thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Ask bad your hands and say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, I know that you died for my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let the earthquake of deliverance begin to happen in their lives. Give them uncommon breakthroughs. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Right there when you are the counselors we discuss with you. I tell you the next course of action. The rest of us, wherever we are, talk to the Lord now. Tell the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will keep any deep bondage in place. Particularly bondages you cannot discuss with people. Ask the Lord to forgive you now. Do that quietly where you are. Let's rise to our feet, please. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray now. Let nobody's voice be louder than yours in these prayers. In this prayer session, anything can happen at any time. Father, in the name Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because your word says that oppression shall be far away from us. Your word says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Your word says no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, I decree right now anyone in this gathering and the weapon of the enemy is already prospering in your life receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. When I say one, two, three, go now. You shout the name of Jesus seven aggressive times. And then you keep quiet. One, two, three, go. Father, 
which is written anyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved as many as have called upon the name of the Lord just now receive your breakthroughs now in the name of Jesus Receive it, receive it, receive it, it, Father, all who are here and they have been dedicated to one idol or the other. Consciously or unconsciously. Wherever such people are, wherever such people are now. Father, these are your angels that are moving around. Let them begin to touch them one by one. That's number one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. All those who have been dedicated by their parents to anything, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. There are 21 persons here. Before the next power must change that. The Lord will usher you into great wealth. That will change your story forever. Say, I receive power. Now, yes, yes, yes. I want you to make one single prayer request. Something you want the Lord to do before the next part of the Single prayer request. Just one. Makate sate ya bushenta ya bushenta. Rivo sate ya likari ya. Neri ya kapa ya bussa. Amen. Amen. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. The eyes that never slumbers nor sleep shall be upon you. No weapon formed against your life and your destiny shall prosper. The Lord will arise and fight all your battles for you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. It is well with you. No weapon formed against your life shall prosper. I put you in the envelope of fire. I laminate your life with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As we take our Bibles. Dealing with the hidden strong man. Dealing with the hidden strong man. And that takes us into two very deep scriptures. 
There is something you are going to need here tonight. It is what is known as holy anger. And you must deploy it to your own advantage. In the book of Psalm, Psalm number 18, verse 45. Psalm 18, 45. Very deep scripture. Psalm 18, 45. Or let's take it from 44. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers, the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away. They shall fade away. What will make them fade away? Something that makes them afraid comes inside. Something greater than they are coming. They shall fade away. And be afraid out of their close places. Out of their close places. One of the most difficult things to address in deliverance is when the enemy is in hiding. When the enemy is in a place this Bible describes as a close place. It's there. But just stay in hiding and negotiating, controlling, and doing evil. Negotiating, do evil. It's hidden there. So hidden sometimes that you even think it's your friend because it's so cleverly hidden. One of the most difficult things to do in deliverance is to address cryptic things like this, things that know that you will not tolerate their presence so they decide to hide. This is why I'm going to pray this strange but powerful prayer now. Any stranger, any strong man, hiding in the life of anyone listening to me now, by the time you step out of this place, they will have died by fire in the name of Jesus. Let our amen roar like thunder. This is a very, very serious situation. When things are hiding and they're in close places, there are evil hidden structures in many lives. The true strongholds, they are not external, but internal. And many are completely ignorant of their internal lives. And the enemy has secret places in so many lives where they've decided to hide. It is bad enough when there is a close place for the enemy to hide. But it's more horrible when the powers hiding in that close place is what Jesus described as strong man. In Luke chapter 11, verse 21, there are many, many things that you can never find in the Old Testament. Because when Jesus arrived, began to explain to us Luke eleven twenty one. 21 it says when a strong man armed keepeth his palace his goods are in peace but when a stronger than he shall come it is when that stronger than him shall come that he gets afraid when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him he taketh from him all his hammer wherein he trusted and divided his spoil Listen to me carefully, brother. There will be war. Spiritual war. Until the end of the age. Listen to me. We must possess our land by dispossessing the enemy. We must allow God to use us as a battle axe. We must destroy the enemy without mercy. God our father is a man of war. This is why they call him King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jehovah Nisi, Mighty Warrior, Captain of the Lord's Host, Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Refuge, Tower, Stronghold, the Lord of Hosts. The reason they describe the Lord in all those names is because he's a man of war. The church itself was designed for warfare. So upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So spiritual conflict and spiritual revival 
is one of the clearest signs of the last days. Unfortunately, evil will go from bad to worse. Because the Bible says, evil men and seducers, they shall work stronger and stronger. So the nature of the warfare we should wage is based on the nature of the enemy. These enemies are unseen and they are in large numbers. They are wicked and totally evil in purpose. But the most wicked of them all, when you begin to relate them, the most wicked is the one, the strong man. Jesus took time to explain. And for Jesus to say someone is strong, strong, there must be a reason that Jesus is calling the person a strong man. If he's weak, Jesus will say weak man, strong man, strong, doing all kinds of things. I'm praying for somebody here. Every eating strong man that has been remotely troubling any life here, by your seven shout of amen, we bury them tonight in the name of Jesus. The strong man, it's like a commanding general of an evil army. Commanding general of an evil army. The strong man is the captain of the stronghold. Is the king in the palace of darkness. When the Bible says you shall, you shall trod upon serpents and scorpions, is the senior serpent, the senior scorpion. The strong man is that evil power assigned to that problem. He's the one assigned to it. The one in charge of it. And so for you to be completely free from that situation, you need to deal with the strong man behind it. The strong man is the fountain from which small, small demons draw power. The strong man is the pharaoh amongst your pursuers and the Goliath among your aggressors. The strong man is the manager of that evil warehouse where they are keeping people's things. The strong man is that dominating and jealous spirit husband that will go and fight anybody who says they want to marry one woman. The strong man is the power that leaves the door open for other dark powers to enter. He is the chief and central demon. That is the strong man. The strong man is that leader the leader of the evil congregation of power he is the ancestral power in charge of family bondages he is the one that gives orders and controls other spirits a brother took his mother to a crusade that crusade is a crusade where that man of God will say if you are a witch here come out and you see them rushing out they don't rush out they start falling down their seats. When that man of God makes that call, if a witch, I come to the altar right now. This brother was so sure that the mother was a witch. So he dragged her to that crusade. And true, when they got to the middle of the crusade, the man of God said, if you're a witch, I come out. And people started rushing to the front. The man looked at his mother. He found that she was still sitting down. He said, mommy, mommy, they are calling you people. The woman looked at him, smiled. See, see those who are going to the front. Those are our housemaid, our servants. They have not called us yet. People like us don't stand up for that. Kind. The brother began to vibrate on his seat. That mother that he has, strong man. There used to be a man in this church. His own mother will wake up in the morning and knock his door. Co, co, co. Say yes. Uh -uh. You are still talking. I thought we were finished eating you last night. It was the prayer here that was sustaining him. I'm praying for somebody here. Any strong man that has determined to capture your joy, we bury them now in the name of Jesus. We bury them, 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 in the name of Jesus. I shared this with you some time ago. Talking about the strong man. 
this beautiful school. They were doing well. Doing well. All of a sudden, the school stopped doing well. If you bring bright students to the school, they fail. The West African School Certificate Results went down. Nobody knew what was happening in school anymore. But there was a Christian girl in that school who made it a duty to pray from 12 to 2 every night. So 12 o'clock she woke up in the girls' dormitory and start prayer. So he started so, she, so that girl does it every every night. It's good when children can pray. Any child who knows how to pray and does not know what God has done for him or her. Started praying. 12 to 2. 12 to 2. One night as she started a VJ, she felt uncomfortable. As if something evil had entered into the dormitory. She was not flowing the way she used to flow. All of a sudden, she heard the sound of a flapping bird. And she saw the bird at the corner. What is this bird doing here? Just one day I captured it, put it in a locker, and locked it up, closed it, and continued her vigil. Then she found that the vigil could flow, and she slept. In the morning, they rang the bell for the girls to wake up at this dormitory. Every girl woke up, apart from one girl. They poured water on her, she did not wake. They pinched her, she did not wake. They beat her. She did not wake. They brought the school nurse. The school nurse checked the heart. It's beating, no problem. Pulse, okay. Everybody was puzzled. They couldn't wake up. The girl who refused to wake up. In the morning, the teachers arrived, the principal, everybody. They couldn't go to classes because of this girl. They now gathered there. They didn't know what to do, but she was breathing. All of a sudden, the Christian girl came to the dormitory. Last night, last night, something happened here. I saw a bird, and I locked it in my, put it in my locker, locked it up. So well, to say somebody is not waking up, you say bird, eh? keep quiet. So, but uh, maybe that is the problem now. So just keep her from talking. So go and where is the bird? Where is the bird? She went to that locker, opened it. The bird flew out. Went to the girl that was asleep. The girl that refused to wake up. Pegged her forehead three times. And the bird disappeared. And the girl woke up. That was pandemonium. The teachers were genuinely scared. One of the male teachers urinated in his trousers. I said, ha, this is the kind of students we teach here. That girl was sent out of the school because they didn't know what to do. They didn't understand any deliverance. It was then the school began to do well. No one knew that there was a strong man who has been sent into the school to paralyze activities. In spiritual warfare, you face principalities and powers of varying degrees of authority and power. Men who claim to be praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. They are only addressing the servants while the controller or the ruling spirit remained untouched. Just like the brother who took his mother to the crusade. I'm praying for somebody here again. All the children of the strong man and the strong man themselves in any life here, they must be disgraced and destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Light or ever rule like thunder. In many lives, once you become a child of God and you are born again, they know that you can recognize evil if you see it. They know that if they make too much appearance, you will stand up in the middle of the night and begin to fire your prayer arrow. So, because of that, they remain hidden. They hide. So you won't be able to know what went on. Every masquerading strong man, every eating strong man, secretly troubling the life of the children of God and troubling their Israel. We bury you now in the name of Jesus. 
we bury you now. 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 Let your heaven roar like thunder. One principle of spiritual warfare which has never failed is to overthrow overthrow the gods behind your enemies. You overthrow the gods behind your enemies. Once this is done, you have broken their backbone. You have broken their backbone. A man rushed the mountain of fire 1989 when we started. Old Yabaro. He said, she sat one housemate and the housemate said, Dad, you have 10 cars. Well, because you sack me today, you will trek about in this Lagos with your leg. I said, ah, okay. Then I said, okay, sir. You are an elder in the church, aren't you? I said, Joe, I'm not talking about elder. If you're elder, you don't know what to say to her. I said, I told her I rejected. Shut up. Okay, why are you here? So, so, as I speak, all ten cars gone. It's now trekking about. If you never had a car, trekking will not give you stress. Because you never had any car. But somebody who had ten trekking. Because one small girl made a pronouncement. We now started praying. The kind of prayer I'm going to ask you to pray now. We should pray for that man that day. And the Lord began to restore him. Can you raise up your right hand in boiling anger? Pronouncement of the strong man! Against my life! Back forward! In the name of Jesus! Somebody is breaking through with his prayers. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Huh. Very good. Very good. That principle never fails. Overthrow the gods behind your enemy. Once you do this, the backbone is broken. Subdue the gods of your enemies. Once you do this, the backbone is broken. Moses confronted the gods behind Egypt. He went first to Rivana, a strong man, turned that to blood. Pharaoh's magicians. Oh, he said, that's not a problem. We are drinkers of blood. They did the same thing. One, one. Moses caused frogs. Caused the waters to bring forth frogs. Frog is another idol they worship in that place. Oh, the magicians said, no problem, we can do that as well. They knew the negative version of these ministrations. They duplicated it. Two, two. Moses said, okay. Let the earth bring forth lies. That has now gone beyond the realm of the magicians. You will go beyond the realm of your enemies. It's now, it's now gone above them. They came back and said, Pharaoh, they tried the lies, they could not. They could not. They went straight to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. They admitted. Your enemies shall admit defeat. <laughs> Moses did not stop. He took the battle again. He released swarms of flies. The fly too is another god in Egypt. Moses went higher. 
to other elements. It started from the earth and seas. And then it moved to the atmosphere. It released plague to kill all their livestock. And not that terrible blow to the Egyptians because they, they worship those livestock. In some nations of the world, now nobody kills cows. They worship the cows. Then Moses now took ashes and sent them by courier service to cause boils on the body of people. Threw it into the air. Moses now moved to the seventh stage. He now appealed to the heavens. Animals and plants died. He now went to the east wind again and blew locusts upon the land day and night. Went further to the atmosphere, to the sun. The sun withdrew the supply of light on Egypt. They worship the sun too. They worship the waters, the dust of the earth, ashes, the air, the wind, the sun, the frogs, flies, the locust. They are all gods of Egypt. Now, finally, God now sent evil angels, angels of death over the land to kill the firstborns. The firstborns who were gods, they worshipped them. By the time that happened, the backbone of the enemy was broken. The same, same with the strong man. Same thing. And to break the backbone, a stronger one must come into play. But when you do not bind that strong man, all those demons that went will come back. It's like putting plaster on the surface of a large wound. If you don't deal with it. When that strong man is hiding inside, all the wicked spirits will come back. No matter how many deliverance you do, once you stay hiding there, it will bring the others back. And the position of the person will be worse. Are you here tonight? You have little or no progress in spite of your hard work. You have this chain resistance. It's as if the whole world is resisting your efforts. You are making unpardonable errors. Demons are overcoming you with ease. Nothing is going smoothly. You are planting much, but reaping very little. There is plenty of profitless hard work. You have a strong man to deal with. A strong man could be attached to somebody's career, but they leave other aspects alone. You could be attached to somebody's calling. You could be attached to somebody's marriage. You could be attached to somebody's business. Until you deal with the strong man in charge of that situation, the problem remains as it is. And therefore, tonight, you have a great opportunity. One, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. Two, you need to repent from every known sin. Three, you need to know that a strong man is strong. You need strong prayers to deal with it. Four, you need to pray violently to disgrace and dismantle the strong man. Wage war and overthrow their powers. And this is what we want to start now. This is not a gentleman's work. Neither are they gentle prayers. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. You can see that we're not here to play. We're here for serious business. I see many people tonight receiving freedom from long term bondages, from evil and writing, from delay, from bad luck, and from unwriting of darkness. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, you are not born again. If you want to surrender your life to Jesus, just raise up your right hand where you are and say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. Jesus' name. Amen. You said I should pray with me. Immediately close. Just find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. All eyes closed. The prayers I want you to pray tonight is not primary school prayers. It's not gentleman's prayer. It's not the prayer that you pray and your body does not know you are praying. It's not the prayer you pray and hell does not know that you are praying here. The first three prayers has helped millions of people. If you pray it well tonight, it will certainly help you. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Strong!
your life where you think progress is not satisfactory. You can say marriage, career, you can say business. That area you don't, you are not happy with the way it's going. You need to now shout this prayer loud and clear. Strong man! Assign to my career! See, see what is happening. Continue, 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 continue. This is not a death on a negotiation. name we pray. I wish you could see what is going on now. Yes. Yes. Strong man. Assigned to damage my happiness. Open them out, open them out, open them out. You cannot damage my happiness. Amen. Silence. It's happening. It's happening. Bakapoto Sopila Kida Nakindeleka. Baka Dixetendekea. You the strong man from the waters. Hear the word of the Lord. This life is not your candidate anymore. You the strong man from the trees, from the forest, from the sea. Your time is up. You cannot continue the torment. Release the brain. Release the brain. Release the heart. Release the chest. Release the womb. The legs, release it, 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 yes, release it. But cast in the name of Jesus.
Stretch your right hand to the altar now. Makampoto Sophia. Father, let your anointing fall upon these hands. Let every yoke tonight upon anybody's flesh be broken. Let this arm become the answer of healing. The answer of breakthrough. The answer of fire. The answer of power. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you brought any infirmity here, 21 times you will smite it and begin to shout, Strong man, I bind you. Strong man, I bind you. And so I smite in the place. Smite it really aggressively. Anywhere you are having trouble or pain. Let's go! Smite it well! Yes. Yes. Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Put your faith into action. And begin to do what you could not do before. Once the sickness has disappeared, don't say I will go and I will wait till tomorrow to check it up. Run quickly to the altar here. So that the devil will not put it back. Check your body very well now. Once that headache has gone, that my migraine has gone, that plantation of darkness has disappeared, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Thank you, Jesus. These three prayers, it has helped millions of people. It will certainly help you today. Something has happened to that sister over there. Yes, it's, it's gone, it's gone. Don't be afraid. Just find a way to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Strong man that destroy my parents. Your time is up. Dead in the name of Jesus. strange prayer in Jesus name we pray this is number two let your voice be the loudest here strong that has vowed to make me suffer. You are alone. The name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus name we pray this is number three please I want to beg you be more aggressive strong man of delay in my life
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus name we pray the Lord said as many as we pray this next prayer three hot stars they will certainly experience the God of breakthroughs strong man that wants me to go down where I am supposed to go up can I hear you saying it? Your voice is not aggressive enough. What are you waiting for? Death! In the name of Jesus. Open that mouth, open that mouth, open that mouth, open that mouth. This is a serious matter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, open your mouth and pray again. Strong man assigned to make me go down. Where I'm supposed to go up. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the final time I'll pull you out of Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Be released, 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 be released. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bring out your mana water, beloved, and let your amen roar like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the water. Let your spirit move upon this water in the name of Let it become the water of healing. Water of deliverance, water of fire, water of power, water of glory, the water that will break every yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, let the spirit of grace and power, the spirit of might and strength, enter into this water in the name of Jesus. Let the water cause deliverance to happen, let it cause breakthrough to happen. I sanctify this water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. As you go into this month, it shall be well with you. Any tragedy, disaster left this year is minus you and your family. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray.
Let us share the grace in fellowship. Seven miracle receiving, hallelujah. 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 Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen very carefully, beloved. I know there are people in the service of this morning whose breakthroughs can no longer wait. There are people in the service this morning who need divine intervention. There are people in the service here this morning who, as a matter of urgency, they want the God of the suddenness to arise. We have plenty of prayers to pray, but in a few minutes. I want you to put on the cap, our cap, the cap of the mountain of fire. <laughs> when the Lord started the mountain of fire miracles ministry, sometimes we can pray one prayer point for half an hour. No one gets tired. No one sits down. No one is keeping quiet. And the God who has said, as from the days of John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent ticketed by force. When you get into the arena of serious warfare, you couldn't be bothered what's happening around you. You couldn't be bothered what the other person is doing. You focus on your own matter and aggressively focus on it. Your mouth will pray, your hand will pray, your body will pray. If Jesus had to pray until he was sweating blood, you and I, we need to pray more. That song writer says, if Jesus had to pray, said, what about me? This morning, there are plenty of prayers to pray. A few minutes. And it's dangerous to keep quiet. Because you don't know the prayer point of your breakthrough. This is why, in the next few minutes this morning, I want you to pray with aggressive madness. On the following points, I want us to address before we go on. Can you shout this with boiling anger? And this morning, don't say, I don't think this prayer concerns me. I don't think it concerns you. Keep quiet. Strike when the iron is hot. Can you shout this loud and clear? Witchcraft padlocks hanging against me. Can you shout it loud? Break in the name of Jesus. Something is happening already. That's right. Makapota Rabo Center. In Jesus, then we pray. Power of stagnation. Power of limitation. Power of disappointment. Can you shout those three things loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Power of power of limited. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes. Jesus name we pray uh -huh. I'm making progress there are two persons in this service you annoyed a satanic prophet and he put a curse of non-achievement on you right there where you are those two people the power of God is coming upon you and that yoke is broken forever Aha. Uh -huh. Bro! 
breakthroughs that surpasses explanation. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Brothers, can I hear you shouting this? Manifest in my life in the name of Jesus. Yes. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every tree of failure in my family. <laughs> Can I hear you saying that again? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. You are here for a special encounter. Aha, aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to count seven from here. And the power of God is going to fall on three persons. You fought with somebody many years back. The person tore your clothes. But the person took away a piece of that your clothing. And as, even as we are talking here now, that piece taken away is on an evil altar. And this is what has been troubling your life. I am going to count seven from here as a mark of perfection. And the power of God is going to fall upon you where you are. And that yoke shall be broken. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's that all ties releasing you now. Say, witchcraft register. Bearing my name. The way you are saying this prayer, it's not good enough. For... Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Set it ablaze. Look at what is happening here today. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this one to him, boiling anger. Do you know that they can manipulate your life through your picture. Do you know that they can carve an image, attach your name to that image, and begin to attack that image? When they attack the image, they're attacking you. There are people here who need to be delivered from that this morning. Every image of darkness carved against me. Can you shout it loud? Fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. You must be released. Today is today. Bapota Setelaka. Rimo Saponda Kayabo Shantarabo Kapia. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Something was answering back and said, But we have been there long. You, that spirit, saying you have been there long. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written, Jesus Himself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. The chastisement of our pieces upon Him, and by His stripes we were healed. You that spirit say you belong there. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written that the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. You stubborn power harassing the destiny of this person. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Aha. The 
this next prayer as you are praying it as you are praying it you'll be clapping your hands this next one say this after me satanic roadblock clear away in the name of jesus clear it away Yes, yes, clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away. Yes. Jesus, then we pray. Let there be silence now. Every evil hand laid on the womb, laid on the breast, laid on the heart. Basse kapia le kandera. I approach you in the name of Jesus. It's happening. Been uprooted. Every mark of hatred by helpers, I erase it by the blood of Jesus. Something is about to happen to three persons. I'm going to pray a short prayer. The power of God will fall on those three persons. Let me tell you where the problem came from. You went for your father's burial and they stamped money on your head. But you did not know, but it was an evil money that they stamped on your head while you were dancing. Father, I'm praying right now that every spirit of Herodias dancing to cut off anyone, any spirit of Herodias dancing to cut off anybody's finance, let your power cut them off now. In the name of Jesus. That's the first person. That's number two. Number three. Aha. Say powers. Let your voice be loud. Lock it up my glory. You are a liar. Dad! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus name we pray. Aha. Uh -huh. Say every man ordained for my blessings. Can you say that loud and clear? That voice is too low. Appear in the name of Jesus. They must appear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha! 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, so by the power that dismantled the wall of Jericho. 
Can you say that loud and clear? Let my breakthrough appear. Can you say that again? In the name of Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? Demonic garments covering my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to say it. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm making progress. Let somebody shout this after me loud and clear. Angels of the living God! Allah! Change my garment! In the name of Jesus! That was me a change! But severely cut under! The government must be changed. Yes. 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 name we pray garment of darkness stealing my virtues catch fire in the name of Jesus that's right thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, mercy of God. Arise. By the blood of Jesus. And I hear you shouting out loud. Your voice is not loud enough. Let your voice be louder than that. Look at me now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. That's right. Let the master of God locate you now. In Jesus' name we pray. You will shout this only seven times. For those seven times, don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. When you get to number seven, then you will say, in the name of Jesus. Seven times. Seven times. 
Say, I recover my wasted years. Are you ready? You shout that several hot steps. You now add in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Let's go! Aha! Uh-huh. Aha! Uh-huh. Yes! Say it again! Aha! That's right. Silence now. I command that evil tree in your family compound that has swallowed the virtues of all the children from there to dry off now. In the name of Jesus. I decree that the evil effect of those examinations you are sitting for in the dream I decree it cancel now in the name of Jesus. Every incurable disease, I command you to dry up now. Dry up, 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 dry up. Dry up, 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 in the name of Jesus. The powers that have been stepping down your promotion, they are completely scattered this morning. Every power manipulating the pregnancy of this woman over there. Removing the baby, returning the baby, removing the baby, returning the baby. Right there where you are, woman over there. The power of God is coming upon you. Be released now in the name of Jesus. If you are here in this meeting, I'm not talking about spiritual now. A physical snake had beaten you before. If you can still remember the spot, lay your hands upon it as we are praying these next three prayers. It's next three prayers. Because the snake that came was not an ordinary snake. Everybody will shout this with boiling anger. I told you this today is a prayer meeting. With boiling anger. You will say this loud and clear. Power of the serpent. Power of the scorpion. Of my father's house. Damn! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Aha. That's better. Every rope tying down my progress. This is for those who want to move forward. Can I hear the brothers shouting this now? Brothers, your voice is not loud enough. Sisters, can I hear you shouting this? Break! In the name of Jesus. Break it to pieces.
Ajá, ajá. Jesus name we pray any power using lips and incantation against me can you say that loud you are a liar in the name of Jesus Yes, yes, enough is enough. But sepe katala kaya boshenta. In Jesus, then we pray. Say this after me. You say it again ten times. Then you add the name of Jesus. Say, no witch, no wizard shall prosper in my place of work. Are you ready? Ten times. Then you add the name of Jesus. Let's go! Mm hmm. against my enemies tonight can I hear you say that where gather arrows against my in the name of Jesus open your mouth let the God of Elijah gather arrows against them Amen. If you know that the Lord has answered your own prayers. Can you shout a sevenfold amen? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That concludes the first round of our prayers. We're coming back for the second round. Let's raise up our two hands and sing this song loud and clear to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. As we enter into our final prayer session, let your voice be loud as we sing this song. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war, hallelujah, is rising and your forever. And ever, oh, his holy. Sing it again loud and clear. The God of Abraham, 
Azika Jikova Jehova The man of war Hallelujah His mercy And your Forever And ever Oh Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Sing it loud and clear. Glorify His name. Oh, glorify His name. The Lord is able. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. The Lord is able. Oh, yes. Sing it loud and clear, sing it loud and clear. He is able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. He is He's able to live like those who sing it like a loud and clear. God is able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To deliver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. I love the man of Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. He has for my sins and send the Holy Ghost to me. I love a man of Galilee. Of Galilee. Very much for me. And send the Holy Ghost to me. I love that man of Galilee. Arise, oh God, arise. Arise, oh God, arise. And fight my battle. Open your mouth and sing. Come by fire, come by sword, 
come by fire, come by sword, come by fire, come by sword. Fight my battles today, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and ask him to fight your battle. He must fight your battles. He must fight your battles. Anywhere which is a God, Holy Ghost must. Anywhere which is a God, anywhere which is a God, anywhere which is a God, which is a God, anywhere which is a God, Holy Ghost must. Anywhere which is a God. Something must happen like this one. They must pursue. The Bible said, Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Get us up ready now. Every intimidation of the wicked. Da! In the name of Jesus. Break up their intimidation. Yes. Open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. So every altar keeping my problems alive. Can I hear the sister saying this? Brothers, can I hear you saying the same thing? In the name of Jesus, something is happening again. Shout it loud. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Again, you shout this with a loud voice seven times. You now heard in the name of Jesus. Say, I wipe off the relevance of my enemies. Seven times. Are you ready? Let's go! That's right. Now, put a request before the Lord. Something you want the Lord to do before next Sunday. Put a request before him now. Before you depart from this place. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Jesus. Amen. Now, finally, before you go. 
Say powers assigned to eat my flesh and drink my blood. Drink your own blood. Eat your own flesh. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree that one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I stand there as a servant and I put the seal of the blood of Jesus upon all the prayers of people I pray there today. Let the stamp of heaven be applied. In the name of Jesus. Power to move from strength to strength. Power to move from glory to glory. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Tonight, I'd like you to listen to me very, very carefully. Very carefully. We're looking at what I call familiar spirits and human destiny. Familiar spirits and human destiny. You will do well to listen carefully. Familiar spirits and human destiny. God created Adam and Eve and placed them in that wonderful garden of Eden. They were comfortable. They were glorious. They were anointed. Adam was very intelligent. He named all the animals. God comes to them in the cool of the day to chat with them, to discuss with them. A wonderful life. The glory of God was so much upon them that they did not even realize that they were not wearing clothes. That glory cloud covered them as a garment. And they were living a good life like that. Until there was an interruption by a serpent. And that interception, that interception by the serpent confused the whole of the destiny of Adam and Eve in the garden. None of us will have known what is called suffering today. None of us will have known anything like a, a, a lion is killing human beings, elephant is trampling upon human beings. None. None, none of us will have known that today. None of us will have known anything about the serpent biting a person. If, God forbid, somebody shouted on the seat, snake, 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 snake now. The first thing is to run. It's only the bold ones who will take stick and come back because of what happened in that garden. Man lost a lot of unquantifiable benefits in that garden as a result of at the intervention of the serpent. And since that time, Man has become serpent's food. Serpent's food. Right from that time, there is introduction of witches, wizards, all kinds of things troubling man. Just one intervention and the whole of their destiny was turned upside down. Please listen to me very carefully. A singular demonic intervention in a person's life can wreck that life forever. You could say, but I didn't do it for too long. No, you don't have to do it for too long. Just that intervention is enough. And I didn't stay long in that demonic church. Oh, the one hour you spend there is enough. Uh, but I used to be there. All of them would be prophesying. But me, I noticed that I don't prophesy. You're being there alone. is enough. A single intervention. I am praying for somebody here. That satanic intervention you had a long time ago that is now causing trouble for your destiny. May that intervention be terminated now. In the name of Jesus. So since man fell in that garden, the devil quickly went home and did some more homework to now create agents and departments of evil to intervene in man's life to destroy their destiny. 
God saw the satanic interventions and it began to warn. Don't be involved. Avoid that. Avoid this. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. A lot of people complain sometimes against Martin of Fire. Sometimes against churches that preach holiness. They will say, don't, don't do this, don't do that, do, don't, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. They, they are do's and don'ts. It's too much. I respectfully submit to you that Christianity is a region of do's and don'ts. The Ten Commandments is do not. Thou shall not. Thou shall not. It's all there in scripture. So any Christianity that does not say thou shall not. It's not Christianity. That's why Jesus said, who is not for us is against us. Once you are not for him, you are against him. He doesn't recognize somebody who is neutral. If you are neutral, you are still against Jesus. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. What we are dealing with now is why some people have been struggling for years. At any time they want to get free, they get back into the hole. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. If you are there, say yes. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And it is because of these abominations the Lord that God doth drive them out from before thee. One major power there is the power of familiar spirit. This is why sometimes when God sends the Israelites into a particular place, he will say, kill everybody. Male, female, everything. Burn them off. Because all of them are already initiated. The one you live alive. Even a baby witch you live alive will soon become an adult and the witch in her will start operating. That's why I said, kill, kill it. Don't spare anyone. In Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. Isaiah 8, 19. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not the people seek unto their God? For the living to the dead, the Bible regards them as dead. In the same Isaiah chapter 29, verse 4. Isaiah 29, 4. And thou shall be brought down, and shall speak out of the ground, and thy speech shall be low out of the dust, and thy voice shall be as of one that had a familiar spirit out of the ground, and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust. Listen carefully. One of the greatest swallowers of success is familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Because of poverty, many years ago, I had to be teaching home lessons. Home lessons. They come to me for, for coaching. And that exposed me to so many people. One day, after all the students had gone home, one slender lady waited behind and said he wanted to, she wanted to talk to me I said yes I thought she didn't understand what I was teaching I said no that master I'm not talking to you about biology or anything today I said I want to tell you who I am I said okay I know you you are so so and so she laughed I said no so I'm more than that she said this is my 21st time of coming to the world and she said when she came at the first time was when Lord Lugard was around. I said, I see. You know Lord Lugard? I said, yes. So I just want to tell you, I don't know what you are doing. Whatever you are doing, be doing it. Because each time we come for coaching here, I said, I try to infiltrate the brain of all the students. Like I normally do in my class in school. This is the only place I do not succeed. 
she now told me horrible things. She said plenty of people, when they are coming to the world, said they ask them, do you want to prosper the world or you want to go and trade? If you say you are a trader, then they give you the anointing of fornication, anointing of seduction, to go and trade and be capturing men. And she told me that a lot of men are polluted by agents from their kingdom. And that, to be quite honest, she didn't see how they were going to make it in life. If this child of the devil is saying that they have touched some men and they will never prosper, where do we go from here? This is why a lot of men are having trouble and their things are going upside down. I taught in another lesson, lesson homeless. And there was this girl, very light in complexion, very beautiful girl. She talks to nobody, just faces her work. The only time she talks in class is she has a question. And I have a colleague, we were teaching them together. The name was Mr. Idaosa. Mr. Idaosa teaches English literature and something else like that. I found that Idaosa did not leave this girl alone. He would be running after her. Student, running after her. Running after her. I was cautioning Idaosa to stop. But this girl doesn't look ordinary. So that's what you will say. You are a bloody SU. One day, I kept early to, to class. This girl too came early. That day, I felt inspired. And I confronted her. You are not an ordinary person. Ah, I said, but... I said, that's, I said, that's true, yes? That's true. But that's true. And she looked at me and said, what's the problem? That's true. And she said, Emere hey, Nimina, what's the problem? I said, I see. And that she operated inside the water. That did I remember during the Nigerian Civil War? That some boats carrying soldiers capsized into the water. I said, I can't remember, but I think I've heard before. I said, all those soldiers inside that uh, boat, they are still in our kingdom. They are house boys there. It's because we needed ourselves. That's how we capsized the boat and put them down there. God will damage our ignorance. Even our forefathers who did not read the Bible, they look at some children and say, this one is a banji. This one is this, this one is that. And they try to deliver them. Because they knew that those things will not only pollute their destiny, but will destroy their lives. I want you to understand what we're saying. The other time, many, many years ago, it was in my flat in National Institute for Medical Research. Myself and a fellow minister, we started praying for a girl from around 7 p.m. We prayed and prayed and prayed. As one thing is going, another thing is coming. We were praying. All of a sudden, she said, the only way you men can set me free is to invite the queen of the coast, Mami Water, to come here now. Then I will give her a pot, and then I will be free. My friend now said, okay, what do we need to do to bring the queen of the coast here now? He said, give me a bowl of water. All these, her eyes were closed. We brought the bowl of water. She put her ten fingers inside the water. And my first shock was that she now began to speak in tongues. I said, ha. Hey. And she said, my water is coming. I was excited. Because I, want, I wanted to see the person. Because I've, I've, been, I've never seen my water before. And I said, say, she's coming here. Let's wait. Why is she going to pass? Say that door. It's okay. We waited. At 12 midnight, didn't see anybody. He said, why is he? So, there's an angel at that door. Angel has sent her back. She now started to count the name of men and women and Nigerian leaders that they have destroyed. So I'm talking to you now. Plenty of the names of the leaders she mentioned are dead. One of them died drinking tea. As she mentioned there. These powers, they are the ones sponsoring transfer of evil family history. Something has happened in the family. Many, many years ago, and it's bad. Their duties to keep transferring, keep transferring, keep transferring, keep transferring. That's why they call them familiar spirits. They are familiar with the family. They are familiar with you as a person. They are familiar with what you like. They know that your favorite food is fufu. 
They know that you like drinking tea. They know they know everything. And they have polluted human race. Terrible spirits. These spirits are familiar with a person's ancestral past. It's possible that many of you here, you don't know your great, great, great grandfather. You've never seen them before. But they know who they are. So they use their familiarity to bring curses and problems that a person's ancestors had encountered many, many years before you were born. So they are carriers of generational curses, carriers of generational afflictions, carriers of generational problems, and they move the thing from generation to generation. I want you to understand this very well. This is why a mountain of fire, when marriage is conducted here, we don't allow them to curse themselves on that day. Already there is a lot of problem in the world. So when there is problem already, then somebody wants to get married. Say, so I take you this day as my wedded wife to love and to cherish for better, for worse, in sickness and in health. Already I prophesy for better, for worse. There was even a man they told like that before. So will you take this woman for better, for worse, like this, that, that, that? So sorry, Pastor, before you go on, how worse can it get? Before I say yes, how, how terrible will it be? So because you are saying for better, for worse now. I understand the better, but how worse can it become? That's why we don't say that at Mountain of Fire. And that's why we lead people into deliverance prayers. So if you married like that, you pray deliverance prayers. Mommy is born again. Daddy is born again. You don't know what God has done for you. But when your father is the head of the masquerade in your village and your mother is the one that used to ring local bell when marine water are celebrating immediately you are born instead of a guardian angel from God to be attached to you a spirit, a familiar spirit is assigned to your life as, a, as an angel of death just as a child born into a holy setting is given a holy angel from God that will be guarding that child, the same way when your parents are into the demonic world, you have an angel of darkness as your guardian. So that familiar spirit knows you inside out. You go to the toilet, it goes with you. Go to school, it's there. You go to there, it follows you. Sometimes it is those familiar spirit that will go and bring the kind of man that will destroy a woman for the woman to marry. Sometimes the familiar spirit following the man that will go and bring fellow familiar spirit women to the man. And he will be claiming that he's very handsome, that he's very magnetic and he's attractive. It's a lie. It's a lie. They are being magnetized to you by the familiar spirit that was assigned to you when you were born. They are bringing people of their kind to destroy the person properly. A lot of people are inside a cage like this. May the good Lord in his mercy set them free tonight when such people now get born again you now have two spirits the angel of God assigned to follow you and the familiar spirit you have inherited from your father's house that's why some people sometimes they will do well sometimes they will do terrible things when they are holy they are good the spirit of God the angel of God is able to help them but when they are doing terrible terrible things the angel of God reverses and be watching what's going on here what's going on here so everyone that is born into a, a setting that lacks new birth has a demon assigned to him by the enemy from birth the job of this demon is to derail and to disturb and the devil will have given that demonic angel specific duties and that is why sometimes when people go for some prayers they will be wondering why is there why, why is there spirits going in and out going in and out where you are well if you have that spirit assigned to you sometimes they have friends they have playmates who come to play with them and they will form a regular traffic around the person many people they just feel that something is following them they feel that something that's something I, I, I don't feel alone something is here those powers know what it takes to shut a person down completely. So these familiar spirits are a class of very dangerous spirits. Sometimes much devastatingly dangerous than other satanic agents. 
And when the person is completely ignorant of their activities, they will confuse the person. And once you don't deal with them, they take hold of your destiny, they make it to some assault. The familiar spirit now becomes like a counterfeit Holy Spirit. And it's a world of deception. The person having this familiar spirit, you may think it's just your imagination that is imagining certain things. No, most times it's not. It's what is happening that you are seeing. Any visit to a witch doctor has a familiar spirit following you about. There are some literature you should not read as a child of God. If you read it, a familiar spirit will be following you. And you can acquire plenty of familiar spirit by inheritance. Many are embarrassed to admit that they have nine visitors as spirit husbands. And many have all kinds of things troubling them that they cannot really say because they are afraid. What will people say? Are you here tonight? A prophet, whether demonic prophet or otherwise, have told you when you were younger that you have familiar spirit. He's telling you the truth. Because he too has familiar spirit. So he can detect his colleagues. Are you here? And sometimes you see things others don't see. And you clear your eyes. Can you see that? Said, no. Are you here? Sometimes when you are passing the bridge and there is a river below, you are scared, so scared. Or you even feel like jumping in all the time. Are you here? Sometimes you actually feel like eating the sand. It is evidence of the cage of familiar spirit. The blunt truth. If you don't deal with this, there is no moving forward for the person's destiny. Are you here? You have seen the ghost of a dead person before. Your father that died, your mother that died is appearing to you. It's evidence of familiar spirit. Are you here? And you were given a name of a dead relative. They are naming you after somebody who died. They call you Baba Tunde, they call you Yetunde, you will have familiar spirit. Are you here today? You can remember when you were very young, you used to be very sickly. You faint and weak, you faint and weak, you faint and weak. You have familiar spirit. Are you here too? You notice that when you undress, there are some strange marks in your body that you cannot explain. Or sometimes strange liquid or water is coming out of your body. Or you were given names of familiar spirit. Or when you grow up as an adult, you find some strange bangles or necklaces in your body and you keep asking, Daddy, Mommy, why am I wearing this? You say, keep it, just keep it there. Are you here and your parents have been telling you that before you were born, they went to the quest of you from a native doctor, from a witch doctor, or from the river, or from the forest. Those powers will, of course, not give your destiny any peace. Are you here? You can still remember that they do regular satanic parties for you. You, they will buy, they will invite children and buy all kinds of foods and say, come and eat, come and eat, come and eat. Or you were born as twins and your mother has this habit of cooking beans every once in a week and be serving beans all over the streets. You already have familiar spirits. Or you are here, you know you have spiritual friends. When you dream, you find them. And you find yourself in strange places, playing with strange friends. It's an attempt to derail your destiny. Or you are here sometimes when you wake up, you find scratches all over your body. Those people scratching your body. It could be they're just playing with you. It could be they're trying to harm you. But mostly they are scratches from your spiritual friends. Are you here tonight? And you remember as a baby, they refused to cut your ear. It was growing, growing, growing. All kinds of insects were inside the head. Left it there. It grew, grew like Rastafarian here. And you left it there. Then they, did, they, made, they made a sacrifice. And then they cut it off. You have familiar spirits. Are you here? And sometimes ago in your life, you have spent days and days at satanic altars. They put you under demonic protection. You have familiar spirits. Are you here tonight? You find that any, you suffer from unexplainable punishment. And sometimes when you sleep, you see somebody looking exactly like you. You find that something has been buried on your behalf. <laughs> you need to pray tonight. Are you here tonight? Many children died before you stayed. You are the first person that stayed. Plenty of them have died. <laughs> you have familiar spirit. You need to pray. You see invisible people. Or you have these chains of bad luck. Up to the level that people will be avoiding you. Or you are here tonight. You have a strange semblance to your parents. Very strange semblance. Your father is a chain smoker. You too became a chain smoker. Your father has plenty of uh, 
concubines and wives. You already have plenty of girlfriends now. Are you here tonight? You can notice an evil pattern in your family. Is it familiar spirit that sponsors that evil pattern? Are you here as a lady? Anywhere you go, all the men that set their eyes on you, they want to sleep with you. You become a center of evil attraction. Don't rejoice. It's familiar spirit. Familiar spirit. Are you here? You are used and dump woman. Used and dump woman. The man will collect your money, use your money, sleep with you, drop you, go off. And it's a pattern like that. Are you here tonight? You're always going to the wrong, wrong places. And things begin to go wrong. Are you here tonight? You have this vicious circle of poverty. Circle. As you are getting through some financial breakthrough, something else is coming up. Or you are hearing strange voices that others are not hearing. Are you here tonight? I have a spiritual being representing you and collecting your benefits. Are you here tonight? You can remember that they have carried sacrifice on your behalf before. Or you have these strange and regulated sicknesses that used to come at a particular time of the year. Are you here tonight? And you have this compulsive stealing ability. Just stealing and stealing and stealing. You have been caged by the terrible group of spirits called familiar spirits. They can be wicked. They can be friendly, but they have an agenda. Their agenda is to derail human destinies. They are ignored destroyers. Overlook terminators. Prayer warriors largely ignore them. But these powers have touched the life of human beings in a deadly and malignant way. They are what you call the secretary spirits. They keep track of all our mistakes and all our blunders. In order to trap us in the pattern of sin. They are the ones who carry ancestral spirits and move it from person to person. They watch people closely and they transfer bad habits. This is a strange thing. This is a strange matter. And we need to destroy these powers with all the strength that we have. Sisters really need to pray very hard today. Because evil spirits have a lot of interest in women. Because the devil hates women with perfect hatred. And the devil can go to any length to deal with any woman. Since the devil targeted women from the Garden of Eden, he had never left them alone. And he uses their weaknesses to attack them. These spirits have confused so many ministers. And caused so much trouble. And they have ensured that it's so difficult to find people who are normal normal they make it like that because they have infiltrated people's lives we need to pray hard today we need to work to, we have work to do how do we prevent our destiny from being polluted and tarnished by these powers we need to repent completely and come and surrender our lives to jesus we need to renounce their powers over our lives we need to obtain deliverance from their powers we need to, by the finger of God, cast out these spirits out of our soul. We need to attack their power base. And we need to set ourselves free from their grip. More than any other power. These powers are responsible for many destinies being drained. If you have ever read that small book called When the Deliverer Needs Deliverance you find that the major problem of some pastors, why they are misbehaving, is because they never dealt with these things. Today is a day when you need to strike out with all the power that you can gather and ensure that they leave you alone. It is not a sin to overpray, but it's a tragedy to underpray. If you overpray, no problem. But if you underpray, that's a serious problem. There are some people here tonight, if they will pray against these powers, they would discover that those things they thought were very difficult just arise at their door mouth easily. Rise up on your feet now. And all eyes closed. I've scratched the surface for you of a very deep topic. Because I want us to deal with this early, early in the year like this. All eyes closed. If you are here tonight, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, this particular night, just put up your hands and say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. For say that short prayer with me. Immediately we close. Find a way to the altar. Find a way to the altar here. I've said so many things here tonight. The business of walking with Jesus requires that you are sincere with yourself. If you are not sincere, there is no way God can help you. If you are not sincere, there is no way deliverance can come your way. If you are here tonight, and one or some of the things I've said involves you. If you are here tonight, you just know that life ought to be better than this for you. But there is a force you cannot understand or master that keeps setting you back. Set you back. Set you back. I want you to pray with boiling anger. Others who feel they are not concerned can keep quiet. But even those who are keeping quiet, feeling they are not concerned, it's because they have already been caged with fire in your voice. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Can you shout this with all the boldness you can gather? Power of familiar spirits of my father's heart. Tonight is tonight. This is not a night to negotiate. You cannot afford to negotiate. But Kate Sente Yaboshente. Jesus, be released. Yes, that sister over there, be released. That brother over there, be released. 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 Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Yes, that power that has been boasting that you belong to them, I disconnect you from them. Be disconnected, be disconnected, be disconnected, be disconnected from them. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. That sister over there, the power that has been hiding in your life for years, and the power has been claiming that you belong to them that you were dedicated to them in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ son of the living God I command you to be set free now in the name of Jesus you can't hide it's impossible here Say every personal demon assigned to my life. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. The Bible says we lay our hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. 
stretch your right hand towards me at the altar here. Father, the same anointing that divided the Red Sea, the same anointing that divided Jordan, the same anointing that used to enter the pool of Bethesda, whenever an angel troubled the water, let that anointing fall upon these hands now. In the name of Jesus, receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus. Something is about to happen now. As I count one to seven, begin to slap your own head with that hand. And as you do it, the electric current of God will flow into your body. And the yoke and cage of familiar streets shall be broken to pieces. Get yourself ready now. One, it's happening. Two, three, four, five, six, and this is number seven. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Say, thou power, familiar spirit, prolonging my problem. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. name we pray let us share the grace in fellowship grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever Shout aloud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and pray for ourselves in this song.
to gain to see if you're my own crown while on earth as thou art only do not pass me Savior, 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 Savior Jesus, 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 Oh, yes. 
Halleluja. Halleluja. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh yes, complete. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. The Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. My soul, Holy Ghost of Fire, Holy Ghost of Fire, Empty Ghost of Fire, Fire burning me, my soul, Fire burning me, my soul, Holy Ghost of Fire, Lord God, the eyes may die on the heart, but I can't find. Lord God, the eyes may die on the heart, but the house stretch. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. When the mighty Absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for me. Be all I the Of the golden bodily, well, it's in the law. The fullness of the golden bodily, well, it's in the law. The fullness of the golden bodily, well, it's in the law. Oh, I complete. Oh, yes, complete. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken down. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken down. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, 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 every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke, every yoke, every yoke must be broken. Sing it loud and clear. 
Amen. All eyes closed. Tonight's meeting is an assignment. And the Lord has said that I should ensure that the assignment is carried out. You will know about the assignment very soon. This is an assignment that concerns everybody. Nobody is left out. And therefore, let tonight be a night that your enemy will regret. Therefore, stretch out your right hand to the heavenlies and declare this loud and clear. Every power, Every power. that wants me to expire it is important that you do everything here tonight very seriously. Can I hear you shouting it loud and clear? Can you shout it again louder than that? Damn! In the name of Jesus, I refuse to expire. Makate sepentendeke yaboshinderaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this evening. We give you praise. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are gathered before you tonight. Lay your hands upon our lives. Help us specially tonight. So that each and every one who has presented at this meeting will be candidates of very, very special testimonies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say, God bless you. Tonight's meeting is an assignment. So if the Lord brought you here tonight, He brought you here for a purpose. And I want you to listen to me very carefully. Meanwhile, bow down your heads. Tell the Lord that by the time I live here tonight, I want a change in my story. Go on, talk to the Lord like that now. By the time I leave here tonight, I want my story to change. Amen. The mystery of covenant violations for violating covenants. Covenant violations. The mystery of covenant violations. I want you to listen very, very carefully. This is an area that you really find people talking to you about. The mystery of covenant violation. One of the strongest binding operations in the spirit realm is covenant. In fact, the whole world operates on one covenant or the other. Covenant is so serious that our God is a covenant making and a covenant keeping God. A covenant giving and a covenant keeping God. God too operates by covenants. A covenant is a strong binding agreement between two parties. A strong binding operation between two parties. Covenant making forms an integral part of human life. And happy is that man who has made a covenant with the Lord. Woe before the person who has made a covenant with the devil. Whether the covenant is conscious or unconscious is not relevant now. The fact is that it has been made. A covenant can be a promise. I promise that if you do this for me, I'll do that for you. A covenant can be an oath. 
If you do this for me, I give you that one. A covenant can be a bargain. A bargain. You take this, and I take that. However, whatever covenant one makes is either you make a covenant between you and God, a covenant between you and the devil, a covenant between you and fellow men. For a covenant with the law, there is no problem. But if you break it, there is a problem. But when you make a covenant with the enemy, there is a bank in the spirit world where all evil covenants are kept. Whether it is a conscious affair or it's not a conscious affair does not matter. But then these covenants are binding. Let me tell you a few facts about covenants before we go on. Covenants can last forever except it is broken. Covenants can influence the life of a person and its offspring. The covenant can even have effect on unborn children. A child may suffer from the covenant broken by his parents. Satan will never forget covenants and is ready to enforce it upon current and future generations. In Genesis chapter 17, Genesis 17, 14, Genesis 17, 14 says, And the uncircumcised man child, whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He had broken my covenant. So, covenant violation is always a punishable offense. Covenant violation is a punishable offense. And there are dangers in violating covenants. If we open to the book of Joshua chapter 9, I just want to pick up one example in scripture to make you understand what we're saying. Joshua chapter 9. Let's read from verse 15. Joshua 9 from 15. Are we there? Joshua 9, 15. And Joshua made peace with them and made a league with them. That league means covenant there. To let them leave. And the princes of the congregation swore unto them. And it came to pass at the end of the three days after they had made a league or covenant with them that the other they were their neighbors and they dwelt among them. And the children of Israel journeyed and came to their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gib Gibeon, Shephera, Beroth, and Kerajerim. And the children of Israel smote them not. Because the princes of the congregation are sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. And all the congregation murmured against the princes. These people, the Gibeonites, they came to Joshua. And Joshua made a covenant with them. And they swore in the name of the God of Israel that they will not kill these people, the Gibeonites. The covenant of peace was made with the Gibeonites by the forefathers of, of Israel. But 1,100 years later, a king called Saul violated that covenant. 1,100 years later, one king called Saul violated the covenant. What did he do? In 2 Samuel chapter 24, 2 Samuel 24, verse 2. In 2 Samuel 24, 2. I read from verse 1, sorry. And again, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he moved David against them to go, say, go and number Israel and Judah. For the king said to Joab, the captain of hosts, which was with them, go now through all the tribes of Israel from Dan even to Beersheba, and number the people that I may know the number of the people. And David went ahead and did this. Many people died. As a result of this activity of David, nobody could tell why what moved David to begin to do these kind of things. And then later, there were three years of famine. And as the famine was going on, the people began to wonder, what is causing this problem? The Lord had to refer them back, and it's because of Saul that killed the Gibeonites. So Saul killed the Gibeonites 1,100 years later. And problem began to happen after that time. 
and until the Gibbonites themselves kill some children of Saul, then the trouble just continued. When covenants are violated, even before God, there is a serious problem. If somebody now makes a mistake, or the forefathers made a mistake, and they entered into covenants with the devil, they promise the devil, we will not do this, we will not do that. And somebody goes to break those covenants. Then trouble begins. Trouble that the person does not sometimes understand. And you don't know what's causing the trouble. When a covenant with the devil is violated, it can bring one into slavery and suffering. It can shorten one's life. It can attract poverty and lack. It can lead to madness. It can bring oppression and torment. It can hamper progress and success. It can lead to all kinds of terrible problems. It can attract unending trouble and unending sorrows. It can attract incurable diseases. If the covenant with the enemy has now been violated. So much for that. The problem now comes when a person has unconsciously been put into a covenant or the forefathers have entered a covenant and you did not know that they ever entered any covenant but you are breaking the covenant. If in a family they have covenanted that nobody in this family should serve another god. Everybody in this family is dedicated to an idol. And somebody now gets born again in that family. By being born again, by shifting from whatever idol it was to Jesus, you've broken a covenant. And so there will be a reaction. You violated the covenant. There will be a reaction against that person. This is the reason why so many people misbehave. Sometimes you don't know why they are misbehaving. They are doing what the covenants don't do. There could be a covenant in a family that, well, in this family, women here don't get married to anybody. A woman in this family are supposed to be prostitutes on the streets. All of a sudden, a sister there gets married. By entering to that marriage, you have just broken a covenant. Then the mystery of the covenant violation moves in. And trouble starts. And this is the origin of many stubborn situations that many people face. A sister tried to pass school certificate several times and she failed. So a mother who is a marine person now took some sacrifices, took some live corks and some yam, some rice and threw them into the river as a sacrifice to make her pass. And truly, that year that she did so, this lady passed in flying colors. But the room was that every year the woman should be bringing fresh animals, food, all those things to come and worship the river. So the mother told the daughter, say this is the river that made you pass your exam. So immediately you start to walk. I won't be coming here again. You'll be bringing the cocks and the food yourself. And the lady went to the university, graduated as a lawyer. She was doing these things while she was even in the university. She started work and she was still doing it. All of a sudden, either she forgot or she refused, she stopped. And then problems started. Everywhere she went, they sacked her. Every work she did, she made mistakes. She ran to church and started praying. Every time she prayed, oh Lord, I don't know why I'm going through this. She will see a river flowing across her until she now remembers. She ran back home. The mother said, hey, well, you Lagos people, you know, I told you to be putting the, to be doing sacrifice for this river. You have refused us. What is happening now? She forgot the covenant, but the demon in the water did not forget. Immediately she violated it, the punishment moved in. A lot of people are passing through terrible sufferings today because there is a covenant they have broken. However, unconsciously, but it is still a violation. There are plenty of things that we do that quietly push us in a covenant and we just think that it will just disappear by itself. An oath can be taken. And you don't realize that what you've taken is a covenant. Once you make that oath, you are under obligation to keep it no matter what happens. Once you break that oath, then it will open doors to several terrible things. When a husband and wife forms a covenant of marriage and a party begins to break it, 
the violation of that covenant releases some demons to cause trouble. A person used to belong to a gang of thieves before he got born again. And the thieves made a covenant. If they catch any of us, nobody should talk. And they cut themselves with the blade, put their blood into a container, added alcohol to that container, and they all drank it to form a covenant. One of the thieves now got born again. He had forgotten about the covenant he made with the fellow thieves. Now everything he has was stolen. In fact, the one that now broke the camel back so that they even stole his wife. It was then he now started praying. So you have entered into a covenant with thieves. You have violated the covenant. This is why this is happening to you. The kind of prayers we are going to pray today. If you pray against unconscious evil covenants and it's not there, you have not lost anything. But if you do not pray and it's there, it's a source of real trouble. Some form occupational groups and they make an oath. Say we are all shoemakers. We are all uh, fish sellers. We are all uh, canteen runners. And so we form a covenant. And then the person wants to break out. Trouble happens. We have cases where men and women say they love each other so well, they drink each other's blood to form a covenant that they will never depart from each other. Now you discover that the man you now married is not that person you drank his blood. And now there is trouble in that marriage. All because a covenant had been formed and you had violated it. Once you take an oath, you form a covenant. Many have made senseless oaths at ignorant times which have made them to form covenants now that once they violate it, the enemy moves in. Many black people form covenants in Mother Earth. They pour libations on Mother Earth. They dig a hole in the ground, pour water into the ground, put slices of kola nut into it, and they eat one slice of the kola nut. They have formed a covenant with Mother Earth. All of a sudden, they don't know why the land stopped to favor them. Because they violated the covenant they formed with Mother Earth. Let me tell you something here tonight. Anything you are asked to bury in the earth has serious implication for your life. Anything that someone goes to bury on your behalf has serious implications for your life. Any covenant you form using cola nut, bitter cola, alligator pepper, all those things have a serious implication for your life. In many African countries, it is forbidden to share kola nut with a person and then speak evil of that person. They believe that that kola nut is the blood which is the life of an animal. So if you form that kind of thing, you eat kola nut with somebody, now you go behind the back of the person running the person down, you had violated a covenant and there will be a reaction. So many of the harsh situations we face sometimes is due to this kind of situation in which we find ourselves. Any visit you make to a native doctor forms you into a covenant. Even if you are stopped now, there is a problem. You need to go in and do some covenant breaking. A witch doctor told a family a very strange law. He told them that their father that has just died has made a covenant with the village idol. Anybody who got married in that family must not come out on his wedding day. They must do the wedding inside and everybody remains inside. They can only come out the second day. This brother did his wedding in an Anglican church. He believed that that should be able to cover him. On the night of the wedding, he was at home with his wife. Nobody can explain how a cobra snake appeared between them and the cobra snake attacked this person. He died that same night. A covenant had been violated. The reason we need to pray some serious prayers here tonight is this. Because what I'm talking about tonight is not something you talk, 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 talk too much. The fact is that our forefathers served the devil. They served the enemy. As we are sitting down here tonight, unfortunately, many have up to 30, 20, 30 covenants to break and you are not even aware. No one can tell what this or our parents did to him or her right from the time he was a little baby till he became an adult. The covenant will be formed and problem starts. 
One sister wanted to get married and she prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. One day she prayed to a particular level and God showed her a revelation. She saw a mother standing. She saw another woman standing. She saw herself as a little girl playing with sand. And she saw another little boy playing in the sand too. In that revelation she saw that her mother and this other woman were saying, eh, this is your husband. This is your husband. They did not know that they were just forming covenants between a young girl that knows nothing. It was prayer that now revealed this situation. That that is what is happening now. You have a covenant already formed. And now you are trying to break it. Going to marry somebody else. And now trouble is starting. My prayer tonight is this. All those who are under unconscious covenant that is presently restricting their movement and restricting their destiny. Those covenants will be broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Whenever a covenant is violated, plenty of suffering follows. The suffering will only cease if you take the following steps. Number one, you need to repent. Repent from all known sins. Repent on behalf of yourself and on behalf of anyone who formed that kind of covenant on your behalf. That is the first thing. Number two, you must renounce every satanic covenant. Every negative covenant you have entered to consciously or unconsciously, you must renounce them. Your mouth is the key to your freedom in this matter. The Bible says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. The thought into this to nullify the covenant by the blood of Jesus. No covenant or power can stand in the presence of the blood of Jesus when it is applied. Tonight is a night to command every covenant speaking against your life to be silent and counseled by the blood of Jesus. The fourth operation you have to do at home. You can't do it here. You have to un you anoint yourself when you get home and command the grip of that covenant to be broken from your life. Then the last thing you now do is to barricade your life so that the enemy does not come to you again with those kinds of things and put you into a fresh covenant again. The enemy is wickedly wicked and badly bad. And sometimes when people come to the house of God, some people pray, they have some relief, and they run away from Jesus, they go back into the world. Sometimes such people come with 21 evil covenants to break. And they pray, 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 they broke 15, remaining 6. So because 15 had been broken out of 21, they have some level of peace. You now go back into the world. The enemy now stages a comeback. And now we will multiply each covenant that the person has lost with seven sevens so that it will be so difficult for the person to break free. And herein lies the assignment that the Almighty said we should carry out here tonight. Perhaps we're a little girl or a little boy. And you know that there was a time your parents held parties for you and they were distributing food all over the street for small children. You could remember faintly that they did that kind of thing for you. And they ate it and went away. But now you notice you're having trouble now moving, moving, making progress in your life. Because all these strange mouths that you fed them, you stop feeding them now. You have violated the covenant. And the steps to it is what we have told you now. Tonight is an assignment. Because to teach these things will take us almost three lectures. I have just summarized for you so you know where we are going here tonight. A lot of people are suffering unnecessarily because of all this violation of covenants that they don't even know anything about. Tonight is a night for serious prayer. If we don't finish the prayers tonight, then you will take it home as homework. But we have work to do here tonight. Rise up on your feet and all eyes close. If you, the Lord brought you here tonight, I really congratulate you. It must be for a purpose. I'm going to start the assignment he asked me to carry out now. But I need your cooperation. The cooperation is that I want your prayer to be like thunder and like fire. 
and face your own matter, please. Don't worry about what is happening. Don't worry about what's happening around you. Focus on your own life. A lot of people make unpardonable mistakes. Some go into unbelievable errors. Why should this happen? It's because it's violated and trouble is coming. If you are in this meeting tonight and you are the only pastor in your family or you are the first pastor in your family, you better pray hard. Your forefathers might have entered a covenant that said nobody here can serve any other God. And you may be having serious trouble even in your calling now. You will pray with fire and with thunder. Let your voice thunder into the gates of hell so that the bands of the covenant will be broken open and you completely release yourself and your children and your children's children. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, you are not born again. You are not going to surrender your life to Jesus. Whenever you are, just raise up your right hand and say what I am going to sin after. Me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you said I shall pray with me, just come here quickly. But immediately we close. We have 40 prayers to pray. And we have a short time to pray them. Each of these prayers, beloved, are vomited by the Holy Ghost to ensure that bondages do not remain in any life. Sisters need to really pray especially hard here tonight. In course, in 75% of the case, the sisters are the receiving end of all these evil covenants. Sisters, pray tonight with the spirit of enough is enough. Are you ready now? Everybody shout this after me loud and clear. Every dark covenant assigned to trouble my destiny break in the name of Jesus. Begin to break them now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me tell you what has just happened now. If that, that small prayer you pray, that short prayer you pray now. Look at what has just happened now. I see many people boom pulled out from the pit. Pulled out of the pit. Immediately they started praying. Something was pulling them out of a pit. Shout this loud and clear. Unbroken curses. Following my life. Can you shout it loud and clear? Hear the word of the Lord. Break. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Baka sepende kaya bo shenteraba. Continue, 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 continue. Something is up over there. Something is up over there. In Jesus' name, we pray. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. Yes. That person who have been dreaming that your shoes were lost. Your shoes were lost. Which is an attack against your life. Your lost shoes have been brought back to you now. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Every wicked law. Can you shout it loud and clear? Battling against my promotion. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Break the wicked law. Makape setende kentea. Bariboko soponde keyabo shentera bakayaba. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. In 
Jesus them we pray. The Lord said this next prayer. Immediately we begin to pray. 220 persons will be set free. Dark covenants. Positioning me for attacks. Can you shout this with boiling anger? Is that the loudest you can shout this important prayer? In the name of Jesus, the covenant that positions me for attacks. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes, be released. Be released, be released. Be released from their grip. Be released tonight. Masapantendekeyaboshanda. Rabakopendekeyaboshanteraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening over there. That's right. Yes. The covenant that positions you for attacks. Yes, they've been broken now. They've been broken now. They've been broken now. They've been broken now. Aha. Out of dark covenant. Fire in the name of Jesus, command the arrows to backfire. Just lose the arrows, lose the arrows in Jesus' name. We pray. The Lord is about to set free people whose benefits are abroad, but the enemy has captured it. Please, can you pray this prayer with boiling anger? Pray it with boiling anger. The covenant! Stealing my wealth! Can you say this loud and clear? Your time is up. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. Repossess your possession. 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 Jesus name we pray. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. I somebody over there. Your name is Biola. But as we were praying there, somebody came from the grave and began to release everything that was stolen from you. You better pray this harder because I see more to be released for you. Evil dedications speaking against my destiny scatter in the name of Jesus yes Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Immediately we start praying this prayer. Some people will start feeling lighter because a personality will jump out of their bodies forever. Dark covenant! That pursued my parents and are now pursuing me. Can you shout it loud and clear? Dead! 
in the name of Jesus yes they pursued my parents and they are now pursuing me their time is up their time is up Yes, 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 yes. Tonight is tonight. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh yes. Weapons of the wicked. Troubling my life. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Please, if you love your destiny, the next seven prayers, <laughs> pray them. See what will happen. See what will happen. Sisters, please, don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. Brother, Shout this the way you've never shouted it before. This is a command and a proclamation, an order. Covenants of affliction. Break in the name of Jesus. Break it. I refuse to be afflicted. Oh yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Covenant of infirmity, pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Covenant of marital failure. Pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Tonight is tonight. Jesus name we pray and this one concerns everybody covenant of limitation covenant of limitations break in the name of Jesus oh yes Jesus, then we pray. Marine Covenant! Pray! In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. Something is happening. Something is happening. Be released, 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 
covenant of poverty. Pray in the name of Jesus. It's happening. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Covenant with family idol. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. You are breaking them, you are breaking them tonight. Jesus, then we pray. Come on with any dead relative. Pray in the name of Jesus. The one with any dead relative. Break, 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 break. In Jesus, then we pray. Central Covenant. Pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Makapo setende keye bo shende rabakaya ba. Ribo soponde keye bo shente rabakara ba kasanta ya ba. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you tired? No. Huh? I guess warming up. I wish you could see what is happening here tonight. This next prayer, the only God said we should pray three times. Three times. Every covenant. Empowering my enemies. Can you shout it loud and clear? Down! In the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. Jesus, then we pray. Open your mouth and pray it a second time. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus name we pray now open your mouth and pray it again yes my enemies must lose their power they must not be empowered they must not be empowered in Jesus name we pray pray it again one more time yes in Jesus name we pray wonderful covenant of short life the Bible says, I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Can you shout it loud and clear? Break! In the name of Jesus. Ha! Uh -huh. 
aha, 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 aha. Bosse pende ke ya bo shente ra bo kopola baraba. Da ribo se pende ke tende ya bo shente. In Jesus name we pray. The next three prayers are what you call bulldozing prayers. Once you say it once, what you will now be doing like machine gun. It's break, 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 break. Once you say it once. That covenant with my place of birth. Pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Covenant with dark powers in the avalanche. Can you shout this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Dark powers in the heavens. In Jesus then we pray. Mystery of covenant violation. Troubling my life. In the name of Jesus. The mystery of covenant violation. Troubling my life. Break. 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 Masika tenda ya bo shende ra bo kopola bara basanda. Da ribo ko soponde ke ya bo shente ra bo kontala ba. Amen. I have a word for somebody here tonight. You have prayed vigorously from the depth of your heart. The last thing I should tell you that so far you seem to be battling all your life. But now prepare for testimonies. Let's try it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear now. Covenants affecting my head. Can you shout it with boiling anger? Pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. This next one, make sure nobody's voice is above your own voice. Covenants affecting my blood. Pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Dark covenant behind my problems. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In 
Jesus name we pray. That covenant that does not want to let me go. Can you shout it loud and clear? Can you shout it again loud and clear? Break! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Masikate yabo shende alaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. The manifestation of what we've said so far is beginning to take root. Things are happening here at rapid rates. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will sing this warfare song. Sing from your heart. Sing with faith. This warfare song. Sing with a loud voice before we go on now. Thank you, Jesus. All shakeable must be shaken. All movable keep on moving. I'm serving a God of fire. All shake a boomers bitch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All shake a boomers. Hallelujah. 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 I'm serving a God of fire. Oh, shake it, it must be shaken. Let's try it. Put your hand close to your belly button now. Inherited dark covenant. Pray in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Now shout a Jericho destroying hallelujah. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and raise our two hands to the Lord. Spirit, Holy Spirit, take control. Take control. Hallelujah. Walk along the way, the way is now. Oh, yes, Holy Spirit. I was lost, but Jesus, Hallelujah.
God is loving and arms around me. Behold, I am the Lord, thy 
following prayers for yourself for your family for everything that concerns you say the sun shall not smite me by day nor the moon by night in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it the sun shall not smite me by day nor the moon by night begin to declare it in Jesus name we pray raise up your right hand to the heavens I take a divine insurance against any form of tragedy in the name of Jesus open your mouth and take that divine insurance I take a divine insurance against any form of tragedy in Jesus name we pray any power hunting for my destiny you are a liar scatter in the name of Jesus In Jesus name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for a day like this when we are gathered at your feet to receive from you. Thank you because blessings abound where you reign. Thank you for that which you have portioned for today. And thank you for your zeal and your power. Thank you because you exalt your word above your name. For that word is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. By that same word, the whole of creation came into being. By the word of your power, O oh Lord, visit everyone here today in the name of Jesus. As many people as are here this morning, and the enemy is already mocking them. Beginning from today, those enemies shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. And as many people as are here this morning, Lord, and they have been crying to the heavenlies that oh lord when will my deliverance come let there be deliverance for them in the name of jesus and as many people as are here who have hidden enemies in the camp of their life biting them and smiling at them let there be an exposure and let the powers of the oppressor be disgraced in the name of jesus it to happen Lord that in this place this morning everything the enemy has been sitting upon years and years and years 
Let the enemy be unseated. Let them 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 be unseated. In the name of Jesus. That sister over there. The power that does not want to let you go. I cut off that power now in the name of Jesus. This morning, Lord. Anyone here who has been boxed a corner and he or she's wit's end, as you are there, let there be a rearrangement in the heavenly to favor your life in the name of Jesus. And as many people as are here, Lord, already by the decree of man, there is no hope. But your word says there is hope for the cut down tree. Oh God, for the sake of this people here this morning, arise by fire. Arise by fire. Arise by fire. Arise by thunder. Arise by fire. Arise by thunder. Arise by fire. Arise by thunder. In the name of Jesus. Every strength thing that has been oppressing anyone here, I cut off the strength thing from your body. In the name of Jesus. Those powers that have rearranged the destiny of that person. And if things had worked normally for you, you are not even supposed to be in Nigeria now. If things had worked normally for you, by now, if you said you wanted to buy aircraft, you should be able to buy it. But then things have not worked normally. The servants have taken over your horse. Right there where you are, repossess your horse. Repossess it. Repossess it. Repossess it. Repossess it. Repossess. Repossess it. Repossess it. Repossess it. Repossess it. In the name of Jesus. Wonderful God. I pray for as many people as are here. And the enemy sat down and tore away your wedding garment. Right there where you are. Repossess your possession. Repossess it. In the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, for unusual, unexpected, and turn around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a manifestation of your power here. A manifestation of your glorious anointing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. I want to speak to you for a few minutes. As you know, today is a prayer meeting day. And the Lord has promised to move in an awesome manner. I know there is someone here today that beginning from now, the powers that have made you cry shall be buried alive. I'm speaking to you for a few minutes on what I call my story must change. <laughs> Amen. Now, there are seven facts that I want you to know about divine operations. Seven facts that I want you to know about divine operations. The first fact, you may believe it, you may not believe it, but it is a hard fact, is that there is no problem too hard for God to solve. That's the first part. What did I say just now? That's the first fact about divine operation. The second fact you should know about divine operations is that in the dictionary of the Almighty, the word impossibility does not exist. Because it says, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. The third fact about divine operation I want you to know is this. Sister, hear me well. Brothers, listen clear and clear. When God appears at your battlefront, that's the end of the battle. When God appears at the battlefront, there is no battle again. That's the end of the battle. The battle may rage for a long time, but the day God arises, that is it. And when he arises, whether you believe or you don't believe, once he's there, 
That's the end of the battle. I see someone here today. God will arise at your battlefront and there will be no battle again. If you are that person, shout it loud, hallelujah. The fourth fact about divine operation that I want you to understand and to know, no matter the strength of your opposition, one word from the master will scatter them. No matter the strength of your opposition, one word from the Lord will scatter them. The fifth fact that I want you to know about divine operations is that there is no situation in any life now that God has not resolved before. There is no new case. No new case before God. Like the Bible said, there is nothing new under the sun. There is no situation in life now that God has not resolved before. Those who regularly attend prayer in we remember the day when that 54 year old woman was giving testimony about childbirth after 30 something years with God all things are possible the sixth fact you should know is this when men have come to their wit's end that is the beginning of divine operations when you have tried and then you have reached the full stop mark is then God opens his own sentence and begins to move. Seventh fact about divine operation is that God is a story changer. God is a story changer. In Mark chapter 5, I read from verse 2. Mark chapter 5, I read from verse 2. Mark chapter 5, from verse 2. Are we there? And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwellings among the tombs and no man could bind him. No, not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. He ran and worshipped him. Beloved, this is the story of one man. Is this your story? Crying always, night and day? Is this your story? scavenging the tombs is this your story bound by visible and invisible chains is this your story that the situation has become so wild that no man can help no mortal chains can help no sermons can help no deliverance can help no father's discipline can help no family discipline no family appeal has been able to help is this your story is this your story a living dead with your home among the dead? Is this your story? That you are strangely at home with society's dead and decaying cast out? Is this your story? That they completely seduced by the devil? Is this your story? That you are even taking actions and you are harming yourself? You are harming yourself. Your harming yourself is your pastime. Is this your story? That be cutting yourself with stones as if you have been drugged into instrumental destruction. Is this your story? That you are going on a path of destruction and you are running fast on that track. Is this your story? You've been forgotten by friends and abandoned by family members. Is this your story? You are lonely, you are depressed and abandoned. Is this your story? That demons seem to overcome you with ease. Is this your story? That you are feeding from the dining table of darkness. Is this your story? That everybody seems to have given up on you. Is this your story? That any time you try to smile, it's crying that comes out. Is this your story? All your efforts have been frustrated. Is this your story? You prayed, done deliverance, done all kinds of things, but no way. Is this your story? That we should help you are turning against you. Is this your story? When you are supposed to be on ladder, 
the wrong of the ladder number 10, you are in number 1. If that is so, listen to me really hard. Because I got information from heaven for you today. If that is your story, beloved, you shall see Jesus today. In the name of Jesus. Then your story shall change. Through the encounter with the Son of God. In the name of Jesus. Then every bondage to death in the graveyard of life shall be broken today in the name of Jesus. Then every chain fabricated by witchcraft, fabricated by sorcery against you shall be shattered today. And then you shall meet the master. You shall meet the master. In the name of Jesus. Look at Mark chapter 5, verse 15. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil. It had become past tense now. The story had changed. And they came to Jesus and saw him that was possessed with the devil, that had the legion sitting and clothed in his right mind. And they were afraid. I speak by the authority of heaven and by the decree in the word of God that whether the enemy likes it or not, a story shall change. A story shall change. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus shall make you a testimony. He shall make you a wonder. He shall make you a marvel. You who used to cry out from the torments of the devil, shall now begin to cry out in the name of the Lord and you shall be restored to your home again it is true that Satan legion had forced you into the wilderness of the graveyard it is true that also wickedness and powers of witchcraft have pushed you into the graveyard of life but it is also true that you are coming out you are coming out in the name of Jesus the master knows where you are and is coming your way. The master says, you have cried enough. Listen carefully. That graveyard experience is the devil's plot to waste your life. But it is merely a comma, a pause. It is not the end. It is merely a comma in a sentence. It is not your full stop. You shall yet be for testimony then your past having instantly become past tense as that man would read that him that was possessed then your God will now arise and make you a praise but then when the master comes away don't refuse him like the man in our story like the man in this story he had a determination and a decision. You must apply your action in your decision in spite of the graveyard intimidation that is surrounding us. You have to run to Jesus the way that man ran to Jesus. Today is that day when your story must change. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. There is no promise too hard for the Lord to fulfill. There is no prayer too hard for God to answer. There is no enemy too hard for God to dismantle. There is no mountain too hard for God to climb. There is no reproach too stubborn for God to remove. But that's a small mistake we all make. And that great mistake is this. The great mistake is to verbalize your doubt. When you verbalize your doubt, faith will jump out. Then that terrible thing that you said will come to pass. The Spirit of God came upon Elisha. And he gave what you can call a mad prophecy. So mad that it's something like this. Is that all of a sudden there is no food in this Lagos. And one prophet came. And said, that's the idea Lord. By tomorrow, a bag of gari will be 50 kobo. That's what he said. That's, it's as mad as that. There was a man that had it. And he said, huh? <laughs> if God even will open the window of heaven, this, this cannot be so. That man made a mistake. He verbalized his doubt and he got an evil prophecy. Okay, say with your eyes you will see it. 
I will not take part of it. Zechariah would have lost his miracle if not for the quick action of that angel who quickly made him dumb, unable to speak. Because when the angel came, I said, I am Gabriel that stands by the altar of God and I've been sent to give you information. I behold, your wife Elizabeth shall conceive and shall bear a son and shall call his name John. Many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. He shall turn the hearts of the fathers of the children. And the angel gave him these powerful prophecies. The man looked at him and said, Angel, if you have better information, better give it. Because my wife is old and I'm advancing age. So it's not possible. And the angel said, Look, I am Gabriel that stands by the throne of God. Because you do not believe my word, it shall be fulfilled in their season. You shall be dumb and unable to speak until the child comes. Why did the angel close his mouth? Because if Zechariah began to talk, the doubt was talking. There would be no miracle. A lot of us puncture our miracle by entertaining thoughts of failure, by meditating on the magnitude of the problem as described by whoever. We puncture our miracle and we give in to discouragement. When we begin to listen to the symptoms of the sickness. When we begin to try other solutions apart from God and prayers. We punch up our miracle. When we are entertaining the thoughts of giving up and committing suicide. We punch up our miracle by negative confessions. By verbalizing our doubt. Noah's generation perished. Why? They refused to believe. Peter sank. Because he doubted. Zechariah became dumb because he refused to believe. These disciples got so confused after the death of Jesus because they did not believe. That Israeli ruler in Samaria died because of unbelief. Those ten spies that Moses sent, they died because of unbelief. God may delay, but God does not deny there is a difference between unanswered prayer and ungranted prayers. It is interesting to note that as many people as are in the Bible and they verbalize their doubt, they got into trouble. When the ten spies came back, say we saw them, they are giants. We are grasshoppers. Cannot fight them. God came and said, okay, since you have said you are grasshoppers, so shall you be. Bow down your heads now. Tell the Lord to forgive you. In areas where you have punctured your own miracle and verbalize your doubt and giving the enemy a room to begin to move against your life. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to forgive you because your story must change. If they have called you a bad name before, that name must be changed now. If they have given you an evil description before, that evil description must be cancelled. If you have been oppressed before, your story must change to the one who oppresses the oppressor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Rise up on your feet now. And listen to me very carefully. The Bible says, He that cometh to God must believe that he is that is a reward of them that diligently seek. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. We have plenty of prayers to pray here this morning. Each prayer has an agenda. Each prayer has a purpose. Each prayer has thousands of breakthroughs attached to it. Each prayer will only be prayed for a short time. So meaning that you cannot afford to keep quiet. When I want you to sit down, I want you to sit down. Now it's time to stand. As we're going to start praying now, the first thing that will start happening immediately is that the angels of God will go right into the midst and begin to operate on people's eyes. Eyes that have been attacked by witchcraft powers and powers of darkness. Those angels will begin to operate in the chest area. Those that the enemy is blocking their breathing and their, and their heart. Something will begin to jump out from those areas. Same angels will begin to carry out operations on the stomach, operations in the womb, operations on the backbone. As the prayers are going on, 
the powers of paralysis shall be broken to pieces and then a repair shall begin to take place get yourself ready say this after me oh god arise and steer the winds to bring my restoration can you say that and let me hear you uh-huh. steer the wind in the name of jesus let him begin to steer the winds let him steer the wind in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray so my father let there be new patterns in my life that will promote me in the name of Jesus new patterns in my life that will promote me that will promote me pray this prayer beloved new patterns in Jesus name we pray every evil wind blowing against me scatter in the name of Jesus yes 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 something is happening over there yes 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 in Jesus name we pray that's why the Lord is doing a surgical operation in the ear of somebody and somebody's anea has just vanished completely thank you Jesus thank you Jesus look at that arrow of infirmity fired into every area of the body it's been shaken out that's right thank you Jesus you that woman that you are having this strange movement underneath your arm and you have been smelling death right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and the yoke of that strange creature under your skin is broken to pieces Aha. yes shout this loud and clear affliction hear the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus kill the afflictions kill the afflictions yes ah 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 Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence, beloved. Someone has been passing uncontrollable urine. The power of God is coming upon you. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Virtues collected from somebody in the dream is being returned back to you. Yes, something is coming out of somebody over there. The thing is like a long rope being pulled out from the right leg. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone here. It's like you are hearing sounds of gunshots in your ears. These are powers assigned to eliminate your life. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. The yoke of those killing powers is broken completely in the name of Jesus Aha. oh God arise and let my glory be perfected by fire in the name of Jesus let my glory be perfected by fire in the name of Jesus 
Masopoko ya boshende rabakaraba. Riba kapanda sente ya ba. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Something strange is happening down there. There are three personalities walking out of somebody. That's right. Someone is here. Doctors have cut off somewhere in your body. Right there where you are. You can feel the heat in that part of the body. A new organ has been put back into position. Yes. Say this again loud and clear. Blood of Jesus. Stand between me. And every strange altar. In the name of Jesus. Stand between me. And any strange altar. So that the altar will not affect my life. In the name of Jesus. Masakaya Boshendera Basanda. In Jesus name we pray. Say blood of Jesus. Secure my portion. Secure my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Yes. Yes. Continue to speak it out. Continue to speak it out. Masukaya Bushindera Bakaraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Blood of Jesus. Pass through my family. And kill every affliction. In the name of Jesus. Pass through my family. Kill every affliction. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, blood of Jesus. Straighten out the affairs of my life. In the name of Jesus. Stretching out the affairs of my life. Stretching out, stretching it out. Many things are happening here. Marco Rabo Soponta. In Jesus' name we pray. Blood of Jesus. Open all the gates shut against me. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The blood of Jesus rebuild the damaged wall in my life. In the name of Jesus. Let's rebuild the damage wall. In my life. In Jesus name we pray. I want to believe you are praying. We have a very short time for all these prayers. But things are happening all over this place. Blood of Jesus. Arise! Scatter every strange altar erected against my life. In the name 
of Jesus. Scatter every strange altar erected against my life. Scatter the altar. Scatter the altar. Scatter them. Scatter them. In Jesus' name we pray. Blood of Jesus. Destroy every covenant of fear in my life. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the covenant of fear. I shall not be afraid. Motesekaya boshendera bakanta. In Jesus name we pray We pray this one three times Look at what is happening over there One power that has been squeezing the womb of one woman together Is releasing that womb now Releasing the womb now That's right Now you that person with terrible pain at your back of your head and the bone at the back of your head. Shake it now. you find that the healing power of God has come upon that backbone. Thank you, Jesus. Something has just been taken out from somebody's body. You came here with it. But check it now. It has been taken away back to the senders. We pray this one three times. Blood of Jesus! Separate me from the iniquities of other men. Meaning that you will not suffer for what somebody else has done. Separate me from the iniquities of other men. Blood of Jesus. Separate me from the iniquities of other men. In the name of Jesus. Separate me from the iniquities of other men so that it will not affect my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Aha, aha, aha. Nariboko soponde ke ya bo shenteraba. Nariboko soponde ke ya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the third time. Open your mouth and pray. So I pray me. Masika ya bo shenteraba karaba santa. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. One hand on the head, one hand on the chest. And speak loud and clear like this. Every arrow of darkness in my body. Hear the word of the Lord. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? I'm sure you can shout it louder than that. Make it louder than that, beloved. In the name of Jesus, kill the arrows today. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Aha, 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 aha. Barreabo sopokota. Mana kamponte sepela boko yaba. Boriboko soponde kayabo shente yaba. Makarebo sepalaba. Out, through the mouth, through the nose, through the womb. Out, 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 out,
out, out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. You may put your hand down now. Now check your body thoroughly. You know that the power of God has touched your body. You, know, you came here with something and it's no longer there. Don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Just find a way to the altar here. So that we can pray with you to retain that miracle. Just find a way to the altar here. So that we can pray for you. Now you will say this louder than anyone here. Please don't joke with this prayer. Please pray it with anger. Struggle of witchcraft. Against me. If I were that sister from Cross River down there. I will shout it louder than anyone here. Struggle of witchcraft against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Yes. Aha, aha, aha. Bora po, da kata santa yaba. Maniko soponde ke yabo shente yaba. Bariko soponde ke yabo shente yaba raba. In Jesus name we pray. As someone who came to this service with a satanic migraine. As if the enemy wants to blow up your head. The seven arrows fired into that head. They have been taken out one by one. There are some false bonds here this morning. Which the enemy has been using as a footmat. But this morning, you have been delivered by the power of God. Aha. Uh -huh. That person here, that they say the baby in your womb is dead. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the resurrection power of God is coming upon that baby. Yes, that's the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Every bad luck transferred into my life. Can you shout it loud and clear? Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Command the bad luck to come out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marabosopokotenda kayaba. Mama, mama, kapola, bosopola, kayabosha. Barra kaposoponda. Born in a Caponde Center. Manna Cantera Bosopola. Perico Soponde Cayaboshente Yaba. The Catera Bosopola Cayaboshente. Bocaraboco Satan de Cayaboshente Yaba. Mariboco Soponde Cayaboshente Yaboracayaba. Aha, 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 aha. Mashendera Boco Soponde Cayaboshente Rabacayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I see sister here. The strange woman from your husband has planted an infirmity in your body. But the infirmity is coming out now. That's right. Just receive your healing from that cancer, from the kidney trouble, from the heart disease, from the diabetes, from the sleeplessness. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say this with boiling anger. Every power opening the gates of my life to darkness. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, yes, 
Yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. Aha, 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 aha. Borrebo soponde kepete. Anaka robo sopokote ya boshanta. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Masoteke Yaboshente. Aha, aha, aha. Amen. Something is taking place over there. Yes. The evil swelling inside the body, inside the breast is being taken out. Check it now. That's right. The hand of the oppressor that has been introducing fire inside your body has been shaken out from your body now. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Hidden arrows in my body. With her. In the name of Jesus. Command the hidden arrows to wither. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Check your body again now, beloved. Came here with a particular condition. It has just vanished. Find a way to this altar. So we can pray with you and put a seal on that miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy has taken something away from one man over there. Right there, the Holy Ghost is returning what the enemy has stolen. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Ensure that if you notice that somebody's voice is going to overshadow your own, make it louder. My story change in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my story change. Bosa takaya boshende rabakanta. Riboso ponde kaya boshende rabakaya ba. Let be a change, a change. A change, 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 a change. Let my story change. That must be a change. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Let my story change. Rabo sopola kaya bo shenteraba. Mana kanta rabo sopola boko. Parika setende kaya bo. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I say crab like object moving out of the body of a sister over there. This is the object that has been pushing out your babies and causing miscarriages. The power of God is coming upon you there. Yes. This is the final time I want you to do that prayer. Oh God, arise. And let my story change in the name of 
Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Receive the torture of the power of God. Receive the torture of, of the power of God. Receive the touch 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 of the power. 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 Ah 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 ah. The story is changing. The story is changing. The story is changing by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the decree of heavens. Oh God, Allah! I let my story change. Let my story change. Let my story change. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Sit down. Sit down please. We pray the following prayers while you are sitting. I'm going to ask you to stand up again very soon. You will decree this loud and clear. Oh God of the suddenlies. Allah. Manifest your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. The God of the suddenness. Arise. Manifest your power in my life. Spirit of the living God. Move. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. You will shout this too loud and clear. Every good thing that the enemy has stolen from me, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You will say this again with only anger. Shadows of darkness. That has entered into my destiny. Clear away. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray rise up on your feet everybody the glory of witchcraft from my place of birth I turn you to shame can you say this with only anger are you afraid to say it Jesus. Turn their glory to shame. Turn it to shame. Turn it to shame. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power searching for my face in a satanic mirror. Can you say this loud and clear? Uh huh. You are a liar. Da! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. 
Lord, I thank you for this, your children. Cover their miracles with the blood of Jesus. I declare that affliction will not arise in your life again. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We have seven more prayers to pray. Say this again loud and clear. Every power arresting my helpers. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch forward your two hands like somebody who wants to receive a really big, heavy present. My Father, My Father. visit me in a way that will surprise my friends and shock my enemies. In the name of Jesus, ask for a divine visitation to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. The key to abundant prosperity Come into my hands now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that want you. In Jesus' name we pray. Any gate man standing at the gate of my breakthroughs Clear away in the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. You month of December, you shall not be my cauldron. In the name of Jesus, declare that the month will not be your cauldron. In Jesus' name we pray. Every serpent and scorpion in this month die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Power to rise up with wings as eagle. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus name we pray. This is the seventh prayer that I want you to pray from your heart. Every owner of evil Lord this month. Carry your load by fire in the name of Jesus. They must carry their load by fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As a seal to what the Lord has done here today, I want you to sing this song with violence. Sing it with power. I shall get to my promised land. I shall get to my promised land. No matter what the devil may say, I shall get to my promised land. I shall get to my promised land. I shall get to my promised land. No matter what the devil may say, I shall get to my promised land. Hallelujah. That what the devil may say, I shall get to my promise. Hallelujah. No matter what the devil may say, I shall get. Yeah, 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 yeah. I shall get to my promised land. To my promised land. No matter what the devil may say, 
I shall get you my promise now. Hallelujah. I shall. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hallelujah. I shall get you my promise now. Hallelujah. No matter what the devil may say, I shall get you. I shall get to my promise. I get to my. I shall get to my promise now. 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 I shall get to my promise. I shall get to my promise now. Let us share the grace in fellowship. shall reign forever and ever and he shall reign forever and ever and he shall reign forever and ever forever and ever hallelujah hallelujah forever and ever hallelujah hallelujah Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Forever and ever, hallelujah, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, and he shall reign forever and ever. Forever and ever, King of kings and Lord of lords, and He shall reign forever, forever and ever, King of kings and Lord of lords, King of kings and Lord of lords, and He and He shall. Forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, I raise up our two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Make sure your voice is louder than anyone around you. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the earth. 
Viva exorcelo lo labo la alleluia let the glory be upon Let the glory be upon all. Sing it again loud and clear. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above thou. Let your voice be loud. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above thou. Hallelujah. Let your glory you are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I will praise your name, Jehovah. Sing it loud and clear. You are the awesome God. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God. The mighty God, I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. We praise your name, Jehovah. Sisters, you are the awesome God. Brothers, can I hear you singing loud and clear? You are the awesome God, the mighty God. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. Jehovah, 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 praise your name. Everybody together now. You are the awesome God. You are the awesome God. A mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God. A mighty God. I will praise your name. Jehovah. 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 I will praise your name, Jehovah. Complete, complete, complete in Him. I am complete in Him. Complete, complete, complete in Him. I am complete. Sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes, complete. Hallelujah. Johan, 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 Johan. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh yes, complete. Hallelujah. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire, fire again. 
the Holy Ghost. Send the fire. Send the fire. The Holy Ghost. Send the fire. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Jesus and fire. Fire burning in. Sing it loud and clear, my brother. Our God is alive. Sing it loud and clear, my sister. Our God is alive. Sing it loud and clear, my brother. Our God is alive. Sing it loud and clear, my sister, our God is a Lord God that has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Lord God, that has made the heavens and the earth by the hour. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah. Great and mighty God. Great cancer, mighty thee. Mighty thee. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is to give Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything? Is there anything? Hallelujah. Is there anything? 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 To have for me? Is there anything? The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In loud amen. Before you sit down, I would like you to pray these three strange prayer points. Don't say, I don't think this concerns me. It is safer to pray. Can I hear all the sisters here? Who are warriors for Christ shouting this loud and clear? Every charm, Every charm. Poured, on poured on the ground to subdue, to subdue me. Can I hear all the sisters are shouting that? Brothers, can I hear your voice running like thunder? Let everybody say it loud and clear. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. That's right. If it's part on the ground to subdue you. This is not a debt to negotiate. That's right. Masekatende yaboshende raba. That's right. Masekaya Boshen Teraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Say, any vessel assigned to torment my life, go unto you. 
Can I hear you sing that loud and clear? I want your woe unto you to be very loud. Can I hear you say it again? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Declare war unto the vessels. In the name of Jesus, just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Holy Ghost fire challenge every stranger in my life whether it is infirmity whether it is arrow of darkness whatever it is holy ghost fire challenge every stranger in my life in the name of jesus open your mouth and decree in jesus name we pray Father, we thank you for a time like this. We thank you for your people you have brought here this morning in order to bless them. And thank you for the word of prophecy that has gone forth for this meeting. And as many people as have presented themselves at this morning's service, they shall receive a present from heaven. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, lay your hands upon us. Anoint us for great things. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's have a say God bless you. The mystery of the raging spirit. The mystery of the raging spirit. It is good to listen carefully this morning. And it is good to pray with volcanoes panic anger the prayer times may be short but you must pray it accurately well the mystery of the raging spirits in some two we've, we have read this morning and we've heard it in the song in some two we read verse one and two and a little bit of three. Psalm 2 verse 1. Say, so why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? I'm praying for somebody here this morning. Every imagination of the enemy concerning your life shall fail you. Amen. Amen. Do you understand that prayer? Because it is imagination that sponsors action. But when a process dies at the level of imagination, it can't affect you anymore. I pray for somebody here again this morning. Every dark imagination against your life, your family, your business, your calling, this morning, that imagination shall fail. He shall fail. He shall fail. In the name of Jesus. So why do the hidden rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves. And rulers take counsel together. Against the Lord. And against the Son of the Say, Let us break their bands asunder. And cast away their cause from us. The Bible says, He that seated 
in the heavens shall laugh. Say, I shall laugh last over my enemies. Why do the heathen rage? There is the rage of the heathen energized by the raging spirit. In Psalm 7 verse 6, Psalm 7 verse 6, how do you cope with that rage? Psalm 7 verse 6 gives you a small idea. So, arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies. And awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. They are in their rage. But you too can invite the anger of the Lord against them. That is the heritage of the righteous. So there is a rage of the heathen, energized by raging spirits. There is a rage of the enemies here, energized by the same raging spirits. Now in Revelation chapter 12, Revelation 12, 12, Revelation 12, 12, says this, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time so the devil is come down to you having great wrath that is he is in a rage now listen carefully there is a raging battle on the battle is going on right now this is a battle where no one can be neutral we are born into it and we have got no choice you cannot opt out of the battle there is nowhere to go there is a battle a raging battle going on the battle between the right and the wrong the battle between light and darkness. The battle between real and counterfeit. The battle between evil and good. The battle between negative and positive. It is a rage that is going on. When we say rage, we mean extreme anger. We mean explosive anger. We mean anger that is furious in intensity. We mean agitation. Deep, deep bitterness. Rampage. Great violence. We're talking about a storm. An uproar. A flaring up. It is going on now. And we are all involved in it. The world is not like a bus where you can get to the bus and say, Driver, I'm going to this bus stop. Stop! You are on it. You are part of it. You are inside a conflict. Whether you are aware or not is not important. Whether you are ignorant or you know about it, does not, it doesn't matter. Maybe you don't even believe that there is anything like witches, wizards, who don't believe in the spirit trap. It doesn't matter. You are still in the battle. Maybe you think that those of us who say them are just superstitious people. Don't worry, just wait and see. There is a battle going on. It is a fiercely contested conflict. Satan is a trained strategist. An obstinate fighter. He will refuse to acknowledge defeat unless he must acknowledge that defeat. Even when you win at one war front, it has a way of starting another battle at another war front. The enemy yields only what must yield. He yields only the ground you have taken from him. So you too have to by step by step take the ground. And you have to defend even the ground you have taken from him. There are battles and there are battles. Every geographical area, whether it's Africa, Europe, whatever it is, it has its own of war, battle going on. 
Every family has a battle going on within. Every city has a battle going on within. Every geographical area has its own characteristics, demon or spirit controlling that area. And you have to understand it very well. This is why you cannot preach an American message to a Nigerian demon. Because they just will not listen to what you are saying. I want you to get yourself prepared here this morning so that you can fight a good warfare as you go into next year. The job of any true minister is a compassionate one. And one of the saddest moments that I have is when you see the enemy walking on somebody and you try to help the person and the person cannot be helped. The person refused to be assisted. Somebody comes into you to, to you for prayers and you find angry spirits raging against it. And you say, what have you done? What is your offense? Why are these spirits raging against you? He says, there is nothing raging against me. It does not understand. That's why you should be praying for pastors. Angry spirits that are fighting people sometimes after deliverance after prayers they go back to the ministers and accuse them of setting their captives free that's one of the reasons you should pray for your pastors sometimes as a counselor when somebody comes to you you wonder in your head why are they so angry against this person one day a man came for counseling as he stood there he was surrounded by people in black attire tied to the chest right there in the counseling and all of them were very angry, very angry. And they were issuing curses against him. Curses against him. And there he was standing with his three-piece suit. I didn't know there is a rage against him. I'm praying for somebody here. Every rage of the enemy against your life, that rage shall be quenched now in the name of Jesus. It shall be quenched in the name of Jesus. He shall be quenched in the name of Jesus. He shall be quenched in the name of Jesus. I remember a case. This young lady was the first graduate in their family and she made a first class. They brought her for prayers. When she told her parents that she feels like taking off her clothes, that the clothes are not comfortable. She first of all thought it was the wool which, which they used to make her clothes or the materials. She changed to several materials, including those of her junior sisters, but they were still itching on her body. She was uncomfortable. When the brother he says, Sir, I feel like tearing them off. I feel like tearing them off. He says, Something has to be done, sir. If not, I will tear them up. And we began to pray. Again, immediately prayer started. Two women showed up and they said, Excuse me, sir. What is your problem? What's your problem? Is this girl your daughter? Is this girl your family member? Is this girl even a member of your church? What's your problem? Leave us alone. Leave us alone. I said, but why? So the person who brought her to you was the one that handed her over to us. Can you close your eyes, beloved? And say this with violent anger. Every rage of darkness assigned to terminate my destiny you are a liar Jack! in the name of Jesus Piata Santa Yakayaba Ribo Soponde Kayabo Shentera Bakarabo Santa this is the time to pray. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Something is happening over there. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Many do not know that evil spirits they can act in a rage. When they act in a rage, they exhibit unthinkable madness 
and unthinkable wickedness. But although they are hurting the rage, in spite of the fact that they are hurting the rage, they are doing their evil with fullest intelligence and purpose. You may look at them like a mad crowd, but it is organized madness, organized violence. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. Every intelligent warfare assigned against you shall be scattered now. Let your amen roar like fire. Let your amen roar like thunder. Although they are in a rage, they are fully aware <laughs> of what they are doing. They, they, they know what they are doing. It's with sense. They operate under a serious rage of malice and hatred. I don't know whether any of you here have ever seen a mad cow. That is how they act as if they have no intelligence. But it's a lie. They are operating with full intelligence. That fury is mixed with determination. It's mixed with skillful methods. It is mixed with undeviating persistence. It is mixed with purpose. That's why the Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. Put it on. And try and understand, beloved. Maybe this is not clear. Or you have heard me saying this before. Listen, beloved. A spirit of witchcraft, a familiar spirit, marine spirit, can never, never repent. Never repent. Don't worry what all the faith preachers are telling you. A witchcraft power can never repent. Demons in actual sense, they defy God. They are never going to make peace with God. They know they are going to hellfire, but they will go fighting. Evil spirits and powers of the enemy, those who operate in the dark, are beyond the realm of God's reconciliation. There is no reconciliation. They will never agree to submit. And listen, they can never, never be pacified. Bring a goat to the village to give to the witchcraft person there is a lie. You can't pass by them. Buy clothes, 12 yards of this, 12 yards of that, plus two bars of yam. Give it to the witchcraft in the village. Maybe they will let you go. No, they will just change their strategy. They will just remove their tuberculosis and then put HIV. They can never be pacified. The only language the enemy understands is violence. The only thing the enemy respects power. Any other thing is story, story, story. Once upon a time, 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 time. Doesn't work. I want you to understand this very, very well. The anger of the enemy is something that most people don't know. And they have destroyed so many lives. The anger of the enemy is sometimes inflamed when warfare prayers are on. Warfare prayers, not the prayers of we beseech thee, O Lord, that thou mayest comfort thy servant. May it appear that thou art our Savior and mighty deliverer. Save thy humble servant who is a miserable sinner from the darkness of the night. And they say, We beseech thee, O Lord. Those prayers will not get you anywhere. In fact, by the time you finish, they have already finished with you. The entire signs of the man saying it is already gone. There is plenty of arrows already inside the wrapper of the woman saying it. But when you give the aggressive command, the kind that Jesus gave to that demoniac in the synagogue, he spoke to him and said, shut up, get out. In the original Greek word, he said, be muzzled and get out. A muzzle is the leather wire they used to cover the mouth of an animal to prevent it from eating or biting. That's the language Jesus used. He said, be muzzled and get out. Because those are not kind words. Shut up and get out. The enemy rages, number one. 
when your destiny is colorful. He said, ah, why are they fighting against me? Why is my life like this? If you have a colorful destiny, you will get a big fight. I'm praying for somebody here. As many of you as are here this morning, and because of your colorful destiny, the battle raging against you has been so serious. Receive your victory today in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. The enemy rages. Number one. When your destiny is colorful. They say men will always throw stones at the tree with fruit. If you are a non-entity, a celebrated zombie, somebody who is to achieve nothing, no enemy will trouble you. They, they leave you alone. Even ordinary malaria, they won't give to you. Because they know that you are completely, completely useless anyway. But as far as your destiny is colorful, you will get a hard fight. Any child too with a colorful destiny, they will begin to battle that child even from the womb. They will try and confuse that child. Look at the story of Joseph. Look at the battle. All because of his colorful destiny. I pray once again that if because of your colorful destiny, the rage against you is furious, let that rage be quenched now in the name of Jesus. Let the amen roar like thunder. Let it roar like fire. In the name of Jesus. Number two. The enemy rages against you when you are seen as a danger to their activities. They see you as a danger to their activities. They know that as long as you are there, you will certainly overshadow them. And they don't want you to overshadow them. So your battle will be hard. So stop crying and saying that, well, uh, why are they fighting? Why are they? they will fight you. They will fight you. Once they say, get on your marks, get set, run. That man, the first man that is leading the race, automatically the enemies of all the others. Because they are pursuing him. When you are seen as a danger to the activities of the enemy, your battle will be hard. The enemy knows that there are some, if they could get their hands on money, real money, that they will use it to serve the Lord all the days of their life. They say, ah, oh, don't give money to this one. If you give it to this one, he will use it to destroy our kingdom. So don't let him have it. Anyone here this morning, and the reason behind any poverty you are suffering is because you are seen as a danger to the, to the activities of the enemy. This morning, that battle shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus, it shall be scattered. 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 In the name of Jesus. Three, the enemy rages when you are set to make positive history. You are set to make positive history. You are set. To rewrite your family history. Maybe what is written in the archive of darkness against your family is that nobody must prosper. You now came out. You want to rewrite that. And you think they will leave you alone and just let you do it like that. You cannot fire live bullets at the enemy and they are firing rubber back at you. There must be a fight. Four. The enemy rages when heavens are planning your celebration they're already planning your celebration and i see somebody here this morning whether it is convenient for the enemy or not you shall be celebrated in the name of jesus five the enemy's rage when you are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough you are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough the enemy now begins to rage begins to rage because you are at the edge six 
the enemy's rage when your the time when the time to sing your song and dance your dance is around the corner they will rage seven the enemy's rage when your testimony is about to explode they will rage eight the enemy's rage when the final yoke they have been using to keep you down is about to be broken broken number one broken number two broken number three broken number four broken number five broken number six only one strong one is remaining and that one too is about to break they will rage seriously against you they will rage and say what's like are you the only one are you the only one yeah, you did that. It's working. You did that. It's working. You did that. It's working. Are you? The, are you the only one? I pray that are you the only one? Accusations that the enemy is using against anyone here it shall backfire against the enemy. It shall backfire. It shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Number nine, the enemy's rage when their complete defeat is around the corner. And they can see that defeat coming. The rage. The Bible says, Rejoice ye heavens. Say, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and unto of the sea. Say, Because the devil has come down against you, having great wrath. For he knew it that his time is short. He can already see that defeat. So he's putting up a desperate fight. And once somebody is desperate, desperation introduces some extra energy. I pray that the, your desperate enemy shall desperately die. In the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. The enemy rages when your victory becomes non-negotiable. Can't be negotiated again. Your victory. 11. The enemy rages when they are afraid of your speed. <laughs> How did he get here? How did she get here? The enemy rages when they are afraid of your speed. 12. The enemy rages when your promotion has already been announced in heaven and the enemy hears the announcement. They start to rage. 13. The enemy rages when your case has been fast tracked in heaven. It's been fast tracked. So the Lord begin to rage here. 14. The enemy rages when you are definitely positioned to make your life, your, your mark in life. You are definitely positioned to make your mark in life. 15. The enemy rages when you have just won a major victory they will now wait you and say ah does it mean this person has gone does it mean we can't continue to hold this person in bondage 16. the enemy rages when there is a prophetic agenda for your life that is a dust said the lord has been pronounced upon your life 17. the enemy rages when you have been promoted above them, they will rage. When you have been promoted above them, 18. The enemy rages when you are determined to forget your expired past. Yesterday is a cancelled check, tomorrow is a promissory note. It's only today that you really have. When you are determined to forget that past and move on, I'll be rage. 19. The enemy's rage when you refuse to take no for an answer. You refuse to take no for an answer. They shouted at blind Bartimaeus, shut up, you are disturbing us. The man responded with more aggression. 20. The enemy rages when your harvest is ripe. Very ripe harvest. The, the enemy rages. 21. The enemy rages when you are about to cross your Red Sea. And I see somebody here this morning. Before 2009 will come to a close. 
You shall cross your Red Sea. 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 You shall cross it. 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 In the name of Jesus. 22. The enemy rages when the power that prolongs your problem is about to die. That's when the rage will be so much. I'm saying this this morning. So those of you who have been worried and depressed and unhappy could not understand why the battle against you so much. I'm explaining the reasons to you. 23. The enemy's rage when you tell them enough is enough. They will rage. Because they know now you are poised for war. 24. The enemy's rage when you are set to overtake your superiors. They've been there before you but you want to overtake them. The enemy's rage. 25. The enemy's rage when you decide to be stubborn to obstacles. Decide to be stubborn to obstacles. The enemies will rage. The enemy's rage when you are determined to turn your scar into star. You are determined to turn your scar to star. The enemies will rage. 27, the enemy will rage when you are determined to go from zero to hero. 28, the enemies will rage when your divine turning point is near. When your divine turning point is near. 29, the enemies will rage when the enemy sees that your blessings are irreversible. They try to reverse it, they cannot. They rage. Now listen carefully. Number 30. The enemy's rage when they are deeply entrenched and you are demanding their opportunity. They are deeply entrenched. They've been there for 40 years, 50 years. You are not demanding they should come out. Oh, there will be a rage against you. A rage against you. Look at that small boy in Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. From verse 20. Mark 9 20. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straight away the spirit tear him. And he fell onto the ground and wallowed for me. The spirits were angry. And he asked his father, How long is it ago that this came upon him? And he said, Of a child. And oftentimes it has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. And straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. When Jesus saw the people come running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit. I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. What happened in verse 26? And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him and he was as one dead. In as much as many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. Raging spirits. They got really, really angry and they decided to even kill the boy instead of getting out. 31. The enemy's rage when there is an ancestral yoke you are trying to break. The rage. I said, This thing has been there before you are born. Why do you want to remove it? 32. The enemy's rage. When you are trying to get off stubborn curses and stubborn covenants, stubborn curses, stubborn covenants are trying to break them off. They will rage. 33. The enemy's rage, according to the level of your previous consultation with powers of darkness. If you have consulted the darkness and darkness before you got born again, you've consulted them plenty of times, that the rage will be much. 
34, the enemy's rage when you have had past sexual occultic partners. You have had occultic sexual partners. The enemy will rage. 35, the enemy's rage when your past involvement in the world of darkness was deep. A former native doctor surrendering his life to Christ will fight a worse warfare than somebody who just went for consultation. 36. The enemy's rage when your name has been circulated in the, in the coven. Plenty of covens with your name in it. The enemy's rage. 37. The enemy's rage when your potential usefulness in the kingdom of God is high. The enemy's rage. The enemy's rage during the birth of Jesus. Jesus had to be taken to Egypt and brought back later. The most invaded city in the world. The most attacked city in the world. The city that has seen most warfare, the largest number of warfare in the world, is Jerusalem. In fact, Jerusalem has been invaded over 400 times. Why? Because Jerusalem has a prophetic role. So know for sure, beloved, that your own Jerusalem too will be hotly contested. 38. The enemy's rage, just like that of the small boy here, when they are losing their accommodation. Their accommodation was this boy. They are now losing it. They will rage. 39. The enemy's rage. Because they are afraid of demotion. Because once they lose their assignments, Satan demotes them. And 40, the enemy's rage because of loss of face. Being very proud personalities, they rage. These are the reasons why the enemies rage. Bible says, why do the heathens rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth rise up. They took counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. So let us break their bands asunder and cast away their yokes from us. But it that seated in the heavens shall laugh. What do we do? To quench the rage of the enemy. One, we need to become a friend of God. Two, worry and anxiety must die in your life. First, become a friend of God. Two, kill all forms of worry and anxiety. And three, wage war against the rage of the enemy. That's why we're here this morning. And I want you to be serious with this few minutes you want to use in prayers. I want the intensity of your prayer to be volcanic. Especially if you notice there's a rage against you. I remember the story of that brother. It was to take a final exam in medicine. But the enemy was determined that he would not take it. The day of the examination, this final exam, immediately they sat in class, somebody switched on the radio outside, and what came out was military music. And there was a coup in the country. So quickly, they disbanded the class. They could not take the exam. For the sake of the same exam, he ran to the UK. They were going to start the exam again. All of a sudden, somebody came to announce in the examination hall that the professor that was coming for the examination died in the training. He made a third attempt. He almost died. There was a rage against that. There may be a rage against somebody's marriage, rage against somebody's finances, rage against somebody's career. The important thing is to quench that rage. Rise up on your feet now. And all eyes closed. We have a short time for prayer. And that short time, I want to use it extremely well. All eyes closed. Anyone who is in the service of this morning, you did not come here by chance. God specifically brought you to this morning service. If you pray this morning here, and one way or another you lose your voice, but you quench this rage that is against you, you made a good bargain. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Just put up your right hand where you are and say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I come before you. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. For said that short prayer with me, don't go home immediately we close. Find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. Beloved, like you can see, we are here for serious business. Serious assignment. I don't know why they are raging against you. I don't know your specific reason. But I know that the Bible says, He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. Then it will break them with a the rod of iron. Then it will dash them in pieces. Like a potter's vessel. It is not me who wrote that psalm. It's not me who talks about using the rod of iron to break them. It's not me who say who will dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. It's not me who wrote that the rock will grind the enemy to powder. It's in scripture. All eyes closed. Everyone here this morning, you have a battle to fight. You may not understand, but the battle is there anyway. I want you to identify specific areas where you know the enemy is raging against you right now. I want you to identify areas that you are going to deal with in this service. Now with fire and with power in your voice. Don't negotiate this prayer with anybody. Because immediately we start this prayer, the power of God will begin to move from person to person. The louder you pray, the better for you. Shout this loud and clear. Rage of darkness! Against my destiny! Your time is up! In the name of Jesus! Oh yes. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Bakate kare kaya boshente. Ribo soponde kaya boshente ra bakaya ba. Bakatonda kape. Rira kasempe la kaya ba. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Something is happening already. In Jesus' name we pray. I told you. I told you what will happen. That's right. There are 25 persons here now. The trouble is that you are under the rage of domestic witchcraft. Within the next few seconds. Right there where you are standing. A arm from heaven will lay upon your head. And the agenda of darkness for your destiny shall be broken to pieces. That's number one. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That hand, that hand of fire. You can feel it on your head. That's number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Yes, they have harassed you for too long. But today is the expiry day. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. Let this man go. Let him go. Remove your rope from his waist. Remove your rope from his neck. Let him go now. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 
Thank you, Jesus. With more violence in your soul, you will shout this again loud and clear. Rage of darkness! Of my father's heart! Dark! In the name of Jesus! Release from their cage. Release from their cage. Masakaya bo shentaraba. Masantaya Bokoshenta. Yes. Masakaya Boshenta Raba. Something is happening. Continue, continue, continue. Amen. Why clapping your hands and singing this song with full concentration? Concentrate. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Ha! Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Ah, Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Oh yes, Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, torment, torment. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, torment, torment. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, oppress, oppress. Holy Ghost, torment, torment. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. 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 With a voice louder than anyone here, you will now mention your specific case. My career, my family, my whatever I want to put. Rage of darkness against my calling. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Now be specific. Continue, continue. Today is today. Every rage of the enemy against my marriage, against my calling, against my career, against my hope, command it to backfire. Right now. Right now. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let those who believe in those three prayers shout three Jericho style. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now with your eyes closed, we pray the final prayer point for this morning here. And with that anointing, like Gideon, you go and prosper. Say every rage against my peace, my prosperity, my safety. Can you shut those three things loud and clear? Da! In the name of Jesus, deal with the rage. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, according to your promise, that you will laugh the enemy rages against, raging against us to scorn, and that you will break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's verse. Every power raging against any area of anybody's life here, oh God of Elijah, Dash them to pieces. 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 In the name of Jesus. And any blessing the enemy has stolen from you this year, repossess them in the name of Jesus. And by next Sunday, there will be nobody here without a testimony. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.
Shout hallelujah. Shout it loud hallelujah. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Sing it loud and clear. Oh yes, oh yes, complete. Hallelujah. I am. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Complete, complete, complete. Hallelujah. Our Lord God that has made the heavens and the earth and thy great power. Our Lord God that has made the heavens and the earth by the house strength. Nothing is too difficult for me. Hallelujah, great and mighty God. Great a council, mighty indeed, mighty Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is so difficult for me. Go ahead. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything? Is there anything to have for you? Is there anything, anything, anything to have for you? Is there anything, is there anything to have for you? Yes, behold, behold, I am the, I am the Lord, my God of all flesh. Is there anything, is there anything to have for Hallelujah! Is there anything, anything, anything to have for you? Is there anything? Is there anything to have? John, 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 John. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The, the fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily. Well, let the Lord, oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Complete. Amen. Take your Bibles now, beloved. Psalm 118. We're going to read it together. Psalm 118. We're going to read it together. Are we ready? Let's go. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good, because his mercy endure forever. Let Israel now see that is mercy and burden forever. Let the house of Aaron now see that is mercy and burden forever. Let them now that fear the Lord see that is mercy and burden forever. I call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answer me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what command do unto me. The Lord taketh my path with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that eat me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in prisons. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord 
We like this. Read it again. Verse 11. They compass me about. Yea, they compass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as a fire of tongues. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust so at me, that I might fall, but the Lord help me. The Lord is my strength and son, and become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord dwelt valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord dwelt valiantly. I shall not die but live and declare the words. Read that again. Read it again like thunder. Shall not die but live. Shout it again like thunder. The Lord has chased me so, but he has not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. The gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee, for thou hast had me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders is become the earth of the corner. This is the Lord's day. It is marvelous in our hands. This is the day which the Lord had made. We will rejoice and be glad in you. Safe now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, who shall show us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the arms of the altar. Thou art my God. I will praise thee. Thou art my God. I will exalt thee. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercy and God of Amen. Amen. With your Bible still in your hand, decree this like thunder. Say every promise in this scripture. I claim it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and claim it by fire. I claim it by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Now stretch your Bible to the heavens like this. Say, I declare by the word of God. That I shall not die but live to declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. As you stretch forward the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. A louder amen. amen this is not a day to joke or to play games especially since there are some cryptic battles hiding there waiting for the person's day of glory waiting for the person's days of testimony waiting for the person at the maternity home waiting for the wedding day waiting for that glorious day we call them cryptic battles you can never over pray you can only under pray and um, prayers never die prayers are never wasted so don't keep quiet while others are receiving breakthroughs a lot of us read about jabez are many things we don't understand we have not bothered to trace why jabez was like that let me try and trace it for you a little bit now open your bible to first chronicles chapter four are we there if you're not there say wait for me we'll wait for you because i want you to understand this are we in first chronicles chapter 4 the sons of judah judah meant praise the sons of judah Phares, Ezron, and kami and Hor, and shobal i know the jews don't just give names to people they give names after studying the culture situation and the words of jehovah 
Just like our local people to here, we don't normally give names anyhow. Verse 2. And Riaya, son of Shobal, begat Jahat. And Jad begat Ahuma and Lahad. These are the family of the Zorathites. And these were of the father of Etham, Jezreel, Jezreel, and Isma, and Idbash. From this verse 3, problem started. In verse 3, we see Jezreel, which means son of God, or a seed that is son of God. But after that Jezreel, something happened. Something terrible happened. The story of success ended there. Then from Ishma and Ishma. Ishma means desolation. So from him came an evil tree. After him was Hidbash. Hidbash means the hand of shame. The hand of shame. And the name of the sister was Azelponi. And Penel the father of Gedor. Gedor means encaged. And Ezra the father of Usha. These are the sons of Hor, the first one of Ephrathah, the father of Bethlehem. And Asher, Asher means blackness or darkness. The father of Tekwa, he had two wives, Hila and Nara. Hila in verse 7 means rubbish or dustbin or scum of the earth. Let me save you some time. In verse 8, and cause began Anub and Zobeba. Zobeba means go slow. Go slow. The family also of Ahel, the son of Harum. Harel means behind or the very, very last. So by his name, he appeared to have become the last on the queue of blessing. And the family line kept giving on back to unfortunate people, people with bad luck, whose destinies have been vandalized. Until in verse 9, Jabez was now born. So the problem of Jabez was that he was part of an evil tree. And so he found that he was not in a place of blessing. And trouble happened. God told Eli, said, there shall not be an old man in your house forever. And that his children shall be beggars. Eli had planted an evil tree. Both Phineas and Phineas were not 30 years old when they died. So sometimes tragedies, beggarly spirit poverty perpetual poverty problems perpetual tragedy it's as a result of an evil tree that has been planted somewhere i pray once again that any tree not planted by the father that is in anybody's life here yeah, now will be uprooted by fire 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 in the name of jesus With fire in your voice. We're going to start these mysterious prayers now. Every plantation of failure in my foundation. In the name of Jesus. That is the first thing to deal with. Aha, 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 aha. Deal with the plantation of failure. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Let us wait for the manifestation of the miracles that is supposed to follow that prayer point. That's right. As a result of that prayer we've prayed now, so many people will receive promotion breakthroughs. That place where they say they don't want you, go back there. They will now want you. That's right. Every foundational mistake. That is affecting my life now. Blood of Jesus. Kill them. In the name of Jesus. 
Open your mouth and decree it. Something is happening again. Something is happening again. Yes. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Blood of Jesus. Kingdom. In Jesus name we pray. Say every evil river flowing into my destiny from my foundation. Can you say this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Thou power of God. Move. Thou power of God. Move. 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 Move, 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 move. In Jesus' name we pray. Every plantation of failure in my foundation. In the name of Jesus. That is the first thing to deal with. Ah, 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 ah. Deal with the plantation of failure. In Jesus' name we pray. You will say this loud and clear. Foundational yokes. You have to shout it three hot times. Can I hear you saying it? Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, break it. It must be broken. Yes. Yes. Break. 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 Masika poshenta. In Jesus name we pray. Arrows of confusion. Arise. Confuse yourself. And go back to your senders. Arrows of confusion. Arise. Confuse yourself. Go back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Something is happening here already. Pastor Paul contender about Today is today. Just continue. Continue. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Within the next minutes, I want you to wear your cup of warfare. The Lord said there are people here surrounded by breakthroughs. Amen. But listen, forces have tied their hands. Although surrounded by those breakthroughs, they could not get their hands on them. This is why I want you to pray this prayer in anger. Especially if you know that you need a change by fire. Shout this loud and clear now. Chains upon my heart. Break. In the name of Jesus, break the chains. In the name of Jesus, chains. 
and pour my hands. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Now strikes. Tonight is tonight. Let the chains be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Satanic revival. At the edge of my testimony. Right, somebody here who needs to shout this loud and loud. In the name of Jesus. Stop the revival of the enemy at the edge of your breakthroughs. But Kapale Captain Darabo Sanda. Naribo Sopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba. Mana Kapala Kata Rika Sanda. That's right. Aha. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Thank you Jesus. With fire and with power. You will shout this loud and clear. Opportunity was Of my father's house. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Bosata katanayaba. Ribo sopola kaya bo shenteraba. Something is happening already. The power of God. In the name of Jesus. Move. Masikataya bo shenteraba kotelaba kaya ba. Yes. This is not a night to negotiate. Not a night to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. You see what is happening now? You see what is happening? This nice prayer, beloved. Pray it with only madness. Because it shall release 21 breakthroughs. 21 different breakthroughs. Foundational cage. Hear the word of the Lord. Break in the name of Jesus. Let the foundational cages be broken. Let them 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 be broken. Masikate ya boshende raba kapola basanta. Ribo soponde kaya boshende raba kapola basampa. Marida kaponde sete ya bokoshende. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't be tired. That's right. Foundation of cage. Hear the word of the Lord. Your time is up. Break. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. If you see what is happening here now, great testimonies are happening in so many lives. Thank you, Jesus. Every power. Binding my opportunities. Can I hear the sisters roaring like lion? Is that the loud that the sisters can say to that? Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. You are a liar. There. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. Huh? This is not a day to joke with the enemy. This is not even the time to negotiate. Any enemy that has followed you here has made a mistake. Any of the programs that have followed anyone here is in trouble. Say, fetish power! Is out the loudest who can shout it? Assign against my life! And I hear the sisters roaring like thunder. Is out the loudest the sisters can say? There is a sister who needs to shout this loud and clear. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. There must be a fire in effect. Masopotende kaya boshenda. Ribosopende kaya boshenda. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. You see that? I told you. Yes. Yes. You that sickness program into the head, program into the brain, program into the heart, program into the blood, program into the womb, program into the breast. Right there where you are, I deprogram you. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. As many people as are here now. And that is unconscious programming inside their bodies you those strangers in the body it is written as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall be afraid and they shall run out of their close place you the stranger in the body your time is up come out now out 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 in the name of jesus that's the first person that's number two that's number three that's number four that's number five that's number six that's number seven that's how it's coming out number eight number nine number ten you cannot hide your time is up lose your hold the serpent program into the body lose your hold the fibro protein program into the womb lose your hold the sickness program into the blood lose your hold yes that's the seventh person number eight number nine number ten number eleven number twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty look at what is happening over there you must be released Today is that day of release. Any power program into that person's body to prevent you from getting mad. There's a power of God coming upon you. Aha, aha, aha. Aha, aha, aha. Aha, 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 yes, yes. Say so anything, anything. programming.
into my life. To destroy my destiny. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Masete ke ya bo shendera bo ko senta. Ribo soponde ke ya bo shentera ba. Da katanda kanda ra bo soto la ba. In Jesus name we pray. When I traveled abroad for my degree, I met a Nigerian. The first time I met him, I greeted him. But God opened my eyes. I saw a masquerade follow him. Masquerade in the dream means a sensual spirit. So I said, my brother, there is a masquerade following you. Cut it off. He laughed at me. <laughs> yeah, in the UK, you are seeing masquerade. <laughs> so I, I left him alone. He was studying food science. PhD is for three years. He studied it for eight years. And before you pass a PhD, you attend what you call an interview, a viva. Somebody, a professor will come and be asking you questions verbally. So his viva came. The professor was there. And the professor asked the simplest question. Because to get a PhD, you must write a book called a thesis. And the, prof the professor asked the simplest question. What is the title of your thesis? He was the one that was written it for eight years. Beloved, he could not remember. And you know those professors, our external examiners, they are known to be very, very vicious. So the man kept repeating the same question. That one he could not answer. Kept repeating it. Kept repeating it. Kept repeating it. And that was the question he asked him for one hour. And after one hour, he said, well, if you... If, I assume that you did not do this work. Because if you did it, you won't forget the title. Therefore, fail. Ah. It was when the man said, fail. And I remember the name. I was already asleep at 12 midnight. I did knock on my door. Ko, 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 ko. Daniel. That's my first name. Come out, oh. There is fire on the mountain. Come out. So I came out. Ah, what's the matter? The, the, the masquerade you saw. This is the time to kill it. I said, what happened? And I told me. He was the first person in the whole of his family line to get a degree. Now he wants to get a PhD. The masquerade followed him to the UK. Can you raise up your right hand? Masquerade power! Sign against my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, Allah! And purge my family line! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's wonderful. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus. Masekaya bo shendera bo kopola bara bo santa. 
purge my family Lord Then we pray. Circle of darkness in my family, Lord. In the name of Jesus. But presente yaboko shende yaboko pola kayaba. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth and decree. This is why you are here. Continue, continue, continue. Continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, patterns of darkness in my family, Lord, break in the name of Jesus. Break the patterns. Break the patterns. Break the patterns. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Things are happening already. If you want me to prostrate and beg you, I will pray this like a mad prophet. Because the angels to carry these instructions are already here. Say this after me. The mistakes of my parents will not become my tragedy. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare that word. Their mistakes will not become a tragedy. Aha! Something is happening here. In Jesus' name we pray. I refuse to struggle with what my parents struggle with. Maybe your parents struggle with certain things. They are struggling with the same thing. I refuse to struggle with what my parents struggle with. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus name we pray something is happening these yokes are being broken yokes of profitless hard work the yoke of failure at the edge of breakthroughs the yoke of constant witchcraft attacks the yoke of untimely death the yoke of dream attacks the yoke Clinical prophecies. It's happening. Makatanda rabo sandia. Ribala kapanta. Lekande sende ya bo shende rabaka yaba. You will shout this loud and clear. Any padlock of darkness. Sign against my destiny. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. This is the time for you to pray. Now the time to negotiate. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray.
you will shout this loud and clear. Bullets of darkness fired against me while I was a baby. In the name of Jesus. It is important that you pray. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. We are not here to play, we are not here to joke. Cry to the heavens. Cry with all your voice. Weapons of darkness! My body! Yeah! In the name of Jesus! Jesus! You are the great physician! Ooh, as a great physician Ooh. in Jesus name we pray hidden cages in my life break in the name of Jesus Continue, continue. This is not a day to negotiate. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Hear this word from the Lord. The Lord said, There are so many people here today who have come with long-term problems. There are so many people here today that the enemy has been mocking. The Lord said, if you will pray this prayer, which we are going to pray three hot times, if you will pray this prayer, and immediately you pray the third prayer, that will be the end of all the problems. <laughs> oh yes oh yes aha aha amen aha the spirit of paralysis has just been removed from somebody the evil flow of blood has just been arrested that cancer in a person's body has just dried up. Every power prolonging my problem. What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus.
Masekatenda kaya boshente raba. Rio pola katan santa. Makatanda rabo sopola kaya ba. Deribo sopola kaya boko shente raba. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Don't negotiate. Don't keep quiet. Don't negotiate. Jesus name we pray. Uh huh. Yes. This is the final one. Every power prolonging my problem. You are a joker. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Joking. Yes. 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 E Jesus name we pray thank you jesus silence uh, is an evil hand laid on somebody's pregnancy the fire of god is burning that hand right now and you have been completely released you will shout this again loud and clear power of repeated problems Is that the loudest you can shout against it? You are a liar! Die! In the name of Jesus! Deal with that power now! Makate seponda kaya bo shende rabo konte La ribo seponda kaya bo shanda Something is happening here this morning Yes! 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Fire of affliction. A sign against my life. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, kill the fire completely. Deal with the fire of affliction. In the name of Jesus, will send the kapon de karibo sopola kaya boshanda. Da send the kaya boshente rabo kola boko sente la baraba. Da rabo sopon de kaya boshente rabo kompola baraba. Command the fire of affliction to die and to rise no more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus, then we pray. Goliath of my father's house. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, deal with the Goliath. Deal with the Goliath today. Basente kapoya boko shendera bakaya ba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this loud and clear. Witchcraft exchange of my virtues. 
Can you shout it with boiling anger? Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. That's why Jesus brought you here. My support and can tell Abokoya Boshanda. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. So any power assigned to use my life as a fertilizer. Can you shout it with boiling anger? You are a liar! Die! In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be used as a fertilizer. Masse kapoya bo shendera kante yaba. Deke se pendeke ya bo shendera bo kopola bakaraba. Yes, enough is enough. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, witchcraft infirmity in the eyes, in the stomach, in the womb, in the legs. They are being cancelled now. They are being cancelled now. They are being cancelled. They are being cancelled now. Masekaya Boshende Rabokontea. They are being cancelled now. Every problem transferred into my life. Backfire in the name of Jesus. This is not a death to negotiate. This is not a death to negotiate at all. We have negotiated for too long. Today is the day to fight back. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Making good progress. Aha. Strangers in my body. Hear the word of the Lord. Can you shout it loud and clear? Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Something has happened in your life today. Aha, 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 aha. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Today is not a day to negotiate. Jesus them we pray the Bible said the thief command not for us to steal to kill and to destroy pray this with boiling anger pray it with all your strength owners of evil Lord of my father's heart owners of evil Lord of my mother's arm carry your Lord in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray it yes today is today you cannot negotiate in Jesus name we pray 
things are happening here. Listen. I forgot for somebody over there. Those things you have not been able to achieve for years. The Lord said you will achieve it now. <laughs> so every power, every power trading with my virtues return my virtue. In the name of Jesus, Bosenta Kepeke Tela Kaya Bashanda, Riba Kapiali Katanda, Mana Katanda Rabo Shempenda Karabo Sanda, Da Katera Bosoponde Kaya Boshente. Ah, 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 ah. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every evil hand anointed to waste my head. Wither in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray it now. Command the answer with that. Every evil hand anointed to waste my head. In Jesus' name we pray. Now shout this loud and clear. Arrows of untimely death. Fired against my head. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Come on, it to backfire. Pass up on the country. Riba sapenda kaya bo shente yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word for somebody here. You are already in sorrow because the year is going to an end. But I have a message for you. The Lord said I should tell you that although the year is going to an end, your miracle will happen before it goes to an end. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. Now, this prayer, the arrow of this prayer, is going to villages and towns and cities. Every pot, or if you like, you can say every cauldron, every pot, Call him my name. Pray in the name of Jesus. Command the pot to be broken. Break now in the name of Jesus. Every pot call him my name. Break, break, break. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray I have a word for somebody over there I don't know who this word is for the Lord said though they have gathered to disgrace you they shall end up promoting you aha 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 Thank you, Jesus. Now say every power. Call him my name. Or any member of my family. From the gate of the grave. Down! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Stop them before they stop you. Stop them before they stop you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody will shout this again loud and clear. This is not a day to joke. It's a day for serious action. And don't negotiate this with any power at all. Say, 
affliction authority assigned against me is that the loudest who can shout that prayer is that the loudest who can shout that prayer expire in the name of jesus command the affliction authority to expire in jesus name we pray say bullets of darkness arise locate your sender can you say that loud and clear shout it again loud and clear make sure your voice is louder than anyone around you in the name of jesus send by the bullets of darkness in jesus name we pray of affliction of my father's house every tree of affliction of my mother's house your time is up Death! in the name of Jesus somebody here is getting a breakthrough Somebody there has been set free. Masoponda kaya ba shentera ba? Maria pa li katenda ka? In Jesus' name we pray. Garment of shame. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. yes 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 in jesus name we pray now this one is personal don't negotiate with this one at all any tree the father has not planted inside my body in the name of jesus kill the tree masakaya bo shendera bo kontaraba riba sapela kaya bo in jesus name we pray somebody is mentioning your name at the front of a shrine are your ancestors shriners you will notice unexplainable blockages i want you to close your eyes again say so every evil load attached to my head by the shrines of my father's house Jesus every evil Lord attached to my head by the shrines of my father's house your time is up Duh! something is happening something is happening that's why Jesus brought you here just say it say it say it 
sight masopo koya bo shentera bakaya ba ribo kapanda seteya bo shentera bakaya ba maribo soponde kaya bo shentera ba bopala kasetenda kaya ba in jesus name we pray every archive of darkness speaking against my destiny catch fire in the name of jesus yes speak against the archives that's right thank you jesus In Jesus' name we pray. Making good progress. Making good progress. If your parents were shriners, please pray this one with boiling anger. Dark archives of my father's house. Dark archives of my mother's house. Can you shout those two things loud and clear? Damn! Kill the archives now! In the name of Jesus! That's right. Makaya bo shende rabo kosente makayaba. Ribo sependa kaya bo shenta. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. That's right. That inner fire which has been burning inside you, and you have been taking tablets to calm down the fire, is an attack of darkness. The evil fire has backfired now. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Voices from my past. That is harassing my future. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus. Cut out the voices. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Cut it off. In Jesus' name we pray. Witchcraft archives. Assigned to kill. In my family. Can you shout this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus, deal with the archives. Masetakaya bo shende rabo kontia. Rapi ali katenda raba. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. So every good thing in my life. Imprisoned by archives of darkness. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray this is one of the strongest prayers you are going to pray here today pray it with all your mind strong man 
using archives of darkness against me. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Bakate daraka ya bo shendera ba. Riapiali katanda ka. In Jesus name we pray. Inherited archives. Polluting my life. Can you shout that loud and clear? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Basse katenda ya bo shende rabo konta. Boride ke setende ke ya bo shende raba kaya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Now don't joke with this next prayer. Don't say, I don't think it concerns me. Any dark tree representing me. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the dark trees. That's right. If it's representing me. Whatever you are growing, die. That's right. Something is happening to somebody over there. Yes. Masete kapo ya bo shende rabakara bo center. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening to somebody over there. You shall hear a news from the village of what has happened to that tree. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. This next prayer, if you are afraid, I suggest you keep quiet. Any power sleeping to harm me. Can you say this loud and clear? Shall not wake up. Can you declare this loud and clear? Masekate da kaya boshendera. Shout it again louder than anyone else. In the name of Jesus, if they are sleeping to harm you, that's right. That's right. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let that be silence now. I just add the voice of the Holy Spirit. That he wants to remove the arrows of polygamous witchcraft. Let that be silence now. Why this is taking place. The power of God is moving from person to person. That's right. That arrow fired on you when you were a baby. The one that has entered into the brain. The one that has entered into the chest. The one that has entered into the womb. The power of God is coming upon you now. And that yoke is broken completely. As the first person over there, some other person over there, aha, that's released in the name of Jesus. Shout this again loud and clear. Don't say, I don't think this concerns me. Say, midnight curses fired against me. Can you shout it with only anger? In the name of 
Jesus, deal with those curses. Oh yes, something is happening. That's right. Masika tenda kaya bushendera bokonte. them we pray powers powers harassing me at the edge of breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray so spiritual bullets assigned against my life hear the word of the Lord backfire in the name of Jesus command the bullets to backfire Aha, aha, aha. Something is happening over there. Makapo sente ya boshende rabakate laba. Banariba setende ke ya boshende raba. Jesus, then we pray. Until King Uzziah died, Isaiah did not fulfill his destiny. Until the prophets of Baal died, the rain did not fall upon the land of Israel. Certain things sometimes have to die for certain good things to manifest. This is why you pray this loud and clear. Uzziah of my father's heart Assigned to waste my destiny Say it loud and clear Death In the name of Jesus Waste the Uzziah So that Uzziah will not waste you That's right. Potaka sanda kaya boshende rabokonte. Pira di kasenta ya boshanta. Yes. Jesus, then we pray. That's good. Power to waste wasters. Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Waste any power that wants to waste you. In Jesus name we pray. We are not 
walking all the time amongst angels. We walk mostly amongst children of the devil, unbelievers. We walk amongst those who carry satanic powers and come to the office. We walk among men who are so deep into the occult, it's a terrible thing. You need power to confront their wickedness. Power that they will see and respect God in your life. But if you don't have that kind of power, they will embarrass, insult, and disgrace you. You will close your eyes and with all the volume your voice can gather here, as many people as will pray this prayer from their heart, you will see that the touch of God will come upon their lives. Shout is the way I'm going to shout my own. Power! From heaven! That cannot be insulted! Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? There is somebody who needs to shout this louder than anyone else. Shout it again louder than that. Look at me now. In the name of Jesus. Something must happen in your life here this morning. Maria bo sopola kaya bo shentera ba. Borike sempende kaya bo shentera bo kola ba kaya ba. Bana ribo sopende kaya bo shentera bo kaya ba. Power from heaven. That cannot be insulted. Look at me now. 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 Aha. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Louder, 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 louder. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Something is happening now. Yes, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Power that cannot be insulted. Look at me now. 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 Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm making progress. Good progress. Nebuchadnezzar discovered that those men were too hot to handle. So my father! Make me too hot to handle by the powers of darkness. The Bible said, The strangers have fed away and they shall run out of their hiding places. For the strangers to fade away, a greater power must have entered. Everybody shouting it again, My father, make me too hot to handle in the name of Jesus. Too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that has to die. Can you say that loud and clear? 
for my full joy to come. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Ghost power incubate my life. In the name of Jesus. Let my love incubate by the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. You will now cry the blood of Jesus. You will shout it at the top of your voice. That ever efficacious blood. You will now ask that blood to wipe off the handwriting of man upon your destiny. So that only the handwriting of God will stand. Say blood! Jesus wipe away the handwriting of men upon my destiny can I hear you shouting this loud and clear is that the loudest who can shout this prayer That is somebody needs to shout this loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The dragon of men. Wipe it off. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen carefully, beloved. Many wonderful things have happened here today. The testimonies will be awesome. The water of Jericho was bitter and was killing people. Elijah took a clean vessel, put salt in it, went to the source of the river and put it there. He said, never again this water be bitter. And Elijah made a never again battle cry, a never again proclamation. The same battle cry was recorded by Moses in Exodus 14. He said, the Egyptians that you have seen today, you will never see them again. And I profess upon somebody here, the problem that you are seeing today, you will never see them again. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. This woman will get pregnant at a particular month. Seven or eight months, I've forgotten now. She will have a dream. A wild cow will attack a tummy with the horn and she will lose the baby. And it was going on like this. Going on like this. She tried all kinds of things. It went on until somebody brought her to this meeting. A woman invited her to the meeting. And that meeting that day, it was a meeting of never again battle cry. This thing has been happening before. What I am saying now that never again must it occur that was the prayer as they closed the service and they were going home she was going home with her friend she was thanking her friend for bringing her to the service all of a sudden the man of god ran after the two of them and faced his friend who brought her and said look that wish you have been doing to her don't do it again do you understand say yes sir she said yes sir I understand. 
And they went home that night. The pregnancy was almost that particular time, then. Seven or eight months. Again that night, the cow came. The cow came. But the word that she gathered from the meeting, that behold, I set up a stone in Zion, a rock of offense, a stumbling block. Whosoever goes against that stone shall be smashed to pieces. And whosoever the stone decides to walk upon, it will grind it into powder. The cow was coming with speed. A few seconds for the cow to touch her tummy. A stone appeared there. Yeah. And the cow made the holy mistake. Bwah! On that rock. The horn broke into pieces. The cow fell down. The next morning, the person who brought her was dead. The head broke into pieces. Nobody knew what broke her head. I professor at any satanic animal assigned against your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus. Their head shall be broken. Their head shall be broken. The 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 head shall be broken in the name of Jesus. He said, what you used to do to her, don't do it tonight. And she said, I understand. He thought it was a joke. I profess up on somebody here. Never again would the enemy torment your life. In the name of Jesus. The hour of maximum violence has come now. Say witchcraft manipulation. I cry against you. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Never again. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare. Never again. Yes, Masatanda Kaya Boshenta. In Jesus' name, we pray. Uh huh. Say this again loud and clear. Demonic powers assigned to use me as footmarks. Can you shout this loud and clear? you never again in the name of Jesus never again Masakaya Boshantara Bokonda open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth in Jesus name we pray this prayer is going to give over 2,000 testimonies power of almost there Something is happening here. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. in my heavens I cry against you never again in the name of Jesus yes 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 never again in 
Jesus name we pray you will declare this again loud and clear frustration and backwardness assigned against me I cry against you now never again in the name of Jesus Masaka Kataya Boshen Teraba Never again in Jesus name we pray. I declare never again to any bad experience I've had in my life. You shall not repeat yourself in the name of Jesus. When you said that once, you will now turn into machine gun prayer. Never again in the name of Jesus. Never again in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? Open your mouth and pray. I declare. Sakatanda Kaya Bushanda Rapa Nikatanda Sa Yes Basata Lakatanda Ha Rabo Lakanda Santa Never again in the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Repeated calamities. Repeated. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Aha. Jesus name we pray any situation that you don't want to occur again you will mention that situation and you will shout never again in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray now Masikaya Boshente Raba In Jesus name we pray. We're making good progress. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now you that infirmity in the center of the head. The one that used to make the head feel bigger than it is. The infirmity of cloudiness in the eyes. The swelling under the armpit. The swelling in the womb. The evil arrows itching the body. The peppery feelings. Hear the word of the Lord. Never again. Must you torment that person over there? Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Look at what is happening here today. Oh, yes. Aha. You have been passing this, this, through this stress for a long, long time. That stress is 
now buried in the Red Sea. The forces of Egypt that have been seen, you shall see them no more. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say, access of darkness into my life. Terminate by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Terminate my fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, the lions of past problems. Roaring against me. Can you shout that loud and clear? Shut up now! In the name of Jesus. Silence the lions. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shame and disfavor. I cry against you. Never again. In the name of Jesus. That's a cry against shame and disfavor. In Jesus' name we pray. Diminishing returns. I cry against you. Never again. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this with a no nonsense spirit visitations of the merchants of death Death! in the name of jesus i refuse to be visited by the merchants of death In Jesus' name we pray. Sat satanic embarrassment. I cry against you. Never again. In the name of Jesus. Jesus then we pray shout this loud and clear repeated oppression die by fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and say it Masekatenda Kayabo Shenderabo Kondaraba Something is up over there. Yes. Bakaton de Kayabo Shentera Bokola Bakaraba. Repeated oppression. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power. Waking up my afflictions. Uh, somebody who needs to pray this prayer with anger. Is that the loudest you can shout it here? Die, die, die! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Yeah, Rakasandaka, 
daribo kolo ko sente aba e jesus name we pray so every power sponsoring my afflictions this particular prayer will send arrows to the native doctors arrows to the village arrows to the waters every power sponsoring my afflictions die 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 in the name of jesus the power of god in the name of jesus that's right in jesus name we pray so every power supervising my afflictions die 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 in the name of jesus masopon de kentela kaya bashanda ria bokapola katanda in jesus then we pray one thing may hate so much is for an affliction that you thought was dead to come back men are always afraid of repeat of performance of trials and tribulations i prophesy upon the life of somebody here this morning that every power that wants you to shed the tears of sorrow shall die instantly in the name of jesus every problem that trouble my parents i am not your candidate therefore die. can i hear you saying that one In the name of Jesus. Yes. Asikate ya boshente rabakara basanta. Ribo seponde ke ya boshente ya bokola baraba. Manakara bo sepola ka ya boshente raba. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. So I fire back every arrow of untimely death. Don't joke with this prayer. I fire back every arrow of untimely death in the name of Jesus. Fire back in the name of Jesus. Fire back. Jesus name we pray every curse assign against my head backfire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and back and command the curse of backfire in the name of Jesus Sunday that's right let your voices roll like thunder in Jesus name we pray that person over there I have a word from heaven to you and the word is coming to you loud and clear I don't know who you are the Lord said I should tell you that although it is the desire of your enemy insanity shall not be your lot i fire back every arrow of the enemy by fire in the name of jesus open your mouth and fire it back 
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As someone there, you took an exam, you actually passed this examination. But the enemy went there and wrote failed. A reverse has taken place now. Say, angels of fire! Alive! Is that the loudest you can shout? Pursue my pursuer! In the name! Jesus, yes, let them be pursued by the angels of fire. My Santa Catella Bashanta, enough is enough. Angels of fire, Allah, pursue my pursuers. In Jesus' name we pray. That person that you have been smelling death, you have been smelling hospitals, right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you, and the yoke of death and hell is broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say mysterious battles. Swallow divine poison and die. Just to make that swallow and order and order. Roar like thunder. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Feed the body with divine poison. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. This is not a day to negotiate. Don't negotiate. Aha, 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 aha. Masepo kotanda rabo koya bo shenta. Rabo li katanda rabo sanda. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to put my foot in this place. Because of the massive, 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 massive work the Lord is doing here now. Say this the way I'm going to say my own. Fire! Thunder! Lightning! Kill my affliction! Can I hear you saying that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Bakase tinda kaya bo shende raba. Yes. Aha. 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 Continue, continue. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer, you may feel strange, don't worry. You may feel dizzy, don't worry. You may not even be able to stand on your feet, don't worry. If you land on the floor, continue the prayer on the floor. Say, serpents and scorpions in my blood. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Masakatenda yabo shenderaba. Bakatanda rabo sopola kayabo shenderaba. Rabo likatanda ka. Manakanda rabo sopola kayabo ko shenderaba. Bakatende sentende kayabo shenderaba. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Serpents and scorpions in my blood die. Yes, die. The one in the blood. 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 
the one in the blood, the one in the blood, the power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Aha, 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 aha. Masekatala Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh-huh. That's right. Say this way, I'm going to say my own. If you're a woman, say spirit husband. If you're a man, say spirit wife. Spirit husband. Spirit parents. Spirit friends. Can I hear you shouting those three things? Let your voice roar like thunder. Jesus. That's right. Pakata Santa Yaboko Shentera. Aha, 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 aha. Continue, continue, continue. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every triangular power assigned to torment me. The Bible says he has given him a name which is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things underneath the head triangular locations triangular powers that's what we mean in the heavens on earth in the waters underneath the earth triangular powers the sun the moon and the stars triangular powers every triangular power assigned to torment me you are a liar In the name of Jesus. That's right. Makatenda yaboshenteraba. Aha, 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 aha. Pasatakata kalekata. Ribala lakande senteraba. Jesus, then we pray. Shout this loud and clear now. Collective captivity of my father's house. Release me by fire in the name of Jesus. Collective captivity of my father's house. Release me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. my adversaries three times I'm going to pray this one and the manifestation will start today oh God arise and avenge me of my adversaries in the name of Jesus that's right 
in Jesus name we pray I want you to be more aggressive because the more you pray this prayer the more your enemies will be in trouble open your mouth and pray In the name of Jesus, avenge me of my adversaries. In the name of Jesus, avenge me of my adversaries. In the name of Jesus, Bapata sekate la yaba, riba sapanda kaya bashenta yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. One more time. This is the final time. Open your mouth and pray. Avenge me of my adversaries. In Jesus' name we pray. So many wonderful things have happened here this morning. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say double destruction from heaven. Visit every coven troubling my life. This prayer will cause confusion in the kingdom of God. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Brothers, can I hear you saying it? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus name we pray every hidden battle in my life can I hear your voice roaring like thunder you are a liar Die! in the name of Jesus aha Atasatali katonda ribo sopande ke yabo shente na bokopia. Open your mouth, open your mouth. The hidden warfare, the hidden battles. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible says, "Say ye to the righteous." He shall be well with him. Say, but say ye to the wicked, he shall be ill with him. It was not Dr. Luca that wrote that one. It's in the Bible. Close your eyes now. Say, my father, I am in your courtroom now. Avenge me of my adversaries. My father, I'm in your courtroom now. Avenge me of my adversaries. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. Yes. Something is happening over there, right? Don't negotiate. This is not a day to negotiate. Them we pray. Say domestic witchcraft. I drag you to the court of the Almighty. Can you shout it loud and clear? Aha! Shout it again! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to drag them there. That's right. 
Yes. 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 Masopo katende ke ya bo shende rabo konta. Ribo sopende ke ya bo shencha. Drag them to the court. In Jesus name we pray. So my stubborn enemies. I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and drag them there. Drag them there. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, enemies of my progress. I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree to drag them to that court now. Aha, aha. Thou power of God. Begin to move now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. Within seven days, every unrepentant witchcraft militating against me shall be buried. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Declare it loud and clear. Masikatea bo shendera bo kopola basanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Every naming ceremony bondage. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Continue, continue. Masika poya bo shedera bo kapia. Ribala bo kapanda sete ya bo sha. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Well, 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 well. You will now shout this loud and clear. Oh God, our Lord, judge them by fire in the name of Jesus. Judge them by fire, judge them by fire. Yes, yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Power of environmental covens in the name of Jesus deal with the environmental covens thank you Jesus thank you Jesus aha aha in Jesus then we pray the, the angel that smote Herod to death. Can you shout that loud and clear? Yes. Pursue my pursue in the name of Jesus. That's right. Masekaya Boshende Rabokontara Basan. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Oracles of my oppressors. Can you shout it loud and clear? 
Is that the loudest who can shout it? Turn against them in the name of Jesus. Command the Holocaust to turn against them. Let the Holocaust turn against them. It shall not function in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay one hand on your head, the other one close to your belly button, and let your amen be powerful. Let your amen roar like thunder. Say amen louder than anyone around you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come. We come inside your courtroom this morning, and we drag to that courtroom all the powers threatening our existence. All the power threaten our progress. All the power threaten our marriages. All the power threaten our children. All the power threaten our finances. We drag them to your court. Let the fire of judgment fall upon them now. In the name of Jesus. Makoso potendeke In the name of Jesus. father anyone here now that just woke up one morning and you find that the enemy has shaved your ear or anyone here now whose ear has been taken to the altar of darkness and that is affecting them right there where they are let your power begin to visit them one by one in the name that is above all name in the name of jesus the power of god Ooh. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying. All the finances that the enemy has cut off. That person over there that is suffering from strange epileptic feet. That person over there that is struggling with masturbation. That is struggling with this strong spirit wife and strong spirit husband. That person over there that something is crawling around your body. That person over there that you used to try your best for examination but you come out with poor results. That person over there that the mark of irritation is upon you. That person over there that the enemy has turned your womb upside down, turned your intestine upside down. That person over there whose menstrual pad is now inside a cauldron, a pot. That person over there that the enemy allows to gather money but the money scatters. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus, the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Makosepende ke yabo shendera bokonta. The ribo soponda kalaboko sente abo shanta. In the name of Jesus, you the spirit of cancer, hear the word of the Lord. That place you are inhabiting is not your habitation. I bind you. I cast you out. I bind you and 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 I cast you out. I bind you. And I cast you out. I bind you. And I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout seven Goliath destroying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says the Lord shall perfect that which concerneth you. Divine perfection. Envelope my life in the name of Jesus. Divine perfection. Envelope my life. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Wonderful God, we thank you for bringing us to this meeting. We thank you for the moving of your power. It is written that your people here shall to the hills raise up their heads. From whence comes their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heavens and earth. You will not suffer their feet to be moved. For he that keepeth them will not slumber. He that keepeth them shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep in all your ways. No evil shall befall you. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. The Lord will bless you mightily. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Your going in and your coming out shall be blessings. The Lord will bless you from Zion. And make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Shout the loudest, hallelujah. Let's close our eyes where we are and raise up our two hands to the Lord as we sing this song loud and clear. Power must change and speak my life, no matter what that them may. Power must change and speak my life, no matter what the devil makes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah! Power must change and Hallelujah, no matter what the Sing it again loud and clear. Power must change. Hallelujah, power must change. 
Thank you, Jesus. Today's Power Must Change and Service is actually divided into two sections. One, we go to our regular Power Must Change and Two, we go to a period of deep deliverance using those pictures in your hand. I want you to recognize that the battle we are here to fight is a battle that has been set in concrete. We need to break that concrete open. And that is not an easy job. Prayer is not a lazy job. Prayer is not for the lazy man. So if you are in this program and you are allergic to prayer, I suggest you leave. Because this is prayer city. And this is mountain of fire and miracles. But if you are here and you are determined, seriously determined, and you possess that rugged determination to succeed, let your hand do what you are doing here today. Let your head do it. Let your body do it. Let the devil understand that they don't have the final say. There is a man in the heavens who has the overruling voice. And I see somebody here today. His voice shall overrule every problem in your life. Let your amen roar like thunder. So within the next few minutes, I want you to praise God from your heart. Because he's glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. And he habits the praises of his people. Forget whatever trouble brought to you here. Forget any crusade the enemy is holding against you. Now like Paul and Silas, praise God from your heart. And bring his power down upon your life. Even if you are sick, open your mouth and sing. As you are singing the songs, the strength of heaven will be entering to you. Everybody testifies, you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody testifies, you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are. Hallelujah, everybody testifies. Your hand, your hand, your hand. Hallelujah, everybody testifies. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. God of Elijah, send on fire. Hola 
ناسڑیوں Deliver me by fire. Now listen, I'm going to ask you to pray. Plenty of prayers in a few minutes. But mark these words from God. Immediately the process of this prayer start. Any evil tree growing in the life of anyone shall be uprooted. Not only that, if you are here, and some times ago, they cut off part of your hair, or they cut your clothes, and those things are now on a satanic altar. Immediately, the process of the prayer starts. You may notice itching on your head. Don't worry about that. Your stolen glory will be restored. <laughs> During the process of this prayer, as many people as are in the garden here today, and somebody who had died is the one responsible for the problem you are going through now. Whatever virtue of yours has been buried in the grave shall be uprooted by the angels of fire. And they will place it in your hands right there where you are. During the process of this prayer, if what is happening to you is an evil dedication, that dedication will be cancelled. All parents who are here pray this prayer well. Because as you pray this prayer, Anybody whose brain has been exchanged, the Lord will restore 100%. During the process of this prayer, strange poisons will begin to get out of the body. Get yourself ready now. Get yourself ready. There is a sister in this meeting. You went for a surgery, but the surgeon was an occultic man. And he had taken materials from your body, affecting you negatively now. I am going to count seven from here. And the power of God will fall upon you where you are. And the occultic arrows in your body shall go out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That's the person over there. You have been set free. As you pray this pressure. Those who are under the bondage of polygamous witchcraft, one by one, the angels of fire will set you free. <laughs> Plenty of prayers in a few minutes. Immediately you hear me. Open your mouth like thunder and fire and pray. Don't wait for too long. Because if you wait for too long, we'll have moved to the next one. Say, so any power blocking my deliverance. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Dead! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to trade. Jesus is here. Basapi ali katenda. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, While men slept, his enemies came. Say, the enemy that came. 
while I slept. Can I hear you saying that again? There is a woman here from Cross River who needs to shout that prayer loud. Let everybody shout it like thunder. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. That's right. Bapata setela kaya boshanda. Something is happening here this morning. This is why Jesus brought you here. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> there are some people here today. This next prayer is for them. And they should pray it with merciless violence. That man over there, let your voice be loud. This is a serious matter. And this prayer is for you. Every power planning my disgrace. Can you shout it loud? Die! In the name of Jesus. I refuse to be disgraced. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Bapata seteli katana. Ribo sapende kaya bo shenteraba. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, all those that want to drink your blood shall drink their own blood and eat their own flesh. Say, powers of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Can you shout it loud? destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare that word yes powers of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word for somebody over there. The Lord said, Before you leave this place today, He will give you a miracle that will make you forget your past troubles. And those powers that hate to see you laugh shall be scattered unto desolation. Not only that, that which you are going through now, for your sake, the Lord will change the room. Shout this loud. Arrows of wastage. Arrows of death. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Send them back. Yes.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let that be silence. Silence. Don't say anything until I ask you to talk. When I ask you to talk, it's just to shout a sevenfold amen. But right now, just focus your attention on Jesus. Father, any abnormality in the body of anyone here now, or watching us, or listening to us, let your angels of healing be released now and begin to visit these people one by one every arrow of infirmity in the head the one in the ears the one in the eyes the one in the stomach the one in the womb the one in the two legs hear the word of the lord it is written as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away they shall be afraid after their close places that place where you are you are a stranger now get out get out now in the name of jesus i say get out in the name of jesus get out in the name of jesus get out in the name of jesus every arrow of affliction your time is up i bind you and i cast you out father anything that need to be replaced in anybody's life let your power begin to replace them now in the name of jesus everything that needs to be taken out from anybody's body let your power begin to take them out now in the name of jesus the strong man behind your problems i command that strong man to die yes enough is enough aha Powers from the waters, powers of the night, afflicting anyone here. Lose your hold now, in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Powers that swallows the fruit of the womb. I bind you and I cast you out right now, in the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. Silence. Get ready to say your sevenfold amen now. All the forces that have refused to let you go, like the Pharaoh in the Bible, in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, I command them to let you go now. Shout it again. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are gathered before you here today in this very special meeting. Thank you for what you have done already. Thank you for what you are going to do now. Thank you for what you are going to do before we go. Thank you for what you are going to continue to do. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, let there be no one present here today or watching or listening to us who will go away with a plastic experience. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Breaking the cord of wickedness. That's the title of this short message. It's important you listen very carefully. Breaking 
the cord of wickedness. In Psalm 129, verse 4. Psalm 129, verse 4. I think we should all open to that passage and then we should all shout it loud and clear. Psalm 129, verse 4. If you are there, say yes. Are you ready now? Let's read it together. Let's go. The Lord is righteous. He had cut asunder the cause of the week. Can you read it again? Can you read it again? Good. Notice cord there is plural. The cords of the wicked. Last month, I told you we're going to start a special program today. And I asked you to bring a picture of when you were young. If possible, when you were a baby. If you don't have it, bring something to represent you when you were young. Very soon, we shall start those microscopic deliverance prayers on the basis of the picture in your hand. And that is going to run for three power must change hands because it's a hard ground we want to break. You know that in September, you need to come back with the picture. You need to come back again next one. Three separate series to complete the destruction of what the enemy had done. The Bible says, For this cause was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. I'm praying for somebody here. All the completed works of the enemy in your life shall be destroyed today. In the name of Jesus. Let your voice be loud like thunder. The Bible talks about cords of the wicked. Those are the cords that God will break here today. As many people as are ready. The fact that you have presented yourself for this special service. The Lord said, I should tell you that this time for your uncommon testimony has come. And those powers that are saying you will not sing your song and dance your dance shall be disgraced. And your season of unexpected acceleration and promotion has arrived. In a nutshell, what are cords of wickedness? What do we mean by the cords of the wicked? We mean the satanic ropes the enemy uses to tie down a person to one spot. Then you cannot leave this place. It's like the rope at the neck of a cow or a goat attached to a tree. That rope is a cord limiting the movement of the animal. What are the cords of the wicked? Is the instrument the enemy uses to tie a man to himself or to his kingdom. A problem he gives to a person that will always drag you to their kingdom. What are the cords of the wicked? They are the instrument of, this is how far you can go. You cannot go for that. It's an instrument to prevent a man from going into greener pastures. It's a satanic glue to an evil bus stop. A weapon of arrest by satanic policemen. A spiritual rope of limitation. is an evil pipe supplying evil current into a person's life. It is a connection that demotes and suppresses. It is a rope that ties a person to an evil foundation. Therefore, 